But has anyone started guessing a little bit close to what this might be? Well, <laughs> people are getting, I think, fairly close on this. What I can tell you is the excitement is really, really building. Uh, Diane's saying, I'm so excited. My list keeps growing and growing. I have no doubt it's gonna, it's gonna be a great show. Never been disappointed, and I've been with you for many, many years. Uh, Hadassah on YouTube said, seen the booklet, loving the new items already. What you'll notice with the booklet as well is that at the start of the booklet, few pages sort of missing because we didn't want to give away the amazing launch that we've got coming up for you. The booklet is going to be updated as we head through the show and you'll be able to download it a little bit later on, but make sure you get it opened up and uh, you can get a sneaky peek as to what is coming up. Um, Barbie's already in, hugely excited. Jody on YouTube, so excited. I'm probably going to have to sell a kidney, says Jody. <laughs> 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 don't, don't do that. But honestly, the things that we've got coming up for you are amazing. Nora on Facebook, can't wait to see what is coming out this month. Luckyetta on YouTube, I'm on pins and needles waiting on the big reveal. Well, let me just tell you, the big reveal is moments away. And I think we can tell what's going on because Sarah is dimming the lights. Oh, Ben, come on. It's got to be, it's got to be big. It's, got, it's one of these big reveals. Let me just tell you. This is what you asked for. You asked for this. We've been working on the technology. We had the technology ready about a year ago, but we're thinking, oh, is this someone would want? You have asked for this in your droves. So next Tuesday is going to be the world exclusive launch. The first place anyone is ever going to be able to pick up their very own super size Gemini Pro. Oh. oh, look, I love, I love it with the spotlight on Ben. Now, that right there, it probably looks just exactly like a Gemini. It is. It's everything you love in a Gemini, but look at the size. This is the professional version of the machine. This is the only die cutting machine, the only electronic die cutting machine in the world open to 12 inches. Amazing. Okay, so 12 inch. Now, I'm gonna walk you through all of it. It comes with a full set of 12 by 12 plates as standard, but Ben, this is HSN, okay? This is HSN. So next Tuesday, as the today's special, you are going to be buying and paying for just the Gemini Pro. So you're, and, and, and I know that there are thousands of you out there desperate this is what you're going to get from HSN. Not only the Gemini Pro, but the most unbelievable kit. So it comes with all the plates, Ben. Then we've got 12 by 12 stencils that you can emboss with. We've got fantastic stencil boxes that you can draw around and then also have die cuts to position. We've got some amazing, fantastic edgeable dies, 12 by 12 cardstock. Basically, an additional bundle with over $100 worth of extra product that we are going to be including and throwing in there with your HSN bundle. Now, if that wasn't awesome enough, okay, and, and you, when you start seeing this, let me just explain, <laughs> okay? This, this, Ben, is not just about having 12 inches. Yep. It's about being able to do twice as much at the same time. It's about being able to position. So imagine, look at this, imagine being able to do large Envella boxes and position your die cuts into the envelope boxes. Imagine doing things like, are you ready about this, right? Imagine then making the most gorgeous boxes. You yeah. know how, how we always make boxes? And I like to demonstrate how you can like die cut on the edge of the boxes, but you actually can only do it with tiny little weenie boxes that you can fit through a nine inch opening. Oh no, now we've got a 12 inch opening. And if you want to go super size, we've even done 12 by 18 Amazing. inch plates. So it comes with 12 by 12 plates as standard. We've got the 12 by 18 inch as well. So whether it is you're doing batch making, whether it is you're wanting to position, whether it is you're wanting to time save, there, there are so many reasons you will absolutely want a Gemini Pro. Now, I'm gonna put it through its paces. I'm gonna show you it. You guys, th those of you watching the show this afternoon, I know that you already know that it is the market leading machine that we sell a Gemini somewhere, somewhere, someone somewhere in the world buys a Gemini every 10 minutes. Wow. We have sold over a quarter of a million Geminis around the world. This is going to be your opportunity 
for a limited number of you, because HSN have only had, they've, they've had the first production run, first people in the world, because HSN are our biggest partner globally, we are doing an exclusive launch here. You are going to be getting the Gemini Pro, okay? It won't be, it's not going to be available anywhere else for literally, well, for, for weeks. Even on our own website, you are talking weeks and weeks down the line to be able to get this. And not only are you getting the machine with HSN, but you're getting the machine with over $100 worth of extras. And folks, you know what I'm going to say. I need to talk to you about auto ship. Because the auto ship that we've put together for HSN is off the chart, okay? So each future auto ship is coming with another 12x12 stencil, another pack of cardstock in the set, 12x12 cardstock. You're getting another box template, you're getting another box die cut, and you're getting more gorgeous, intricate, super size edibles. So the first one is Love Nature. Oh, by the way, did I tell you these are coming at half the price? You look into the ownership program, you will get these at half the price that you would be able to pay if you were able to buy these, except most of the product in these is completely exclusive. Now, the second auto ship that's coming is Floral Fusion. This will be coming in July. Again, you're getting more exclusive designs, another gorgeous box, which works with all of the other die cuts you've got, another amazing stencil, more of the cardstock, more of the die cuts in the set. In September, we're doing Winter Wishes. So look at the gorgeous little box that comes in the September set. Look at the lovely edibles you're going to get. You're going to get the stencil again. And then the last set that comes to you is in November. That's going to be your fancy prints. Oh, wow. And again, wait till you see me, Ben, embossing with these yeah. stencils. Because you've got 12 by 12, <gasps> Ben, scrapbooking. Oh. Those of you who love your scrapbooking are now going to be able to position your dies wherever you want. Now, Come on, what's everyone been saying, Ben? What are they all saying about it? Sarah, let me just tell you that people are losing their mind over this. And you talk about scrapbooking, so many mentions about that. My favourite comment so far, though, from Betty on YouTube saying, shut the front door, Sarah, you are a very bad girl. Uh, Kim on YouTube saying, wow, the possibilities with a 12 by 12 machine are endless. Uh, Juanita on Facebook, I'm making room right now on my craft table. Come to me, mama, says Juanita. I love these comments. OMG, says Karen Lombardo on YouTube. I never thought I would see one of those. Well, you've seen it now with your very own eyes. And don't forget, uh, world launch, world exclusive. And you could be winning one of these as well over the course of the next few moments. Uh, Leanne on Facebook saying, my scrapbooking just got more exciting with my cards. What an amazing job, Sarah. Uh, Patricia on Facebook saying, now that Gemini Pro definitely needs Needs to be added to my craft room. I need that, says Mary, for my scrapbooking and the new memory books. Great for scrapbooking or sewing projects, says Mary. Uh, Mary J. Mathis on YouTube. Wow, Sarah, this is absolutely spectacular, super great. Um, what I can tell you is, Sarah, um, people are going absolutely crazy for this. Um, let's just say, very, very excited. Yeah, this is this is before you've seen it in action. I know. This is before it now. I'm going to try and show you as much as possible. We've got some lovely little videos. Here's the thing. Who's downloaded the booklet? Who's already downloaded their booklet? Because you're probably looking and the first 20 pages or so, yes. is, is all, they're all just saying, coming soon, coming soon. In about half an hour, that will update and all the information for the Today's Special. The auto ships, what's included in your bundle, the little videos for it, everything will be in that booklet in around about half an hour's time. So have a look at the booklet now, but get it. You go again in about half an hour and then you'll be able to actually download it and save it onto your computer, okay? Now, let me start showing you, Ben, and showing you why you would want a Gemini. Yep. Demos that I have only dreamed of being able to do. So, something I always love to show people is to be able to do, like, for example, a gorgeous envelope box and be able to die cut into the envelope box. So the problem is, Ben, every time I demo this, I do an envelope this big. Oh, uh, right. Because actually, to make an envelope box this size, which is what the size most of our cards are, when you do the scoring, this is the size of your envelope box. You know, you know how the envelopes work. You get your envelope, you score the four sides, and then they have to all fold in to make that gorgeous three-dimensional envelope box, okay? Yeah. However, that, there's no way, well, let's have a look, look how wide it is. Ten and a half inches. Uh-oh, computer says no, your regular <laughs> Gemini only goes up to nine inches. Now, we've got a 12-inch wide opening platform. Oh, amazing. Can I just tell you as well, 
I'm just going to spin mine around a little bit because it's on this amazing little turntable. I'll be really honest, our turntables have not landed in time to make it onto the show. They're so coming they soon though, right? they will be available in March, mm. right? They will be available in March. So let me just show you, here's what I would do. Your plates are exactly the same, folks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my large 12 by 12 plate. I'm going to take my die cut, uh, my envelope box, and I'm going to position, this is one of the dies that comes, by the way, in your bundle. So I'm going to position that in place, and I've got my um, tape so we can hold this in place, ready to cut through, okay? So this is just cutting in with no extras, okay? Then, let's have a look, I don't need my embossing plate, but I'm going to use my, oh, let's have a look, I've got loads here. I don't need my mag magnetic, I'm going to use my clear cutting plate on the top. I'm going to use my magnetic, I'm going to use the top cutting plate. Now, we put 12 by 12 plates in for you so that they're easily manageable and hand handleable. Yeah. However, you want to use the 12 by 18 plates, we've got them as well. You want to use your regular Gemini plates, they're 12 inches lengthways, aren't they? So you're reg In the same way that your regular Gemini plates, your junior plates will fit into the larger Gemini sideways, now you're going to be able to have your regular Gemini plates fit into the Gemini Pro sideways. So it's all, you know how I always say, I've always got my large Gemini, but I use the Pro plates for speed. Now you can have your Gemini Pro on the table. You could use your smaller plates. You could use your 12 by 9 plates straight through your Gemini Pro. So look at this, right? I can take this off. If it, the, the, Honestly, the pressure, well, you know the Gemini, it's, it's unrivaled. Look at that, intricate die, That's straight amazing. through, absolutely no problems. Mm. All I'm going to do, Ben, is lift this straight on. Let's just get my, oh, yeah, let's get my tape pen. Uh, I've got a tape pen. My tape pen's over the other side. Don't worry, we'll get <laughs> one. But basically, you're going to fold these in. You're going to put your tape on here. Watch, are you ready? Throw, I'll catch. Here we go. One Yay! slide in, as right. it's by magic. So, I'm going to go and I'm going to put a little bit of tape in the corners. All right. I'm going to put my tape up the edges here. And you can see now, oh, Ben, regular envelopes were so so 2019 oh, right? i know it, it's all about the 3d envelopes now with the die cut in right now do you know what i love is in the comments everyone's calling it the pro daddy yes it's been renamed <laughs> already seriously <laughs> lots of people as well asking how they're going to be able to explain this to their other half because i can tell you what uh, literally everyone i can see in the comments so far is saying they're going to get it and it's not exactly the kind of machine that you're going to be able to hide away i don't think is it uh, no, you're, de <laughs> you're definitely not going to, and I'll be really honest, when your postman comes, let me <laughs> just do an impression of what the postman's going to look like, okay? This is going to be your postman. <sighs> <laughs> what have you been buying here, pet? Right? That, that's going to be your postman when he delivers this. He uh, might not sound like that, had, though. When you are one of the first people in the world to own a Gemini Pro. Now, when we have big launches like this, Ben, I'll be really honest, HSN are our global biggest partner. And they, they asked for this. They, they wanted this to kick off 2021 with an absolute bang. I'm launching this on Tuesday morning, so midnight. I'm launching this with Suzanne, and we're going to be doing the exclusive world launch. And trust me, I mean, if you, you can order this ahead of time as soon as this goes live on the website. However, do not order it until you've got the ordership. Because the thing is, Ben, there's no point ordering it if you're not in the ordership programme. It's Because no. it's so awesome. Yeah, absolutely. You were chatting to me about the ordership because this is my first HSN uh, preview show. So I'm kind of learning um, as you go along. As I understand it, you've got to be in on the auto ship from the start, right? There's an, I don't think there's any point in not going for the auto ship because you've got the no. ability then to be able to get all of those other goodies as the auto ships happen. And you can opt in and out whenever you want to um, on that as well. And seriously, when you see some of the other goodies that you get with the auto ship, oh my, why would you not want to do it? Um, and like Sarah was saying, do you know what? You've got to be in when this arrives uh, midnight. Uh, Suzanne is going to be uh, with Sarah on the launch of this uh, and by the what you guys are saying it's going to be absolutely flying out of the door if you haven't already and I know loads of you have make sure you download your booklet as well get your hands on your booklet check out the booklet it will be updated as we go through the show so you can see all of the today's specials and see more details on this amazing machine which you are all absolutely um, <laughs> loving. Time for another demo? Time for another demo? Go you on, I think so. I like demo? Right in your bundle you also get 12 by 12 stencils and you're probably thinking 
why, why are we having stencils in with a die cutting machine? Well, you can emboss your stencils because you get that amazing embossing mat. So we thought, actually, embossing folders you can only emboss with. Stencils you can emboss and stencil with. So let's just have a look here. I thought we could make a gorgeous bonbon box with our own stencil design on there, right? So all you're going to do is you're going to get your Ultimate Pro and you're going to make the bonbon box, right? So I've done all of the scoring on here to actually make that bonbon box and then we're going to go and stencil it. So if you want to emboss and then stencil, what you're going to do is we're going to put our stencil over top of here. So that what we get is we get we want to push the cardstock through. So you're going to get your base plate and you're going to get your embossing mat, Ben, which comes included. All your 12 by 12 mats are included. Yep. You're going to use your cardstock. We're going to put the stencil on top so that it embosses through the stencil. Then we're going to put the clear. Then we're going to miss the magnetic, but we're going to put the top plate on here. Right? Turn this round. I know you guys are going to be so gutted about not being able to get the... Uh, Let's have a look, not being able to get this, but you're going to be, trust me, when this comes out in, look at this, and I just spin it round and take it out the back. Awesome. So, yeah, it's going to be coming in March. Uh, by the way, a lot of you asking how much this weighs, around £27. Okay. So, I can lift it up, but what I would say is, it's like when you buy a new TV. Get someone to set it in place and then that's where it's going to live. Okay, once it's there, sorted. This is not a portable machine. <laughs> I'm just going to say, not a portable machine, Ben. Right, here we go. And then can you see there, I don't know if you have a good look from the close-up there, you can see that, yes, so we've been able to emboss that stencil just like you would emboss with an embossing machine, like with an embossing folder, because, because you've got all the pressure of a Gemini. So all the pressure of a Gemini, can I just tell you, Ben, it has been no mean feat in an engineering capacity, yeah. managing to engineer the pressure all the way over 12 inches. So there's a reason why there's only a handful of machines in the industry have made a machine that's nine inches wide. So making a six inch, inch machine is quite easy because your, your point of pressure at the side, you've only got six inches to keep the pressure on the rollers. Soon as you go to nine, it's really hard. That's why a lot of other electronic machines miss bits in the middle. You get pressure near the edges, but you miss a bit in the middle of the plate. Yeah. We don't, we're a Gemini. You get the same pressure all the way across. You move that out to 12 inches, I can tell you now, I, there's a reason why no one else is doing a 12 inch machine, because I don't think anybody's ever managed to get the technology to work over a 12 inch platform. We have nailed it, we have absolutely nailed it. You've seen that I can cut anywhere in that 12 inch space and I will get that absolutely perfect cut. Now, I'm gonna show you one of the little videos that we've got, okay? I couldn't, this is the sort of thing where you need to see it speeded up. So imagine you were batch making and you're doing all of your wedding invites, okay? You've got your Gemini Pro. You can take that magnetic and lie out the base card, the mats and layers. You can lie out all the extra die cut pieces. There's my 12 by 18 plates. One pass through the machine and then all of a sudden, everything for the card, for the toppers, for the extra accessories, all included in one, okay? You can use that over and over and over again. So leave, leave the dies in place. Yeah. Just start with the next one and the next one. And then you sit and put your cards together. Here is that card. Gorgeous cards like this. Those of you who do this professionally. So in our industry, uh, I always say, Ben, is there's those people who do it as a hobby. There's those people who are most of you watching who are the extreme hobbyists who do this almost like a profession. You do it so often, yeah. but it's not your main source of income. You're doing it just as a hobby still. Then there are those who do make a living out of this by making things like wedding stationery. This is now the pro machine that is going to make it quicker, more efficient. You've got the pressure over a larger surface. You've got all of that there. So whether it's because you're wanting to save time, be more efficient, whether it's that you're wanting to do larger areas like your scrapbooks, Maybe you're wanting to emboss and die cut specific pieces in yes. place for your scrapbook pages. Maybe it's that you're wanting to do that positioning. Let me just do, can we, can we squeeze one more demo in? Right, so let me just show you. Imagine a card, a super-sized card like this. Wow, okay? look at that. So our gorgeous step of cards that you, you know, we see these all the time, but look at this. It is a large base card to start with. So if you see what I've got, Ben, is the actual base card that you start with, just done on the, on the Ultimate Pro again. Yeah. We've just done all of our steps ready, but that again, let's just show you how this piece of card is, 11 inches square. 
11 inches square. Well, our Gemini goes right up to 12 by 12, so I can pop that in place. I can take another one of the dies that we've got included. So these, this comes in with your HSN. Um, this is coming in with your first shipment. So I'm going to position this in place and I'm going to add my cutting piece over the top. So I'm going to line all of that up in there. I'm going to need to calm myself down, pet, uh, pet. I'm going to need to calm myself down, pet or Ben, before I have a nosebleed, I think. <laughs> this is, um, do you know, you, you know, I feel like, so I've known about this and we've been building to this now yeah. for, well, to be honest, it's years we've been developing the technology. We nailed the technology about a year ago and I was like, is this the sort of thing people want? Do enough people do this professionally to want the larger size machine? What do we think, guys? Of course, we couldn't ask you, because if I come out and ask you, then all of a sudden the cat's out the bag and you all know it's coming. So we couldn't ask anyone, couldn't tell anyone. But then there has been so much talk about if only, if only we could get this in a 12 by 12, if only you could do a Gemini larger in 12 inches opening. So we thought, well, you guys asked for it. That's what we'll do. Well, I can tell you from the comments coming in, Sarah, it's a good job you did because everybody uh, is loving this. Remember, the more you comment, the more chances you've got. We're going to be giving one of these away. You can be one of the very first people in the world uh, to get your hands on one of the Gemini Pros. Uh, Cheryl say on YouTube, going to need a bigger craft room for this. Uh, Laurie on Facebook saying these auto ships are simply gorgeous. You've got to get in on these auto ships, seriously. Uh, and Christian on YouTube says, I have the Gemini Junior, the Go, the Mini, uh, and my dad got me the Daddy Gemini for Christmas. Hey, you've got to complete the family. Seriously, be one of the very first to get this um, into your crafty lives. Um, and Donna just saying on Facebook, I hope HSM will have enough in stock for the madhouse that will happen the minute this goes live. Well, I can, I can tell you that. So I actually don't think they've ordered anywhere near oh, enough. Oh, don't say that. So, you've got, so how HSN work is they don't say we're going to order X number of machines every time a new machine launches. Yeah. They say we're probably going to take whatever the amount is in sales. Now, because this machine is, you know, understandably like twice the price of a, it's, it's about three times the size, but twice the price of a regular Gemini machine. So they've already ordered half the amount. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they've only ordered half of the amount of what we had last time we had a Gemini TS. And the last Gemini TS that we did was last January, okay? That sold out, so that sold out, and actually it is way less than half of the amount of the Geminis that we had in the last TS. And bear in mind, that was the Gemini, it wasn't the new machine, that was the Gemini machine that we've been selling for the last four years. This is a brand new world launch machine, only available at HSN, and I'm telling you they've got half of the amount. Now the other thing is, of that half the amount, only two thirds of them are available on auto ship. So they've selected so many in auto ship, so many in single ship, only two thirds are in auto ship. If you want to get in the auto ship program, I would not be surprised if the auto ship program sells out on launch. So you need to be either pre-ordering it before the show, or you need to be right there at the stroke of midnight when Suzanne is launching this to take advantage of the special price and also to get that auto ship program. Now, look at this, Ben. You know, I said to you, it's a Gemini machine. Yeah. I have specifically chosen this demonstration so that I'm cutting right in the middle of the plate. Mm -hmm. The exact space where I told you most other nine inch machines can't cope, let yeah. alone a 12 inch machine. We lift that off, cutting sideways, so cutting about 50 cutting points at once. And look, it hasn't, it hasn't even, look at this, it, you've got the beautiful butterfly wings lifting up. That's so fantastic. I haven't even had to sit and poke bits out. How amazingly is that cut? Love that. You've got the side piece down here. I mean, literally, then they cut to perfection. Yeah. And then these here, so if I just fold these side bits over, and then I fold this one down here, we fold the next one down and then up. Can you see, you can get that stepper card absolutely perfect. That is amazing. I mean, and, and, and cut to perfection, Ben. Yeah, yeah. And we did that. So imagine doing them as big showcase, showcase centerpiece wedding cards. You know, when you want to go big and do something impressive or you do a scrapbook page and you want to cut the butterflies into your scrapbook page to be fluttering up the corner, you can do that because you put the whole yeah. 12 by 12 in and you can position the dies on there. Now, I'm going to be really honest as well. I'm going to show you some other colossal product in the next few hours. Absolutely. And some of the products that we're launching will only work in the larger pro. Concepts and designs I've been desperate to do, but we just couldn't because we couldn't cut large enough. Now we can cut large enough. You know our gorgeous uh, albums? Yeah. 
we've now gone super size with our album spine so you can actually make a whole scrapbook with the side we've done you know the jigsaw dies that we did last year ben yes we've gone super we size have. in the jigsaw dies in there as well all of these honestly it's one of them ones once you're in it you're in that program you're getting the order ships out there you're getting the first chance at all of those but also it will open up a whole new host of things you can make okay so it's, you're going to be able to do embossing onto your envelopes you're going to be able to do so many more elements because you've got that larger surface area to work with i feel like even in four hours tonight we'll barely get to scratch the surface this is going to be the machine that we are talking about all and i mean all of 2021 you are going to be the first people to get it you're going to get over a hundred dollars worth of fantastic stuff included at no extra price you're going to get the chance to get in the auto ship at half the price that you would pay for regularly if you could buy those things regularly which you can't because a lot of that product is exclusively available you will see me using and our crafters tv shows this is going to be the machine the little family of machines that go along the side it's got the new machine on there you will know that not only were you one of the first people to have it but you got the best deal let me tell you now as well the price on this we have been able to hold a price, even though the changes in the exchange rate, the extra shipping costs that we've had to pay to bring this stuff in from the Far East, the Trump tariffs that we're doing, all of that, we've absorbed that. We've taken that. The price that we get, I can't even guarantee that we can hold that price through all of 2021. And I'm just talking about the price of the machine now. Not, not the today's special price. I'm talking about the regular selling price of the machine is there, right? You are going to be getting $100 worth of extra stuff as the today's special, as a one-off special. I don't even know if they'll have the machine in stock again at that price, let alone with the $100 worth of extras. When I tell you this is going to be the biggest craft day we've ever done in our history at HSN, I really am not kidding you, Ben. And Ben is going to be giving one of these away. We certainly are. And as I've said, on my first HSN preview show, there's so many comments um coming through uh donna said well donna we've read that well i hope hsm will have enough in stock for the madhouse suzanne saying i had to move from my dining room office to my large 75 inch tv to get a closer look i stopped work amazing it's coming home hadassah saying sarah has knocked my boots off with this gemini pro and auto ship yeah first time i'm really hearing about this auto ship but you've got to get in on the auto ship absolutely so many benefits for doing that kimberly saying so excited oh yes i've saved all my christmas money for this surprise um kelly saying how will i explain to my husband that i need this no explanation needed you've got to get this in your life the best thing that you can do as far as i'm concerned is make sure you've got your hands on the booklet download the booklet um because that is kind of like your roadmap as to when everything is coming up and remember um get this hopefully you'll be able to get this before it launches but the show the first time you'll see it midnight with sarah and suzanne on hsn uh you've got to be in to grab it uh carry on YouTube saying this machine is going to be a game changer. I can't wait. Um, and Lacchietta saying, I love how Sarah listens to the customers and creates what we need and want. And this is a lovely comment as well, which has just come through from uh, Laverne Davis on YouTube. It says, This is my first comment. Love this. I'm almost speechless. Oh, it's but funny I how they'll, not they'll all remain. come out the woodwork, Ben, when there's a big giveaway on there. They'll all come out the woodwork. <laughs> they'll all start commenting now. I've seen this 4,000 comments just on Facebook. I, it's go I can't hardly keep up. I know you said it was going to be busy. Uh, this is my first comment. I'm almost speechless, but I could not remain silent. Sarah, you have outdone yourself way to go honestly i have never ever seen so many comments coming through oh and by the way big news just come in you know the booklet just yeah. been updated yes yes right. go, go and download it go on right go on now do you want to have a little look at what the booklet's going to look like okay you might see the old booklet before we updated it but it's just been updated okay so if you go it's pinned in the comments click on that okay have a little look at this so Big news, I, me and Adam are going to be here on Monday on Facebook and YouTube, you get all the gossip, tells you all about the shows. Then as you start flicking through the booklet, you'll see the first couple of pages just give you a bit of an introduction. Right, all these pages now that just say today's special, 
you go and download the booklet now they will have everything i've just told you about the auto ships what's coming in the bundle it's going to show you all the videos then can you see we've done some amazing extra big super size word dies <gasps> there's the jigsaw there puzzle is. dies they're coming up you guys are so excited about this uh, 10 by 8 we've just We've got the five by seven back in stock and the 10 by eight. I can't wait to show you them, okay? Keep going, keep going. See what else we've got. We've got, uh, oh, Love the birthday this. florals we're going to be looking at. You'll see in here. Well, we'll tell you when we've got things back in stock. Like the tri blends are back in stock. The eight by eight stamp pla stamping platform, back in stock. Oh, stacked easels. Oh, my word. I can't wait to show you. Ben, I can't wait to show you these. And these are on auto ship. There's your auto ships. This is why the booklet's so awesome. 123 pages of basically giving you everything you need to know. I've just been told there are over 2,300 <laughs> people downloading this booklet and at going. the moment. 2,300 of you are on downloading the booklet. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. But Ben, everything you need to know, every product that I'm going to show you over the next four hours, you'll get a sneak preview of everything in that booklet. I'm going to be showing you it all live, but basically you've got the catalogue to accompany everything we're doing. So that's everything you need to know in the booklet. What we need to do, Ben, is pick a winner for our Gemini Pro. Do you, do you know what? I seriously get the best job on the show, don't I? Because I get yep. to give away stuff. Uh, when we talk about stuff, I mean, seriously, we, I knew that we would be giving away items during the show. I had no idea that we would be giving away um, the Gemini Pro. This is amazing. Thank you for all of your comments. Remember, once we've revealed the winner of this and we move on to our next item, get commenting again and you could then, of course, win the next item and the next item. The more you comment, the more chances you have of winning. But I can reveal that we have got our winner for the Gemini Pro. This is so exciting. It's somebody who commented on YouTube Ooh. It's someone whose surname begins with an R. Oh, Ben, come on. You're being evil now. Just get on and tell them. Put them out of their misery. The winner of the Gemini Bro on YouTube, Barbara Ross. Congratulations. <laughs> How amazing. That Barbara is yours. Ross. Barbara Ross. Right, Barbara. All you need to do, email prizes at crafterscompanion.com and say, I am Barbara Ross. Send that Gemini <laughs> Pro my way. I want everything. Uh, we will literally get this shipped out to you straight away. It's, they have got it on standby, ready for you to be able to say, to, you know, literally, as soon as we receive your address, Barbara, it is on its way to you. It's getting in the post. Hopefully this week, you are going to be one of the first people in the world. Um, now, now, here's the thing, and I don't like to throw my uh, weight around because this is my first HSM preview, but you know, we've given, we've given one away. What do you reckon the chances would be in us doing uh, another giveaway for a Gemini Pro a little bit later on on the HSM preview? I'm, I'm kind of thinking, you know, that's something that we could possibly do, Sarah. Ben, I think we should do whatever we want. The fact that yes. 4,000 people <laughs> commented to try and win this, 4,000 people commented just on Facebook. YouTube doesn't tell me how many. I feel a bit sorry for them 4,000 people who commented on Facebook. How about we picked someone to win on YouTube? How about we pick someone else at the end of the show from Facebook to win one as well? That's, that only seems fair to me, Ben, doesn't it? Absolutely. Well, there you go. I threw it out there. I can't believe Sarah agreed to it. Uh, so uh, make sure you keep commenting right throughout the show. Somebody else off Facebook then later on will win another one of those amazing machines. Imagine you're going to be one of the first people in the world to get your hands on that amazing machine. And of course, we've got more chances for you to win right throughout the show after we've seen the products, seen the demos, uh, then we've got the ability for you to be able to win as we go along. And lots more more exciting products to come and towards the end of the show something I know Sarah which you are kind of equally as excited about yes I'm going to give you I'm going to give you another sneak preview I just feel like I need to tell you for those of you that have just joined us and weren't here at the start of the show okay we are previewing for you everything coming up on HSN's Big Craft Day next Tuesday so we launch at midnight on Tuesday I'm with Suzanne we launch at midnight I'm on throughout the day with a today's special or until it sells out. 
given how many of you are watching us live now in fact you know do us a favor tell us in the comments if you're planning on getting this on tuesday so we can get a bit of a feel i am really worried that the, the quantity that i told you they ordered is not going to be anywhere near like enough which is why it's brilliant to give you guys our priority customers the heads up ahead of time okay we're now going to walk you through everything else that we've got on that show. It's not just me. Craig's here as well. Craig's got shows on Tuesday. So Craig's going to be coming up and he's going to be showing with you. And I'm building up to a big crescendo, okay? So at the end of the show, the very last thing that I'm going to show you <laughs> is what I can see now behind this curtain. I love so the way it's So if I have a little look what a and tease. I just show you... Well, actually, no, I'm not going to show you. I can see what's behind here and um, brand new Sara signature launch there that this this is as much as I show you I love right? how um, Adam our director he's trying to like change the cameras to kind of get a look <laughs> and every time he switches it you pull the seat down what a team right right um, you're gonna have to stay with us you got you know what what else could you possibly be wanting to do on on a wonderful Thursday afternoon other than watch us and find out everything coming up on HSN. Go and get yourself a cup of tea, settle in. We've got another three and a half hours. I'm going to hand over to Craig in just a second. Craig is going to demo the bra a brand new brand that we are bringing to HSN, which I'm so excited about. Then Ben's going to give away everything that our Craig's using. I'm going to get ready behind the scenes for my next demo coming up. It's literally going to be a, a fast-paced jam-packed next three and a half hours. Keep your comments coming in. Could be you winning next. Absolutely. I've never seen so many comments and the excitement is amazing. Let us know. Like Sarah said, if you're going to be one of the first people to get your hands on this, comment and let us know. Gives us a bit of an idea as to if um, HSN have actually got enough of these ordered. It's hugely exciting. Uh, don't forget, best thing that you can do right now is get that booklet because that booklet is your roadmap as to what is going to be coming up uh, as far as um, the uh, craft day is concerned on HSN on Tuesday. Uh, but your first chance to see that Gemini Pro and to grab it uh, midnight, of course, with Sarah and Suzanne. Uh, but get the booklet. I know loads of you keep checking back on the booklet to see if things have been released early. Absolutely do that uh, and keep those comments coming as well. A um, couple of quick ones here. Becky on Facebook saying, Sarah, you and your design team have created a fantastic addition to our Gemini family of products. Looking forward to it being available on HSN. Uh, Carleen on Facebook says, this will be my 2021 off with a big bang. Uh, and Marilyn on Facebook, my phone's ringing, but I'm not answering. I don't want to miss a thing. Yes, stick your phones on silent, uh, shut the doors, <laughs> put the windows up. You need to be with us for the next three and a half hours because there is so much coming up. And of course, as well as seeing Sarah on uh, Tuesday on HSN, HSN. Uh, Craig will be uh, there as well. And uh, nine o'clock on uh, Tuesday morning with Shannon, you have got uh, an amazing collection to show us, Craig, haven't you? I am indeed. I am so excited about this one. As you kind of know by now, uh, I get to pop onto HSN and I get to uh, bring some of the other brands to you. Now, absolutely, 9 a.m. on Tuesday morning with Shannon Fox, I'm going to be on with a new collection. It's a new collection to us. It's a company called Nitwit, and these are so, so popular, so famous across in the US as well as Canada. Many of you across there will know that. But they've uh, established them th themselves into things sort of, um, it's like your digital crafting or into the digital images. Now they want to actually have a focused product, a hand-on product for you to craft with uh, at home. And this is why they've been dipping their toe into the market with this collection, with this style of collection in the US and even in the UK as well. Yeah. So to show you, what you're actually going to get, Ben, is let's go right in. I've got these boards. These are going to show you. Oh this one my gosh. is called Paw Sativity. This is all about the animals on this one. This now, is Ben, cute. this is perfect for me because you know I love my decoupage. This is die cut de decoupage. You don't need to do any cutting, no die cutting. It's done for you within these ones here. These are the topper pads. You're getting 48 sheets in total, all exactly the same. But you can see you've got the doggies there. Now we've got the pussy cats as well. Oh, look at Another that. 48 sheets. Once again, all die cut for you. You just need to layer them up with your foam pads, with your glue gel. It's up to you. Then what we're going to be doing, not only are we giving you the oh. toppers, we're giving you the stamps and dies 
to go with them. Yeah. So if you want to colour in with your classics, with your illustrators, your tri-blends, your sparkle pens, you can be doing that yourself. You've got the doggies here, do your decoupage if you want. You've got additional accessories as well, such as the woof and the paw prints. You've got the cats you want to have, or you've got the dogs, and you want to have the cats as do. well within these ones here. Again, you can have fun. Very, very clean, simple to colour in. Very easy to colour in that you can see here within these ones here. When it comes to the Pussy Cats, you've got 11 in total. You've got four dies and seven stamps. That's not it. We're giving you sentiments as well. Sentiment stamps that you can pop onto your projects. Then what we're also giving you is a cut and emboss folder. Now you're getting the one, because this has got paw prints on it, so that means that's going to go for the cats as well as the dogs, emboss detail as well as that die cut within the middle. Now check this out, Ben. You're getting three paper pads within these oh, ones here. I love this. 12 by 12. 250 GSM, 28 sheets. You're getting four sheets in total. These are all die cut. You've got alphabet, you've got, uh, you've got little sentiments, you've got numbers, you've got more of the animals. They're Once so again, cute. all die cut for you. Yeah. Want to layer them up? You can do. But then you're getting 12 by 12. What about if you've got the pro? Well, now cut into that as well that you can be yes. doing spot on. So you've got all of these sheets here as well. You've got 12 by 12, 180 GSM within these ones here. You've got 30, uh, 36 sheets, but you're getting three of each double sided as well. So if you like to do your concept cards, you can. Then to finish off, you're getting your 12 by 12 paper pad as well, but the full colours too. 12 by 12, 250 GSM, 36 sheets as well. Tell you what, let's show you what you can do as well. Let's bring in that cut and emboss folder. Now, I am going to be using my uh, large Gemini. None stopping you. If you want to do them all together, you could be using the Pro. But I'm taking in a card blank, 5 by 7 card blank. We're going to pop my card blank into place. So we're just slotting that one within our folder. And then because it is a cut and emboss folder, Ben, what yeah. I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my plates. I've got my Gemini to the side of me, but you can be, if it comes to die cutting, if you want to do your stamps, you can die cut your stamps, you can die cut the sentiments as well. You can do that all in a one on your uh, big Gemini. But this one can come out. So if we take these ones out here, I'm going to take away this folder. If I remove this one, and let's fold that one over. Not sure how crisp and clean you can see that. You've got the paw prints Those all the way around. Those are so cute, Craig. You've got the aperture. So cute, isn't it? Yeah. But then let's take some of the little doggies from the paper pad. You can just layer them up. I've got my foam pads good to go. We can just have them sitting into the side really, really nicely, nice and cute, nestled to the side here. Let's take this pad off here. And what you can see is they all work beautifully on top of each other. You don't need to do any cutting. You don't need to do any snipping at all. But when it comes to the doggies, if you work in with your 12 by 12 paper pad, you've got these little buttons as well. You've got little buttons, you've got bows, you've got little fishes for the pussy cats. You've got everything like that that you can make real fun cards. Think about your scrapbook pages as well. Maybe your memory books that you can use these for. Taking one of these uh, stamp sentiments, and this one says, oh, so possum. Aww. Perfect for that one. Do you know what, uh, producer Erin, she just keeps making little noises like, oh, oh. Like, exactly. Just, just keeps going, oh, doggy. <laughs> There's so many lovely comments coming in as well. I'll read a few of those in just a few moments' time. But the comments like um, Karen saying, uh, I'm seriously ordering this. Um, Laurie saying, I'm gearing up to do a scrapbook about my puppy. I'm excited about the Knitwit Puppy Collection. And Jen Mitchell on Facebook, OMG, these are adorable. I love having something in my stash that can be put together quickly. And decoupage always works so well. Very, very quick and simple. As you say, the decoupage works really, really well. So you can see you've got these ones here. Let's bring in some things. So maybe you've got your organiser. You could be decorating your organiser with them as well. Maybe you run a doggy daycare or yeah. you like to walk dogs. If you've got that as a little business or that, that oh, could cool be, idea. that could be, that would be perfect for your little organiser. Again, you can do your concept cards, whether you've got your scoreboards, your ultimate pros, you've got your dies, you can do your nesting dies as well. You can change the colours. If you want to add additional cardstock, you can do. But you can see how fun these are. 
all of the doggies and the cats, they've got these really funny but cute expressions on their faces. You can see one last one Aww. as well. Look at that one. Wasn't that so nice, isn't it? Little keepsake book. You can pop the photos of your doggies or your pussy cats in the middle. So much fun. But that is coming up on Tuesday at 9 a.m. with myself. And I'm going to be on with Shannon Fox. Yeah, really looking forward to that. And you know what? There is so much love for this collection as well. Uh, Jen saying, OMG, these are adorable. Uh, Zena saying, I love decoupage sets. So simple to do, but so cool looking. And pack that wow punch. Yeah, that's the great thing, isn't it? Again, with a lot of the bundles that we bring to you, you see decoupage, if you're just getting into crafting, this is uh, an amazing way to do it. Decoupage, so approachable for everybody. Don't forget as well, nine o'clock with Craig and also uh, Shannon Fox and HT Center on Tuesday uh, and don't forget if you want to find out more the best thing that you can do right now is get the booklet download the booklet I know you know this already but if you're new to it get that booklet and then you'll see all of the links that you need it is kind of your roadmap uh, to all of the goodies which are coming up on HSN on Tuesday um, Pisces on YouTube saying um, I had planned not to spend a lot on the craft day uh, but how can I resist these goodies uh, Lacietta saying my twin girls do fundraising for an animal shelter so this is perfect and Karen, uh, I work for a pet sitting service. This bundle would be great to send personalized cards to my clients. Right, um, it is time to announce the winner of the Knitwit collection. From Facebook, congratulations to Jane Foley, well done. You have bagged yourself that uh, Knitwit Positivity Bundle. Uh, as per, if you want to uh, claim your prize, there's me going, if you want to, uh, you want to claim your prize, of course you do. Prizes at crafterscompanion.com. To send us an email uh, and we will get that out to you. How much fun are you going to have with that? Remember, if you have just joined us, uh, get commenting. We've got so much coming up on the preview show over the course of the next three hours or so, and we will be giving away goodies. Your chances to win um, all the items that we've got on the show and hugely exciting um, it, well hopefully you've been with us from the start you will know all about uh, the brand new Gemini Pro which has got that uh, world exclusive launch on HSN um, there it is um, your opportunity to grab that uh, we are going to give another one of those away at the end of the the show so you need to keep commenting lots of people have been asking about different sizes uh, of all of the um, the Gemini machines again so there you go uh, that gives you a, a bit of an idea you've got the pro in the middle there of course the goes on top then you've got your junior and then you've got your regular so it gives you a real idea a real kind of insight into the size of this machine um, and absolutely you are going to love 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 it still so many positive comments coming in about that uh, loads of you already say do you know what come tuesday i'm going to be getting that and so many of you as well nancy saying i'll be buying the new gemini on tuesday pj saying so exciting and a terrific product thank you for always being so innovative that's a brilliant thing isn't it and that's why I love um, being here is the fact that you know what uh, we can put it out to you and ask you what you want to see what's going to make your crafting life easier uh, you speak to our guys our guys speak to the other guys and we get these things kind of sorted out for you that's how uh, the Gemini Pro of course came about and it's so amazing uh, that we can do that for you as well um, so many of you getting excited about uh, ordering that and I love the fact that you know we've talked about people turning off their phones Katie on Facebook saying you know what I'm totally going to put the kettle on and you are coming with me. Oh yeah, people like, can't even leave this show to go and make a cup of tea. No, because they wanna make sure uh, that they are in. Um, to see all of the goodies we've got on the show. Um, don't forget as well, we will be picking winners from Facebook and on YouTube as well. So wherever you're watching, and I know there are thousands of you watching right now, uh, you are in with the chance of winning. If you've already commented and you haven't won, I don't worry, get commenting again, that's the whole point. Um, whatever we are um, crafting with, you have the opportunity to win it and we'll be picking winners right throughout the show. And of course, let us know, get in touch, let us know uh, what you're loving on this HSM preview show, what you're going to be grabbing uh, when these goodies go live. And as I said, the best thing that you can do right now, get that booklet. I know thousands of you have already downloaded it. That is your roadmap. That is the way to go, uh, the way that you'll be able to shop. And I just love the thought of you guys like clicking on those links to see if anything gets released early that's the way that you will know and uh, that is the way for you to be able to see things first up like 
prices on various things as well. So make sure you get that booklet. Thousands of you have already got it, uh, but make sure you get it if you haven't. Right, we are uh, fast moving on. Sarah is back in position. Super excited what we're going to be looking at next, Sarah. Okay, so we've come up with this amazing concept of easel cards but triple easel wow triple easel cards in different shapes so for example okay a regular easel card would just do one easel like this but this has an easel for which the stopper is another easel and i can't do it with one end for which the stopper is a third easel so if you want to really make a huge showcase piece then you want to easel, easel, easel it. Now, <laughs> the storybook one, yeah. this storybook one here is incredible, right? There's two that you get. So the item number on your screen, and you'll know this if you've got the booklet, you get the storybook one and the gorgeous hearts. Now it's the hearts I'm gonna show you, the storybook one I am just totally overly in love with. You imagine christening cards or wedding cards or graduation or anything where it's such a big you know we've we've done the storybook die in the past and people go crazy for the storybook die yeah to have the storybook in an easel is brilliant you can do it in three different sizes or you can do it as a triple now that's the storybook one the heart ready for this look again you've got the heart easel for which the stopper is the next heart easel for which the stopper is the next heart easel. Now, let me just ask, let's have a look, I'll get this out. Have you ever done anything like this before? Because those of you who have managed to do it without having the die set to do this, yeah. let me just say, I champion you. Well done, well done. Uh, I've never been able to manage to do it, <laughs> which is why we've developed the dies. Do you want to see what actually comes in the yeah, set? Yeah, absolutely. Okay? So, in the die set, you've got two of them, okay? So, you get the hearts and the storybooks and you can see them and i'm going to walk you through how to do it they're exactly perfectly sized to make the easel card from and i'm going to show you exactly how to do the easel so you get the hearts at the right size and you also get the storybook at the right size and then what we're going to do is we're going to give you all the instructions so that you know how to do it now if you love that you know what i'm going to tell you don't you Oh, there's an ordership programme, Ben. Yes! There is an ordership programme. So here's the thing, okay? There are six, six future orderships. So if you like it, you're going to be able to do the fancy rectangle. That one will come in May. Then as you cycle through, I'll let, I'll let our lovely director, Adam, cycle through the different ones as you're looking at them. Let me tell you, okay? So the full programme is eight designs in total. Two of those designs are completely exclusive to HSN, so we'll never launch them on our website. They'll never go to the stores. The only place you'll ever be able to get that gorgeous diamond, for example, is exclusively on HSN. Now, Ben, the way the authorship works, okay, is you get in that program, and then when May comes round, you have a look. Oh, it's the diamond coming. Oh, brilliant. I look forward to that. Oh, it's the flower coming. Oh, I'm not, I don't think I'll use the flower so much. I'll skip on that one. Yeah. And you just pass it. But if you don't get into the authorship programme, you will never, ever have the opportunity to go back and buy that product. So basically, if you don't get in at the start, you're going to be kicking yourself if you see something later down the line, aren't you? So yeah, the best absolutely. thing to do is get in on the auto ship at the start. Yep. That's what you're saying. Totally. Now, what I'm going to show you, Ben, is I'm going to do a demo on this. But yep. before I do, I'm going to show you our concept suite because... You can stack them this way, you can stack them that way, you can stack one that way, one that way, you can do it all differently. So let me just show you some of the different ways. So they, And some of these, by the way, are using the auto ships. So this one is that first auto ship that I was telling you about. Oh, do you know, I'm, I'm going to have to stop holding them, I'm going to have to just put them on the table, right? This is the first one I was telling you about, which is that fancy edge one. There you are getting three different sizes. So you've got the large one, the medium and the small one, which all come in together, okay? So cool. What about doing the, uh, I love this one here, ready? Doing the hexagon. This is again one of the order ships, but doing the hexagon and tilting them round. I mean, come on, That's I bet you amazing. can't wait. And then again, what I love about easel cards is you want to put them in an envelope, you just go flat, the next one goes flat, the last one goes flat, whole thing goes into a lovely little envelope. Now, you, you can only be sending these cards 
to advanced card makers who are going to appreciate them. Because if you know, if you just send this to a regular friend, they're going to get that in the post and not know any idea how to put that up. <laughs> but you've got that lovely sweeping one. Yeah. You've then got what about oh the flower? Can't wait till the flower comes out. Oh, okay. are you kidding so me? You've got Look the gorgeous that. three sizes of the flower ones, and then all you do is you connect those easel cards together, and it's just so clever, Ben. And once you offset them, it's the same here. Here's the heart one. Oh, oh yeah. should we do this? Should I do this as the demo? Should I offset them as the demo and show you how you do this? Mm. And again you're just going to have them you get the little little mini stopper then the size to do the small one the medium one and the large one all in one honestly they are so but i'm going to show you anyway how simple they are to do ben yeah so but you could be winning them absolutely get your comments coming in ben's going to choose somebody as we're going through i'll get ready and demo them then yes uh, i'll get my demo out while you let me know what everybody's saying about them i will we've got some questions coming in which i'll put to you in just a little while whilst you're doing the demo but there's so many great comments uh coming in loads of you still chatting about the pro uh, melissa miller on facebook i need the pro to complete my family um mary k nolan on facebook says next tuesday i have to have an exercise stress test done uh, i wonder if they have a tv in the room i could probably go further if they had hsn on well i tell you what you, you need to ask him to put hsn on let you seriously you don't want to miss out on all of the shows which will be coming up uh, and rose on facebook saying calling my kids birthday in two weeks want to unwrap the new gemini yeah you need to get the kids in on that really don't you seriously yeah get them to tune in on tuesday uh, loads of you as well loving these um easel cards the triple easel uh, marilyn pico on youtube saying these make jaw dropping cards lots of you as well saying that you'd love to use these with your family photos too um we'll tackle the questions in just a second but let's get back yep. to sarah and see these in action i love that jaw dropping cards jaw yeah. dropping cards right let me show you how these are going to work then okay what you're going to do is you're going to make yourself a tenfold card at the size of the outer die so can you see I've made this at the size of that beautiful outer heart die and what we're going to do is we're going to then take it because obviously your Gemini has got so much pressure it's going to be able to comfortably cut through two layers so I'm going to take this down I'm going to tape it over the side here so I'm taping it to the plate over through two layers I'll do the same with the smaller one at the same time yeah uh, let's have a little look do you know what I'll move you up and then I can do both of you at once and then i can do the little smaller one down here are these dies going to go through the regular gemini a lot of people are asking yes all, all of these will work through your regular gemini absolutely no problem i'll tell you when we get to dies that need the large size okay, gemini cool. for this okay so you're going to put all the small ones obviously if you're doing the pro though yeah yeah and i did this the other day you could literally cut the whole lot of your easel card all at once awesome right so you get everything laid out then what we're going to do, and actually I'm realising I'm going through the pro, so what I shouldn't do is have a double layer of card cutting next to a single layer. So I'll put my double layer in next to that one. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using my regular size Gemini plates in order to illustrate the point I was making that you can use your regular size plates through your Gemini Pro. So these are my regular 9x12 Gemini plates, just in the same way that your, your junior Juniors. plates will go through your Gemini now you can put your regular plate through Brilliant. your large pro, right? Love that. So I've got my regular plate going through there. As I lift all these off, you can see there, it's cut my heart beautifully. We've been able to cut through the two layers of cardstock. Absolutely no problem at all, okay? So two layers of card, same with this one on here then. Two layers of card. I should be a little bit more careful, Ben. Obviously, when you're making these, you're not going to be live on air, right? No, exactly you're right. You're going to be live on and TV, the time right? And then what you're going to do is, you're going to, I've realised that I've left my scoring board over the other side. Don't ever do this, folks, right? But what you're going to do is, you're going to basically fold this in half yeah. but you're going to use your scoring board to put a nice crease line in as opposed to me just kind of phony fake and a bit of a crease line in there right so you use your scoring board this will teach me to want to be over in your area of the world in the kitchen Ben my I know. army kit are you, it? are you enjoying it over there <laughs> it's a bit different Isn't it's a bit it? different I will tell you yeah so um right so you've got that folded then what you're going to do is you're going to do here I've got my little one here you're going to do another one just the one layer of card so if I make my little one here just like you normally would an easel card yes you've got your one with the fold line in half you've got your large one here on the side you put the tape just on the bottom here right so just on the bottom and then that lines up on there like this and then once we've got all that lined up you see that makes 
my little easel card. Gorgeous. Now, I did have a stopper somewhere. Have I put me so where's my little stopper? Uh, I don't know, but do you know what? Should we use a nice little butterfly as a stopper? Yeah, let's see. Right, I've got a nice little butterfly that we can use as a stopper. So if I want to put this down on here, Ben, watch what I've done. I've got the small easel card uh -huh. and I've made the medium size easel card in exactly the same way. And then I've got the large easel card that I've also made. And all I've so done on cute. these is I put a little bit of, of extra on there. Right. Yes. So I've just got the so I'm gonna get all my bits, here's my stopper. I found my stopper. We're all good to go. Good out. This is going to go on here. So I've done the base part on here as well. So uh -huh. I've got my three little easel cards. And then my stopper, of course, just needs a little stopper like this. That's going to make your base and it's going to put it on there. So there's my first easel. Yep. Then you're deciding how you're going to put them all together. So I'm going to go easel one. And then let's have a look. I think, did I say that we do this one here? Yeah, I did. Because look at this. We said we'd twist them all. Oh, yeah, yeah. So all you're doing is you're taking them, Ben, and twisting them all around. So there's my first one. So pretty. Then I'm going to stick the first one and make it the stopper on the second one. So let's have a look. I'm quite comfortable with that. Round about there like that. Yep. So all I'm going to do is fold that nice and flat. Let's put... Let's have a look. I want to make sure I get in the right bit. If I put that there... It's so many people marvelling at this collection, Sarah, and uh, Marla just saying, how in the world did your team come up with this design? I've no idea how they did, but I'm glad that they did. Loads of people loving this, seriously. Oh, I know. Honestly, do you know when sometimes you just get really, really excited about like a huge launch coming out? Yeah. I've known this has been coming and I've just been like beyond excited to be able to do that and, and, and share this with everyone. So I just couldn't wait to be able to do this. So one two let's go with the third one here so again if i want this to be the stopper on there we want that to stop it there gorgeous I just put a little bit of tape over where i want my third piece to come and these are do you know if you know how to make easel cards ben yeah you're going to be able to make stacked easel cards yeah you just need the right designs to get you started that is fab isn't that fab and then all you're going to do is put all your bits on the easel yeah now just to show you the one that i'd actually planted a demo on stacks in a different way so i've done the three and i've stacked them all can you see they all kind of come to one point yes so it just looks like the same size so i've stacked them all on top of each other where you've got one two three so i'm just stacking the three easels awesome. like this all on top of each other and then you get a triple stack like that but remember i'm going to show you a couple more of the um of the big storybook ones in the set you are getting the, the heart yep and the storybook so you get both of them included i think the storybook is my favorite one with all of these ben for like for really telling a story absolutely i think my boys would love these you know they're, they're really into stories at the moment and they like writing their own stories and i just think to be able to do that and the kids write a little bit on each one or oh you could write on the back and put a photo on the next one down yes that is when you're getting really spectacular with these honestly these are what did somebody call them jaw dropping jaw dropping cards. Yeah. These are the jaw-dropping cards. And, and it's another reason why you seriously want to get in on the authorship with these as well, because once you've got the kind of initial set, you're going to want to grab the others as well. So absolutely get that authorship on these. Um, Karen saying, I love the look of that rectangular card. Can you imagine a family portrait with that? Karen Henry on Facebook, this is the one you might have heard me giggling at, says, OMG, I'm loving everything you bring. Does Ben come with these beautiful products? You would, I mean, seriously, I don't think you'd want me, to be honest and uh, one of our team has gone he costs extra and he doesn't have auto ship say so, yeah ah, nah, i wouldn't uh, just concentrate on the uh, on the products um kathy saying love the easel cards can't seem to make them right this kit could be so helpful absolutely this could be the kit uh, that you want uh dotty saying again as a teacher with these triple easel cards students could do a beginning a middle and end event on the three dies um and donna bischoff on youtube just saying i love being able to cut all of them at once with the mac daddy gemini i love the fact as well that already you're renaming uh the gemini pro what's it been called like the boss uh the mac daddy all of these different names i love it um tammy saying on youtube you make it look so easy i am loving these um and faye on facebook just saying i've been texting with my crafty friend during the show and we're deciding what we can't live without yeah if you've got uh, friends maybe who are just uh, getting in get them watching of course um, all of these you'll be able to find on hsn on tuesday on their big craft day um 
The Easels, by the way, the Stacked Easel Collection uh, launching uh, midnight with uh, Sarah and Suzanne. Then again at three o'clock, you'll be able to see those as well. But the brilliant thing is, is that you can get the book right now, download that so you know where everything is. As I keep saying, that's kind of your roadmap to all of the, uh, the goodies that are gonna be coming up. And of course, you'll get the heads up. Um, should things go live quicker, you've got the ability to get your pre-orders in uh, with that. And it's nice just to have a little thumb through and a flick through, isn't it, over the course of the next few days to get excited about the, uh, the big day on Tuesday on HSM. Don't forget, keep those comments coming in, all right, because for each of the demos that we do, we'll be giving away, uh, and we're gonna do the draw for the easels in just a second, by the way, we'll be giving away something to one of you who's watching, and at, towards the end of the show, thanks to me, uh, we are gonna be giving away another Gemini Pro, all right? So um, if you didn't win earlier on, you could be winning a little bit later, so do stay with us. Um, I, I know loads of you have been um, not being able to put your phones and your uh, tablets down. Uh, some of you, I think it was Janet who said she's on the wine already, which is good. Um, why not? Wine, tea, whatever you fancy. Um, we do have a winner though. The uh, Triple Easel Card Collection uh, is gonna go to somebody who commented on YouTube. It's somebody whose surname begins with a W. And the winner of that amazing collection is Katie Wilson. Katie, congratulations. You have just won. Just for commenting, you've got your hands on that amazing collection. Katie, to claim your prize, this is where you need to email prizes at crafterscompanion.com. Just email us there. Uh, we'll take all of your details and that amazing collection will be on its way to you. If you have just joined us, a very warm welcome. Thank you for joining us on this amazing show. I'm super excited uh, because this is the first HSM preview show that I've done and I know that we have got thousands of you watching right now. It's great, isn't it, to get a bit of a sneaky peek as to what's going to be coming up on Tuesday on HSN. So many great goodies coming. Uh, and of course, by getting yourself the booklet, which I know thousands of you have already downloaded, uh, you do have a, a pinpoint as to where everything is going to be coming up over the course of what is going to be a busy, busy day. Uh, now, as well as seeing Sarah on HSN over the course of that day, you'll be seeing, uh, well, one of my absolute faves as well, the Scotty hotty as he's been named by our lovely American viewers it's a nickname that I know that he absolutely cherishes and uh, <laughs> I think he does anyway um, and Greg is going to be coming up um, again on um, HSN nine o'clock with uh, Shannon because he's got a lovely collection uh, from our very own Sharon Callis haven't you Greg? I have indeed. I have to say, it was you guys at home that had given me that nickname, <laughs> yeah. and it seems to have stuck. You guys that do that, so it's a bit of a laugh, and I do like a bit of a he laugh. He loves it. Sure. Now, we have got another incredible collection. This is from Sharon Callis. Now, you may be seeing me back in October when I launched one of our die sets. This time around, we've got some sentiment stamps. Now, these aren't just any sentiment stamps. You want to check out how detailed but how elegant these are within these stamps. So it's a, a sizable stamp, so it's got your words such as friendship, like we're right showing you in this first one. We'll go through a few others in a moment as well. But not only that, it is all one stamp. So you can see you've got your friendship in here. You've got the swirls, you've got the feathers, you've got these little bits as well. If you want to use them separately, you can, but it does all come as one. And then you can see here as well, if we move on to the next one where we've got beautiful as well. So what I will show you in a second what I mean by complete so your main sentiment as well as these little sentiments on the top these are on one sheet all these additional bits are embellishments that come separate so you've got beautiful now you can be color numb you can be using your triblends your classy your illustrators what but your sparkles as well these can be the main focal point of your card or you maybe want to pop them in the middle of your card maybe you want to make your memory books you can pop them in as well but then we can see on these ones here we have got wonderful check out the full Font. The font is so, so different. Something that I've never seen before. But if you want to use the embellishment stamps that come on, wonderful. Maybe you want to use them with laughter on this one here. You absolutely can. Now, I've used my uh, quick dry for these ones here, but you could be using your pigment ink pads if you want, maybe your metallic pens.
pennies because you can stamp with them as well. So that's six of them that is coming in total, but I know you want to see how these work. Absolutely, so yes. What we're going to do, Ben, is I'm going to show you how, if I take the stamp off, we're going to use Beautiful. You can tell it's one that I've used already. So if I bring this one off, I'm going to bring in a bit of paper for you to see. So you've got the word Beautiful, but what you've got is you've got these additional sentiments to go with them here. So if I bring it up a wee bit more for you to see, we can see there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. Love so I'm that. going to come in that way here. But then, Ben, this is where on the additional sheet, what you've got is these additional parts. So let's just pop that one off. Let's bring this one in. So with beautiful, you've got the leaves, you've got the florals, you've got the swirls, you've got the little bow as well. You've got the foliage swirl too. So you have got them. So these extra embellishment accessory parts come on these sheets. So I thought, what we'll do, I thought, while I'm here, let's do a bit of crafting. So I'm going to bring in this die or this stamp to go with it. So we're going to pop that into place. I'm bringing in a few of my pigment ink pads. Okay. So I'm going to bring, let's go for fuchsia. Let's go for, or actually, let's go for a good selection of the different ones. And we're going to cross over the colors. Don't worry about cross contamination. They're going to work absolutely fine. So let's stamp a couple on this side here. So with this one being all of them are our pigment ink pads, yes. this one is crushed velvet, Ben. Then let's go in for an orange. See how I'm overlapping? Yeah. Don't worry about it. They'll be absolutely fine. And then we'll go for a bit of fuchsia. So let's go into the fuchsia on here. Now with the pigment ink pads, what you can do is leave them a bit longer and they're going to dry. But if you want it to come along and add some of your embossing powders over the top, you can, because they're a sticky ink. So this is how they work well when it comes to these stamps. What I'm going to do, I'm going to come back with our uh, pigment again with the crushed velvet, just enhance that to the side. I did even have lemon tonic and parakeet, but do you know what? We'll maybe do that another time. We said those quite a lot, those colours, didn't we? But yeah, <laughs> yeah, we absolutely do. Now, what I'm going to do is this piece of cardstock, white smooth stamping card I have got, yeah. and I'm going to pop this over the top. Ideally, Ben, I'd have my stamping mat, but I actually forgot to bring it. Oh. So they'll still work perfectly. You're going to see how crisp and clean that these are. And what I've done as well, I've popped them at a bit of an angle. So you can go that jaunty angle, you can go that squint angle, you can go straight if you want. You can do different things. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to pull this one up. You're going to see that impression that you have got. So we've gone from the light, we've gone through into the yes. deeper, going back into the light again. If you wanted to at this point, because it's pigment, as I said, use your embossing powders. I'm not going to. Let's show you what it would look like if I used all six colours. Wow. So you can see how you can do that. We're getting that rainbow effect that you've got here. Want to colour in? Go for it. No problem at all. Let's even bring in this one here. Exactly the same, but I matte and layered it onto a piece of our pumpkin centura petal in black cardstock. And we can set that one to the side. Let's bring our card blank layer into place. So we've got this one here. So this is just a letter sized piece of cardstock folded in half. So we get that elongated shape. I'm going to bring in our tape runner. And for speed, let's just add a few bits. This one can go on here. And then what we can do is bring this one in, Ben, and go over the top with our tape runner. This can go in to place. So I'm just going to press that one down. And then what I've also done, Ben, taken a few bits of our uh, stamping card. These uh, little accessory embellishment stamps that we've got here, I've just created my own little side border. Really, really simple, using some of the same colors Jeez. there, just to add that little bit of extra focal to your mm. eye on the side. So what we can do, if I bring these ones off, bring in a few foam pads, even when I come to HSN, I've still got my phone pads, Ben. Exactly. Absolutely. You, know you, you can't get him away from his phone pads. Just Not to say at all. as well, whilst you're just sticking this down, um, our lovely Sharon Callis is actually watching. Uh, she's just messaged on Facebook saying, thank you all so much for your lovely comments on the collection. And there are some lovely comments coming in. Um, Sharon, we absolutely love. And uh, if you've um, seen our Craft House on uh, Crafters TV, you'll have probably met her on a few occasions as well. Very talented lady, isn't she? Oh, she is an unbelievably talented lady. Someone that has been uh, friends with the Crafters Companion family for years and years and years. You may know her, obviously, for her dies as well as some stamps, but now we've got these incredible, sizable stamps that we've got here. So think about your smaller cards, your larger cards. Maybe you want to make your real big cards when it comes to uh, your large Gemini that you know you're going to be getting, then you can be using that with your Gemini Pro here. And then bringing these ones, paper pads that you've got.
your white cardstock, your colouring, all these different mediums that you can be doing. And you can see here's one last one as well. You can see how different you can make them depending on the colours that you use. But they're so big, they're going to be using as a focal point on your card. Or if you want to pop them into the middle, you can. Even great for any of your memory books as well. Have them in a little bit of a pocket behind one of a photo. That's all you need to do. Awesome. Isn't it great having Craig on the show as well? It's brilliant, isn't it, to have Craig with us and Sarah as well. Uh, loads of lovely comments coming in about the Sharon Callis from the Heart Stamp Collection. Remember, you can see that item 9 o'clock on uh, Tuesday on HSN. Um, I love Sentiment Stamp, says Karen. These are lovely. Uh, Kathy on YouTube saying, very pretty font, nice words and sentiments. So versatile and so usable, aren't they, as well, those kind of sentiments for all sorts of different projects. Uh, Beverly Britton Chester on Facebook saying, so very excited for these lovely stamps that Sharon has designed as we touched on. Such a lovely lady Sharon actually and so so talented with all of her designs as well. Uh, Beth Ann Black on uh, Facebook saying the Sharon collection is so versatile. Uh, Christine Mahoney on Facebook that beautiful stamp is so beautiful. See what you did there because it's beautiful and it is yeah, never mind. Um, uh, Terry saying, loving the Sharon Callis stamps, beautiful. And Lauren Miller on Facebook, love that these stamps can stand out on their own. Really great to showcase the images and reduce bulk if we're mailing cards. Absolutely. Never kind of thought of it that way, but that is a really nice way to think about it um, as well. And of course, if you want to find out more about all of the products that we've got, make sure you download uh, that booklet. I know loads of you have already, but that is a great way to kind of see when items are going live to get in maybe a little bit early. But make sure uh, you're there on HSN on Tuesday for their craft day. So much to look forward to. And just to reiterate, if you have just joined us, keep commenting because we love to hear from you and it's lovely to hear as well um, which items that you're going to be going for that you can tell us as well in the comments let us know which is going to be the first thing that you're going to buy um, on tuesday let us know why you're going to buy them what's the first thing that you're going to be using i love to hear all of that and of course the more you comment the more you interact with us the more uh, you could win Talking of winning, we need to find out who is going to win themselves, the Sharon Callis from the Heart Stamp Collection. And I can tell you that our winner this time comes from Facebook. And our winner's name is... We'll tell you after this short... No, I won't do that. Uh, the win... <laughs> oh, you just call me a tinker. I call you a tinker. Oh, you know, tinker. Uh, the winner of this... I can't believe you just called me a tinker. The Sharon Callis Collection <laughs> on Facebook. Sarah Offerman. Well done to you, Sarah. There you go. Uh, that is yours. So many congratulations. Again, all you need to do to claim your prize, uh, just send us a little email here. Our guys will be waiting for you to get in touch. We'll take your details and we'll get that off to you. Prizes at Craft companion.com as always i'll reiterate again that if you, know, you didn't win don't worry more chances for you to win we've got so many more products to show you over the course of the next mm, two and a half hours or so so stay with us i know loads of you are uh, taking us with you wherever you go on your tablets on your mobiles grab yourself a drink as i say some of you are on the tea some of you are on the coffee some of you are on the glasses of wine already which is marvelous uh, but don't miss anything because there's so many great demos to come so many great products to bring to you and so many chances for you to win as well right let's get back over to the crafty side of the studio to see what we're going to be looking at next what you got for us sarah oh well i'm going to show you these and walk you through them but the, i have got time to do a demonstration because we've got so much to show but i've done already done a two hour masterclass with these so i'm going to show you and give you a bit of a flavor you can go and watch the masterclass it was on the 6th of january these are our birthday month floral stamps and dies now the bundle that we're doing for hsn is a little bit different than the one that you'll see on the masterclass which is the one that we launched here because so the concept here is let me put this down and explain to you okay every month has its own flower and what we've done is we've done a gorgeous beautiful hand illustrated flower beautiful drawing as a stamp and then the matching outside die to go with it so every month has its own beautiful flower as, as a stamp and then the die cut to go with it so for example january is the gorgeous carnation these have been hand illustrated by a world-class illustrator that we have here working in our team sarah k Get these from HSN, you're going to get them on your flexi pays. you're going to get not only the 12 months, but you're also going to get the storage folder to go with them and all of the storage panels to go inside. Now, when you watch our 
masterclass on it, you'll see us present the ones that we did in the UK. The flowers for a couple of months are slightly different in America oh, okay. to what they are in the UK. So this is the collection as it's going to be on HSN. So a little bit different to what you'll see if you go back and watch that masterclass. Yeah. But I'll tell you which months are going to be different. Everywhere in January it's carnation and that's a good job because this is my second favourite flower in the whole collection of colour. Even if you don't want to make this for like January birthdays or anniversaries or weddings, carnations are gorgeous to colour and really difficult to get hold of, okay? Then February, we've got the amazing primrose. In March, you are going to be getting the daffodil. Gorgeous. So far, so good, all the same there. I yep. coloured that one, by the way, on the demonstration yes. live. It's absolutely beautiful. You were there with me, Ben, weren't I you? I was there, I remember it very well. Gorgeous designs. Yeah. Now, in April, in the US, it's the sweet pea. Oh. So this is exclusive to HSN. Lovely. So the sweet pea is coming in for your April design in there as well. May is Lily of the Valley. A lot of you will recognise there. Then in June, my number one top favourite one to colour, the rose. You'll see me Classic. colour that on the masterclass as well. Love the rose. In July, in the US, it's the water lily. Wow, okay. How gorgeous is that water lily? Love so that's it. the water lily for you for July. August is your gladiolus, okay? You've got September is the aster. That, by the way, I colour it with pens and emphasise with pencils, pencils on top. Yeah. Beautiful. Then you've got your October. Now, I don't know how to spell this. This is a US flower. Can... no, no. What? Calendula. Calendula? Calendula. Oh, no idea. Calendula. 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 Maybe, Calendula. Calendula. Maybe you can tell us. In the US. <laughs> That's a bit right. Water boy. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Ride it. Ride crocodiles have have not uh, have. What is it? And he thinks it's because they don't brush their teeth or something, and it's their oh, blue gum. Oh, I can't even say that. <laughs> right, let's move about. on swiftly. Move right? on, Sarah, quickly. November chrysanthemum. Uh, I, I learned how to spell that when I was uh, uh, when I was uh, really young as well. I was always proud of that. Now and then <laughs> December in the US, it's the narcissus. Ah, okay, good. so the narcissus. So four months that are different in the US. It's your narcissus in December, your October one, your July, and your April one. Right. are a little bit different. Okay, I will show you while you're reading comments, Ben. Yeah. Bear in mind the US HSM bundle comes. Uh, all, there's exclusive ones in there, and also you get the um, the folder in there too. Yeah. I will show you a load of the samples okay. while you are telling me what everyone thinks of these as well. Oh, absolutely. And um, like Sarah says, just to reiterate, make sure you do have a look back on our uh, launch day show 6th of January um, on our YouTube page because definitely worth seeing some of those demos uh, loads of chat just generally um, about the uh, the pro we'll be looking back at that again a little bit later on but actually these stamps you're loving uh, Evangeline on um, YouTube just saying just finished looking at the booklet what a wonderful way of starting this year off with happiness uh, Deborah saying I'm getting everything shown so far and Mary's very excited <laughs> on YouTube oh Deborah uh, Mary saying sweet pea that's my flower it was interesting to see that actually because both Sarah and I have our birthday in April and the uh, the flower here in the UK is obviously the daisy so sweet pea um for the US and medley costello close, by the way Ben and have a look at this rose yes close. this is my absolute top favorite flower not only us have drawn but anybody in the industry in the 15 years I've been in to color wow I mean it's just screaming out to me to be colored so it's, anyway, sorry, um, I interrupted you. Do no, it's fine. Medley Costello on YouTube is saying, I absolutely love the flowers. What a wonderful sentiment for each recipient to have their flower for their birthday card. And it's something we chat about on the show, which I'm sure um, lots of people will go back and watch. But it's great, isn't it, to be able to surprise people with the flower that perhaps they didn't know was their birthday yes. month. But then absolutely, the fact that you've got all these flowers, you can use them whenever you want, year round for whatever occasion, can't you? Oh, 100%. I mean, look, that is, a, that is just a beautiful flower. And not only that, Ben... They are lovely and challenging to colour. Yeah. So I, this is the one that I actually did live on the show and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I did the colouring with the pens and then I did pencils over top, if you remember, yeah, to I deepen the colour. So if you are looking for stamps that are going to really challenge you to be able to do your colouring at its best or take your colouring to the next level, this is the collection. And do you know what? It is a considered purchase, Ben, to get the whole set of all 12 stamps and dies at once. But because HSN do their interest-free flex pays, especially with the HSN credit card, you always get the extra Super flex handy. as well. To me, to Tuesday is going to be the time to buy. Or you might not even have to wait till Tuesday 
as soon as they go live on the website. So th here's the thing, right? That booklet, yeah. instead of downloading it, go and view it live on the website. Go and have a look and you can flick through. And then every time you come back, my team, because they're so awesome, behind the scenes, <laughs> are, every time a product goes live on it, just they'll automatically link it. So they link it up straight away. So that all you need to do, click on it, it'll take you straight to the HSN website where you can see how much it is, you can add it to your basket, what the flex pays are going to be, everything like that. Uh, order it early as well if you want. So honestly, it's just that booklet is like the Bible when it comes to everything you need to know for Tuesday. In fact, have a little look at the booklet. I'm going to tidy these up, Ben, yeah. and get ready for me next for go do the jigsaws. Absolutely. We're looking forward to that. So many people excited. So many people already saying that they've got the booklet. It is the best way to go, really, because you can have a little bit of a look at everything in more detail. You can see what that uh, we've got coming up on the uh, the HSM preview show. Remember, we're here with you for uh, another couple of, couple of hours, two and a half hours, so there's plenty more to show you. But that booklet is invaluable as we said because it gives you a sneak peek ahead and then as things do go live potentially before Tuesday you can be one of the very first to get your mitts on those goodies because let's be honest with the um, kind of clamor which is going on on Facebook and YouTube at the moment for all of the goodies we are going to have some busy, busy shows on HSN on uh, Tuesday. If you like particularly the uh, birthday month floral stamp and dives we've just shown you, um, uh, midnight with Suzanne and then 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. on Tuesday with uh, Sarah and Adam Freeman. Uh, but I love the fact as well that you can uh, see our show that we already did with these here on Crafters TV, launch day on the 6th of January. Uh, so you'll be able to watch some of those in action. Definitely worth having a look at, but just bear in mind uh, that some of the US flowers are different as Sarah's already pointed out to the ones that you will see in that show but it's definitely worth going back so that you can see the concept um, and Sarah does feature on that show that beautiful uh, daffodil March's flower uh, and then also the rose as well the aster as well the brilliant demo of the aster uh, with the tri blends and then the pencils on top as well absolutely um, amazing lots of lovely comments still coming in uh, relating to the uh, the flowers, Enchanted Craft Fairy on YouTube just saying these stamps are all sized so well to work on cards. And absolutely, when you've got those in your armory, like we said, so nice to have the flowers uh, which relate to the different months. So you can surprise the, that, that person who might not know that that particular flower uh, was their birth month's flower. But then also to have all of those flowers in your crafty armory, you can just use them year round, time and time again for loads of different occasions, birthdays, anniversaries, you know, flowers you can use for absolutely anything. Uh, Samantha Chaney on YouTube just saying, man, Sarah, you sure know how to make a person break a promise to themselves. Uh, said to myself, I have everything I need for crafting. Now here you come with all these irresistibles. Samantha, honestly, it's something that we've heard so much on Crafters TV over the course of the last few weeks. As we start in 2021, it's been so interesting to hear from uh, loads of you saying, do you know what? I'm going to set a crafting budget. I'm going to uh, only spend X amount. And literally within about four days of the new year starting, uh, just like you, Samantha, people have been breaking their promises. But you know what? It's not such a bad New Year's promise to break, is it really? When you see all of these goodies, do it again next year, Samantha. That's what I say. Uh, Mary Pat 1000 on YouTube is saying, uh, Sarah, great thinking, including the binder with that collection. <laughs> Cindy on YouTube says, I will be selling my son's bed to make room. He, oh, thank goodness for that. It says, he uh, just goes on to say, he doesn't live here anyway. That's good news, because I, you know, that's, that's, that's desperate. We've had people saying they're going to sell kidneys and sell their kids' beds. Well, as, if he doesn't live there, that's fine. We'll let you do that. Uh, and Carlene on Facebook saying, I'll be glued to my TV on Tuesday. Yes, absolutely. HSN will be the place to uh, be for that craft date. Super, super looking forward to that. And of course, don't forget, get that booklet. That is your way to go. Um, by the way, we have still got questions coming in about the Gemini Pro. We will be revisiting that before the end of our preview show. And once again, we will be coming back and giving you the opportunity to win that as well. Uh, of course, with a lot of the products we're going to show you on the show, after we've seen the demos, we're going to do giveaways. We've already given away one of the Gemini Pros, but because I asked the question, I, I don't mind asking the hard questions, we'll be doing another giveaway of that uh, towards the end of our show. And of course, don't forget, we've got the uh, big launch of uh, Sarah's signature collection coming up as well. So much to look forward to. Make sure you stick with us. Do not go anywhere. And if you do have to go anywhere, take us with you uh, on your tablet, on your phone. If you're moving around the house, you've got to do your chores. Watch us as you do them uh, because you will not want to miss what we've got coming up, particularly what I can see out of the corner of my eye now. I know this is something that you have all been looking forward to seeing. Sarah, tell us about this amazing uh, jigsaw collection. 
Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to tell you one important thing to know about this, okay? It is supposed to be on in the 8 a.m. hour. I will eat my hand <laughs> if there are any of these left. Now, I'm just going to tell you honestly, okay? Yeah. We've got the 5x7 jigsaw back in stock. So those of you who've been waiting for the jigsaw die, back in stock on hsn.com. It'll go live at some point this weekend. Uh, it's a multimedia die. It sold out like instantaneously on the show last time, okay? Now, we are launching the 10 by 8. So look at the two sizes together. 5 by 7, 10 by 8. Love and it. I've done them these sizes to match like photographs. Yeah. So that you can go get your photos printed at this size. I'm just going to level with you straight up. HSN have ordered 1,000. HSN have ordered 1,000 of the 48-piece jigsaw puzzle die. So if you... I, I, there are 2,000 people now watching this show. I would imagine by the time I finish doing you this demo, you are all going to want one of these jigsaws. And I can tell you now, only half of you that are watching this live can order it. I told them at the time it wasn't enough. I can't believe now how popular the jigsaw puzzle has been since we launched it. It hasn't even launched in the UK yet in the small size. Completely sold out, and then back in stock, okay? I'm going to show you. What we're going to do is we're going to make a large jigsaw, okay? So here's the thing, right? We do the jigsaw puzzle, but then, and I'll just tell you now. So the small one is the 5x7, and that's a 24-piece jigsaw puzzle. The large one, 10x8, makes a 48-piece puzzle. Uh, can I just ask, is it just me? I have done so many jigsaw puzzles over Christmas. We've been yeah. sitting down and doing them as a family, loving them, right? Now you can make your own, okay? Make your own 24-piece or your 48-piece, right? So let's have a look. We've also done... And again, these are in limited quantities. If you want, you can do your jigsaw pieces just on a thick cardstock if you want. Yeah. But they are really professional done on mount board. So if you want to do one on mount board, which is what I'm going to do here, okay? Each one of these is that super thick mount board piece that you're getting, okay? So a 10 by 8, your mount board's going to be just a little bit bigger, right? So it's going to be just a little bit bigger. You're going to take your photos and get them printed out. So here's a lovely one of me and my mum. And I would recommend the tacky glue. And what I would recommend is get your tacky glue and you want to put your tacky glue all over the edge because obviously you don't want it to miss. You don't want any of your pages to miss. Or if you've got a large Xyron, run it through your Xyron, do it with your Xyron. Yeah. But put plenty of that glue on Ben, right? Put this down. And what you're going to do is you're going to position it in place and then smooth all of that glue out so that it is literally going over. Don't worry if it even a little bit oozes out the sides. You want the glue to be all spread out everywhere. So look, I'm just manoeuvring that into place so that you get a bit of movement so that we can get it really stuck really well down, okay? So there we go. That is all stuck into place and you need to give it... I would say, because we don't want to run it through the machine until that glue's dry. Yes. So I would say, let's give this one. Oh, we might get a chance to do this later near the end of the show, right? What I have done just before the show is a little picture of my cheeky, chappy jigsaw boy himself. Oh, Charlie. Bless absolutely. Charlie. He is the jigsaw guru. So our Charlie, he's the thing, right? That kid, four-year-old. Yeah. I say to him, e, son, you are so good at jigsaws. And he just looks at me and goes... I know, Mammy. I'm the jigsaw king. <laughs> I mean, he is just... He absolutely loves them. So I'm making this for him. So watch what you do. You get your jigsaw. I'm going to take this, and you can see it's exactly the right size. So all I do is I take this, I put this exactly over the photograph, yes. right? And while it's there, I'm going to use the tape, and I'm going to hold it in place, right? So I'm going to stick it down, Ben at the top and the bottom because I want this to not move at all while it's in the machine. Now, it will fit in your regular Gemini. So even if you haven't got the Gemini Pro, we've designed this so that it fits in. The thing is, if you do it in the, large, the big Gemini, the, the regular size Gemini, put the metal plate in as well. It's going to need a bit of extra welly. However, using it in the Pro, do you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to cut into the same plate. Oh, and just use the same cutting plate here. So I'm going to cut into that one, and I'm going to put this one on top. Keep one of my plates nice as it was, right? And we're going to go straight into the machine. Now, here's the thing. You know we get that clunk when it comes out the end? Yeah. If you want to avoid the clunk, just slightly twist it. Just a little bit like that. A little bit of a top tip 
so that you don't get the clunk when it comes out the end. Okay, you can see I've just slightly offset that. And we're coming in, and if you miss us at the start, let me just tell you, so my Gemini Pro is now on the twisty turntable. It's coming These soon, isn't it? These were supposed to be in, ready for the show. However, the shipment's been a little bit delayed. They will be there on the March HSN shows, okay? So they'll be in there for March. So look here. Even through there into mount board, it's cut absolutely no problem at all. Now, if you want, so I can see that that's cut right through. If you want to send it through and get a real crisp break, that's when you're going to bring in your metal plate. And it's actually probably good for me to show you this metal plate here. Can you see what we've done with the edges, by the way, Ben? We've actually folded over the metal at the edge. Oh, yes. So I don't know if you can get kind of in close on that, but can you see we've just yeah. folded over the metal at the edge? So you can see that, so you don't need to worry about ever catching your fingers or anything like that. I can rub on the edge because we've given it that fold over on the edge. So if you want to run it with the metal plate on, now you can see that that's cut, but I'm just going to show you here. I'm just going to pop the metal plate on, twist it round, run it through another time. So now what we'll get is, we'll get like a clean break. This way, I would tear, not tear, but pull the jigsaw pieces apart. If you just want them to like pull apart, that's going to absolutely do it, okay? So straight through, one pass through your machine. Oh, oh. Have you seen there? Oh, oh, I've pulled the lead out. Oh, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, oh, look, it's got, it's got stuck. It's That's stuck. interesting. You'll see it do the auto-reverse function. If you ever get that, by the way, yeah. just the same as all your other Geminis, just hold the pause button down and it will reverse back out. Too much right? spinning, Sarah. That's what it was. Too much spinning. Yeah, I should be really careful. I, I've only got so long a lead here. But do you know what? That enabled me to illustrate another feature on our super fantastic Super fan Debbie Ozzy. That's why you did it. That, uh, that's why I did it. Exactly yeah, that's right. exactly why I did it, Ben. Right, here we go. So, if I take this off, now you can see how that's all nice and kind of clean and crisp. So, if I lift these off, Can't wait to and see then it. all I'm going to do, this, so this is going to be our Charlie. See if I can do it all in one. Yeah. See if I can lift it all off in one piece. Come on, you can do it. Uh, no, it's going to come as separate pieces. Uh, it's going to come as separate pieces. Uh, is tough. that the bottom of the cake tin? Let's get me... Look, I'm, I'm treating my plates like a lazy Susan now. <laughs> uh, pop out. So this is because I put it through with the extra um, with the extra metal plate in, All which right. is actually a benefit. Porky tool. Porky tool. Right, ready. Look at this. So these all just poke out perfectly. And you're going to get that perfect jigsaw puzzle. I'm so excited about these. I think this is I such just... a cool idea, honestly, when you think of all of the different photos that you can use. And also, by the way, just to say, uh, I've just had the heads up that the 5x7 is actually live already. Uh, so if you go through the booklet, there, click on the there, link, there, there, it will straight to it. So grab it, because there's a few of you saying you missed out on it. Uh, but you can get it right now. It is available. That is honestly just Amazing, Sarah. Are you, are you a little bit like me? Are you just desperate to take one of these home now and do some jigsaw puzzles for the kids? Absolutely, <gasps> I am. Do you know what? You should nip to the supermarket tomorrow, Ben, and print out some of, um, get some of the photos printed out of your phone yeah. in 10 by 8, and I'll make you some jigsaw puzzles tomorrow for the kids. Are you take serious? Them home with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, all you need, and do you know what? All you need is a bit, I mean, the mount board makes it look like an actual professional jigsaw. Yeah. But look at that. I mean, our Charlie is going to, so I can't wait for him to wake up in the morning and be like, look, son, look what I've got. Yeah. How long School, will it take? homework tomorrow, homeschooling, we're going to be doing a jigsaw. How but long will it take the jigsaw, jigsaw king to do that? <laughs> <laughs> and look, so they just, and they're like proper jigsaw pieces. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, because we've used the cardstock here, that's not the right one. Here we go. There, Mammy's eye, Charlie's eye, uh, Charlie's other eye. Yep, yeah, put it all together. Here we go. Oh, my life. There's Mammy's mouth. Oh, it's upside down. Do you know? You're not going to put the whole thing together. We're already here <laughs> no, till 11 no, we'll o'clock, We'll be here all day and I'm already running behind. Yeah, exactly. But how awesome that you can make your own jigsaw puzzles. Now, do them all. Now, what we've done is just to kind of illustrate a little bit. Look at some of the things. We've done these. Obviously, we've had to stick them on something so I can show you them up. So we've done some beautiful scrapbook pages with the pieces on there. So you can see oh, even just the wow. smaller ones. So here's me when we did that lovely Christmas decoration. Yes. Here's a picture of me with my mum and our Helen on a gorgeous scrapbook. 
Um, What's all that. with your own your makeup on? Ma'am, you are the piece that holds us all together. Oh. This one's getting my makeup done at uh, Dragon's Den. Yeah. And can you see what we've done is we've like raised a few of the pieces up on the front there, so it's a bit three dimensional. One with a beautiful stamped image on the back there. So that is if you're kind of making cards with them. But to be honest, Ben, re being really honest, I just love making them into proper jigsaw yeah. pieces like this. I mean, my, my kids, we've talked about this all over Christmas. I keep saying, wait till the middle of January. Wait till you see where I've got kids. We're going to make all our own jigsaw puzzles. So, um, yes. And Ben, let's give one away. Absolutely. Let's do it. And amazing. Again, be able to print off all of those photos that you've got on your phone and then create these jigsaw puzzles. No word of a lie, I reckon about four or five Christmases ago, I actually sent off and paid a lot of money uh, for a company to do that for me. It was one of my daughter's favourite presents that year. Having known that uh, you know we've got this kind of capacity to make our own now, I wish I'd waited because this is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Uh, this is going to be uh, launching 8 a.m., but we have a sneaking suspicion uh, that they could all go before they even launch. There's so many of you uh, saying how much you love uh, the Jigsaw collection. Um, Kathy's saying, I made the 5 by 7 Jigsaw for each member of my family of something they really love and did not give them a picture. Unwrapping suddenly stopped and everyone grabbed their identical present and immediately all started started to put together was so much fun and they loved them and again it's the kind of thing isn't it you can come back to time and time again a jigsaw puzzle you'll just enjoy putting together uh, each and every time carry on youtube saying these jigsaw dies are perfect for, for pandemic crafting absolutely i'm going to make a puzzle for my kids to send to their grandparents that's such a lovely idea i love it uh, shirley on facebook says i have the five by seven really want the ten by eight uh, my great grandkids love these uh, puzzles are the best stress reliever, says Monica on YouTube. Uh, Donna on Facebook saying, great for student projects for Mother's and Father's Day. Uh, and Terry Sheldon saying, my mom sent Christmas money to use on CC stuff. I am making my list. Uh, there's so many of you still watching, but we do, of course, have to uh, find ourselves a winner for the uh, jigsaw die. Uh, the winner this time comes from YouTube. And the winner of that is... I need a drum roll, don't I, really? Ruth Sanborn. Ruth, congratulations to you. That's yours. You're one of the very first people to get your hands on it. Prizes at uh, crafterscompanion.com com is where you need to email just send us a little email we'll get all your details and we'll make sure that that is out to you boy oh boy what a show sarah was not wrong when she told me that this was going to be off the chart i am loving it we are i reckon uh, almost about halfway through plenty more to show you um, lots of questions still coming in on the uh, the brand new machine that we've got if you've missed the launch of that the gemini pro is here the mac daddy as you're calling it uh, there's loads of nicknames coming in for that and some questions as well about that. So um, hang fire because we will be coming back to that towards the end of the show. And um, any, uh, oh, oh, sorry, my uh, American producer said hang fire is not a question, uh, not a, uh, not, not a, uh, not a saying in the US. Hang fire isn't a saying, no? Oh, okay. Uh, what? Oh, hang tight. Is that better? All right. Hang tight. I can't remember why I was telling you to hang fire or hang tight. Now, what was I talking about? But that's a freak. Sorry, don't you start. Hang I, I, agree, I agree with you, but I'm just thinking we are a bit ridiculous for saying that. Oh, well, anyway, I should never said it now. Um, hang fire, hang fire on something, Ben. Wait a little while. Do we all understand that? Wait a little while, uh, because a little bit later, we will be recapping on the Gemini Pro, which never started. Um, and we will be giving another one away. I know we've got questions coming in about the Gemini Pro. We will tackle all of those when we come back to it. So if you, if you can uh, w wait on me until we do that, because I don't, I don't want to kind of confuse matters. We'll come back to that, answer all those questions as we go along. Uh, Diane Runge on Facebook just saying, I just snagged the five by seven uh, and thinking the eight by 10 would be fantastic. Uh, and Kian Na Brown on Facebook, Kiana, says this seems like the biggest show so far it's the first one I've been involved in um, and well I believe Sarah when she says it's the biggest show I tend to believe that this is the biggest show it feels super busy we've got thousands of you watching us right now super excited and uh, you can tell that it's a busy show because we're already miles behind time because we've got so much to squeeze in before we finish so I'll shut up you keep the commenting going uh, and let's move on oh now I saw this in the booklet earlier on I'm looking forward to seeing the crafters companion village dice these look amazing Sarah uh, you can build your whole own village a whole village Brilliant. right are you ready if let's just put this to one side right so can you see this you can be making your own church 
you can be making your own gorgeous cottages or you can make them and connect them together where you'll do like you, if you connected these two together you could do a bigger church for example now here's the thing how into this are you going to get because we've kept this nice and simple okay each one of these what you get is a two-part piece right it is a stencil so for example let me get that one that is this stencil here so this is a beautiful stencil that you're going to draw around to give you the shape but then you've got all the dies to cut in the little door the window the clock the little spire can you see it's got the little bell in the top there oh, cut yeah, in cute. so they are all the die cuts that work with it then where we've got all those extra pieces that are going to cut out but they are positioning dies so you're going to position the windows into place basically right really awesome now in the main bundle that we're going to be showcasing on air right and it's coming up in the launch show you are going to be getting the village church which is that one which has these accessories which is going to make you this sort of design here like how i mean come on someone getting married ben could you think of something nicer to make them than this? I, I mean this has got to be knock it out of the park absolutely Fantastic. spectacular you do the main church and then also that gorgeous little cottage house that goes with it whether you're going to make it like this size whether you're going to do it in your um different colors Ooh, yeah. however you want to do it that is the one that comes to make this so that is called your thatched cottage and your thatched cottage die set that it has to go with it has the gorgeous little picket fence the little oh. bit for the roof the windows all the accessory pieces right so that is the set that it's coming that is going to be featuring in the launch show on hsn however hsn super fans we have an exclusive for you that is going onto the hsn website that will not be shown on air if you want to get the extras this is the super size bundle oh, and again okay. as soon as these go live on hsn go and have a little look in the booklet so you would then get the manor house right so this is the larger manor. i mean look how big it is really big that's the manor house template so that is going to make you these larger ones as wow. well so there's your manor house template in there and then again you are getting all of the windows and doors which work in with the manor house awesome so the manor house is the first one then we also have the townhouse so the townhouse again different shape again the townhouse is going to be making you this aren't they so That's gorgeous super cute and we've done them like a little victorian yeah. village but you could even do them like really modern houses and the manor house comes with all of these elements here as well then We've got the next one here and this one is called the cozy cottage so this is your little small one in there this is your little cozy cottage and how the cozy cottage cozy cottage is going to work with for you as well on there and again your cozy cottage comes with its own die set so there's three additional ones not in the main set we also have two sets of stamps so these are going to be your texture stamps I love so if those. you want you know if you want to make them look like real bits yeah. so can you see on the cottage and that we, we had that like brick effect on there you've got all the brick effects you've got all the wood effects you've got all the different elements that you could use on that stamp set that goes with it so i would highly recommend if you go for the complete collection you get the biggest saving and you get absolutely everything in the bundle okay now i'm just going to show you kind of quick i'm going to we're running out of time ben in that we're running behind on time we are. so if i show you how they work in the simplest form okay so the die the stencil you're going to lay the stencil down and you're just going to draw around your stencil and it's going to give you that sort of shape okay now if you had to buy the die for that it would be the price of the whole collection you're getting every one in there for that price so trust me when i say we've we've worked to save you the most money as well so you draw around the stencil at that point i've done all of my stamping using the stamps onto the edge of the stencil so you can see i've just stamped the brickwork it doesn't have to be exact because you kind of get the the feel of it you don't have to line them up all the time yeah then at this stage what you're going to do is can you see you get four of these little spire windows so you're going to get this ready on your gemini plate so you would get your larger plate out let me just get my large gemini plate out here okay you would get this ready to go through your gemini and what you'd then be doing is you'd be sticking your four little spires on this top piece here can you see so you're going to stick them down all these bits here on all four of these okay then you're going to get your little windows and you've got your different size windows which you're going to position wherever you want 
in the little church spire. So you're going to pop these on place, you're going to pop the windows in place, you're going to send that through your machine. When you send that through your machine and they die cut, this is how it's going to come out. Can you see? Awesome. So we've got all these little intricate pieces cut out. You've got the windows cut out here as well. What I've then done is, Ben, just because I thought this was really nice, I'm going to, do you know I haven't got my tape pen again? Oh, oh, can we get a flying you know, tape I keep, pen? I keep wheeling it back out and oh. then forgetting to bring it back in. We'll get another so one flying in, don't worry. Someone's going to run in with a tape pen. So you're going to stick these little bits of vellum away oh, comes out, Craig. Here we come. Draws comes. me tape pen, Craig. Oh, a new one as well, incoming, look. Incoming, incoming. Tremendous. Right. Um, can I have a straight one as well as a dotty one, by the way? So, Because um, <laughs> I'm just a little bit pedantic and picky, right? So I'm going to stick this into place. So you're going to stick these behind the windows. And actually, what I like to do is really go all the way down the sides, if you can. Plenty of tape all the way around and cover all of your windows over. The good thing about the dotty ones, though, is if you get too much on, look, it just yeah. rubs away there, Ben. People are so loving this collection, by the way, sorry. Oh, I knew, I knew this would be one of probably the most popular things that we do. Did you see a little hand appear in there? Did you get another one chucked to you then? I didn't uh, see that. No, just, it just appeared. Oh, delicate. It just appeared over on here, <laughs> yeah. right? So watch here what we're going to do. These are the connector pieces on here, right? So all you're going to do with all of these is I'm going to put tape on and I'm gonna connect all of these up together, Ben, right? Now, as long as people can see what I'm doing, now is a good time, by the way, if you need to um, do any questions or anything like that, Ben. Um, well, let me just read some of these comments, actually, because there's loads of beautiful comments coming in as far as uh, this collection is concerned. Uh, Liz Whittlecam on Facebook saying, the village dice set would make a great Christmas village if you had fairy lights to light them up. I love that idea. Oh, Lots of fabulous. you actually going down the Christmas theme. Uh, Lee Banks on YouTube saying, perfect start to 2021. We needed something inspired to look forward to. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Mary Pat 1000 on YouTube saying, I see beautiful Christmas villages in my future um, and Dieta on YouTube also going down the line of putting little fairy lights in there uh, with yeah. the timer would be so cute also Terry on YouTube um, on Facebook rather just saying loves the idea of having this little village to go with a kids train set build up oh. the little village around the train set oh my my kids are train set obsessed Seriously. and they have built whole little my, my dad has done them like um, little train sets and that. And yeah. now, like you say, to be able to do a village around the train set, oh, but I hadn't even thought of that. Do you know, this is why we need our amazing customers. Yeah, yeah. We, you guys come up with even more ideas than what we do. And I love the fact that you come up with the ideas even before you've actually got the product itself. So, yep. you know, if, you, if you're that kind of inspired right now, imagine how inspired you'll be when you have this physically in your hands. Um, Yvonne on Facebook saying, seriously, I am way too old for all this excitement. Oh my goodness, heart be still. Carrie on YouTube saying, a spring village with your Easter eggs. Full <gasps> village down in full colours and leaves. So yeah, different oh, villages for different times of the year. Amazing. I think that's brilliant. Do you know, hopefully you've seen me stick that together and how easy and how intricate it all comes together. That is what we've used inside there. Awesome. I mean, come on, isn't that just absolutely... Mm. Awesome. I mean, that to me, if you're making like a showcase, showcase wedding piece, that is just fabulous. And if you really want to go, they're all designed to connect together. So, for example, you could do the large piece and you could connect it onto this one here as well. Oh, cool. So, if you wanted to make like a, a, a big church or maybe connect it onto the little cottage one. So, like I know our church has got the large piece with the side piece on there as well. It's not just the spire. So, we've done them as separate pieces so that you can connect them together and make one big one as well. So, so, so many possibilities on there as well. And do you know what, Craig? No, I've called you Craig. It's time for Craig to come in. You know what, Ben? I think you should give one of these away again. Absolutely, um, I agree with you. Uh, Julie on Facebook just saying, I can uh, see using these for Halloween and Christmas as well. Um, we will uh, do the draw for the winner in just a few moments time um, on that. Lots of you asking questions still about the, um, the Pro, by the way, about the uh, measurements on that. Uh, it's 19 inches by 10 inches. 
uh, and seven and a half inches high. All right, so if I think a lot of you are kind of trying to work out where exactly it's going to go in your in your house or in the craft room, uh, just measuring the space for it now. That's a good idea. You know, get the get the space ready for it for when it gets delivered. Uh, Nineteen by ten. Uh, and seven and a half inches high is the uh, the measurements on that. And uh, let's get to the crux of the matter here. You you, you want to win the uh, the village, don't you? Of course you do. Thank you for all of your comments. The winner this time comes from Facebook. What's my voice then? Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. And the winner is. Rebecca Arnold, congratulations to you, Rebecca. Uh, that is yours. All you need to do to claim your prize is just email us uh, details on the screen below for you here. Prizes at crafterscompanion.com and we will uh, take your details and get those to you. Uh, don't forget, if you have just joined us, uh, you can see everything that you need to see in our booklet, which is available to thumb through now. Uh, you can download that, of course, too. And it's a great thing to have uh, as far as uh, being able to shop uh, with HSN and on Tuesday when this day launches it is going to be absolutely amazing and not just Sarah is going to be appearing of course on Tuesday uh, but our lovely Craig will be there as well and he's back to uh, bring you another amazing product, uh, product. What are you going to be showing us this time Craig? Well, thank you very much Mr Velvet Sword for that one there. <laughs> we have then got another incredible collection that's nicknamed that we've got for you. What? Who has? Oh, oh. What? My mic's not on. Oh. Craig's mic's not on. There we go. It's a good job because I, 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 he gave me a nickname, apparently. He gave me a nickname. By who? He can hear me now. Can we hear him? Can we hear me now? Can we, we hear can me? Hear we can him, hear yes. me now. What You've we been said? given your own nickname. They've been calling you the Velvet Sword, Ben. The Velvet, Velvet Sword? Velvet Sword. Who's they? they? Know All of them. Everyone. What does oh. it even mean? Who knows? We'll need to find out about that one. But there you go. That's I hope it means something nice. <laughs> now, we have got an unbelievable another collection from uh, this uh, fantastic company called knitwit so what we're going to do within these ones here we're going to bring this one in this is all about the blossoms and the blooms this is blossom and uh, blossom and grace with this one here now what you're going to be able to get let's go into this one here now if you've seen the possum earlier on you'll have seen how you've got your die cut paper pads within this one here you've got the same six by six all die cut detailed for you, all die cuts. You don't need to do any cutting for yourself. You can be layering them up that we can see on that one here. But then what you've also got, you're getting the stamps, Ben. You're getting the stamps, but you're getting the dies at the exact same time. Look how incredibly well these color in with any of your color in mediums. So you can do your own layering if you want. Yeah. You've got sentiment stamps to go with that here. Now within these ones here, check out the font on this one here. I love how you've got that difference in font and style that run throughout. And obviously depending on the colorways that you use is going to look completely different. You're getting a 12 by 12 paper pad. So within this one here, it's all matte, so you can do some inking if you want. It's all double-sided, so you've got a lot of detail on one side, a bit more of a planar style on the other side within this one here. So you can see, I'm not gonna go through them all, but look at the designs that run throughout. So if you do actually want to chop into them, you could do as well. More uh, 12 by 12 paper pads within these ones here. What you've got is all die cut. You've got your butterflies. You've got your sentiments. You've got your toppers. You've got your alphabets as well that all pop out and you can layer up. And then you've got more 12 by 12. 12 by 12 is going to work perfect with your Gemini Pro, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely it is. Right. Pure on colour here. So these are all going to work perfectly as well. So what we'll do is let's bring in a few bits. I've already done matting and layering. So let's bring these ones in with my tape runner, Ben. So this is where many of you may already have heard of Knitwit across in the United States. Very, very popular company across here, as well as Canada. Yeah. And they are known as their uh, digital PC company where they do lots of digital images. But now what they want to do is they want to actually have some crafty products for you to get your hands on, to get crafting at home. You know, do your colouring, do your decoupage, do all your layering if you want. And that's exactly what these enable you to do. So once again, all the papers have come from the paper pad. The only additional parts I have used is some of our nesting dies into here. I've even got some more where I've uh, actually stamped my sentiment. That can go into the backdrop underneath, settled in nicely here. So we're going to press that one into place, bringing in some of these die cut elements. Again, they're already die cut within your paper pad. Brilliant. Popping these ones out, Ben. Do a bit of shaping if you want. Of course, if you want to use your glue gel, you can. 
popping in on top. But what happens is you're able to just follow where they go really, really easily. And because even these are matte bent, which means you can still even add ink if you want. Yeah. Maybe some sparkle. How incredible would that yes. look with your sparkle pen on the top? So if I take this back one off as well, layer this one in very, very easily on the top. Let's bring this last one too. That one can sit nicely. Where's it going to go? That way. And then even then, to finish off, let's add a bit of a bow into the corner there. I've got a couple of gems I can pop on. Tell you what this shows as well is how quickly you can put cards together with this collection, right? Exactly. So although I had uh, a couple of those elements already uh, cut and ready to go, when it comes to the actual die cut element, it's die cut for you. You don't need to do anything. But of course, you have the stamps, you've got the dies as well. So if you do want to do your own die cut, do your own layering, do all your different heights, you can do as well. So that's what I'm going to be bringing with uh, myself to HSN next week as well on Craft Day and Bob. Boy, I cannot wait. It's going to be a jam-packed day. But that's me for the night now, Ben. So I'm heading home because I need to be up tomorrow morning for a wake-up call with Craig in the morning. Uh, so we'll see you then. Well, listen, we shall very much look forward to that. I'm so glad that I don't have to be with you on that show to, uh, tomorrow morning. That's, uh, that's great that I won't, won't be there. What, what's that you want? You, you want? Oh, well, I am going to be there with you, apparently. Oh, so you are. Uh, uh, you might be rather tired, Ben, <laughs> so you never know. You might be rather tired. You're going home! What are you complaining about? Uh, and the big thank you to Greg. He's brilliant. I love him. Uh, yeah, two o'clock on Tuesday, you'll be able to see the Nitwit Blooms uh, collection with Craig on HSN. Uh, loads of you commenting about that collection once again. Cindy on YouTube just saying, uh, wonderful, complete sets are a winner. So I have everything I need. Uh, Carrie Ross on YouTube just saying, these floral Nitwit papers and die cuts are beautiful. I know loads of you have already, just before we do the draw for the Nitwit collection, uh, make sure you get that booklet. Have a good look through it. Um, amazing to see, as we heard with the 5x7 jigsaws, uh, some of those items already live, but once you've got that booklet, you'll kind of get the heads up as to when things do go live before the shows, um, so you can get your orders in and make sure that you can grab some of these products, because I think it is going to be super busy on Craft Day on HSN on Tuesday, uh, and certainly Wow, we've got some amazing products to bring to you. Uh, let's draw our winner then for the Knit Wit Blooms collection. This time our winner coming from YouTube and congratulations to... Trisha Love. Well done, Trisha. Amazing. Uh, that collection will be on its way to you. All you need to do to claim your prize uh, is just email us below. Prizes at crafterscompanion.com and uh, we will get all your details and get that sent out to you. Uh, a warm welcome if you have just joined us. We've got so many of you uh, still watching us across Facebook and YouTube, thousands tuning in uh, for this HSN preview. I am thoroughly enjoying myself. Hopefully you are too. In fact, I know that you are with all the comments that are coming through. Thousands and thousands and thousands of comments uh, coming through on all of these products. And don't forget to keep commenting because even if you've commented already and you've not won any of the goodies that we've got on this show it doesn't mean that your next comment uh, might be the one which grabs you uh, a prize that we've got coming up over the course of the next couple of hours uh, let us move on then because i know we've got so much to bring to you uh, and next up i think we are going to be looking at the rotating stamp yeah, we've done a few of these, Ben, and people absolutely love them. So we've taken them to the next level, right? So have a little look at this. With these ones here now, what we've done is, basically, it is a full six by six with a frame in the middle so that you get an explosion coming out of the center, okay? Yep. Now, there's two options. There's spring meadow and there is floral and butterflies. But as far as I'm concerned, there is no option because you need to get both. This one is the gorgeous rustic botanicals oh, yeah. in there as well. I mean, there's just some absolutely beautiful, and I mean beautiful designs, okay? So if I just, let's have a little look. What I'm gonna do is I'm giving you a little bit of an idea with them, okay? But then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to show you the boards so that you can see the designs that we're working with. It kind of makes it a little bit more. So you basically, you, I'll show you the design. You stamp it, rotate it a bit, stamp it, rotate it, stamp it, rotate it. When you do the four together, can you see, you then also get the centerpiece. And these are all of your, um, photo polymer stamps oh, so right. the quality is off the chart so that one there is your meadow wreath that is in your first collection your spring meadow okay in that set you also get butterfly wishes so actually this must be floral and butterflies 
Sorry, I've done floral and <laughs> butterflies first, right? So floral and butterflies. So that's your first one, the floral and butterflies. And then this is the second one with the floral butterflies. And then the spring meadow oh, has it. got in your gorgeous rustic botanicals. So that is the one that I was just showing you. Was it this one? Yeah. Look how great it looks on craft card with the opaque pigment inks. Yeah, amazing. I mean, beautiful. Mm. And then finally, there's your butterfly roses on there as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful designs, right? So you've got you've got meadow wreath and rustic botanicals in one, or butterfly wishes and butterfly roses. Let's have a look. I had them in the wrong order. Butterfly wishes and butterfly roses are in the butterfly collection, okay. right? And then you've got the rustic botanicals along with the meadow wreath in the spring set. So that's got called you. your spring meadow, okay? I'll get you there eventually, folks, right? So I'll put <laughs> these over here. Let me show you. I'm going to put this down. And it's, oh, I love these overhead cameras we've got now. Now you can see everything. Next Loads level, of detail, it? okay? So what I've done is I've used the central piece to perfectly locate this in the centre. And then I've just positioned this exactly in the centre too. So that what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp these and I've got the Damson Wine Spring Meadow parakeet and also the honey pot so i'm going to start off with the honey pot because it's like the lightest color in here and i'm using the quick dryings just so that we can get a nice quick detailed stamped image but that's going to dry instantaneously so what i do is when i do the first ink up yeah i look down here then and what i'm looking for is the crafter's companion in the bottom corner so okay. I've got crafts companion in the bottom right hand corner and then we can stamp everything down and get that perfectly in place. I haven't missed any there. Nope, not at all. Perfect. So then we take it round. We'll take the next colour. So I'm going to go with Spring Meadow now. Okay. So now I'm going to start and ink up the next set of colours as well here. Right. Then what you do is you turn this down again. You want Crafter's Companion in the bottom corner. Once you get it there, rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. Right. And then you're going to stamp it down. And what it does is, is it starts to fill in a lot of the gaps left with the first one, right? Ah. Then I'm going to do the same with the next one. So let's come in with a little bit of parakeet. So I'll take the parakeet down there. Don't worry about the fact that you're getting all this build up of ink onto the back piece. Doesn't matter at all, okay? Because what we're going to do now, so Crafter's Companion in the bottom right hand corner, moving it 90 and then another 90 again. That's then going to stamp down into the last, uh, the third spot, sorry. Yes. So third, you, you see how easy it is, Ben? I, I don't, I've not seen a concept like this before, I don't think, I love it. It's Have amazing. It? Isn't it lovely? But yeah. it just means, you know, if you were, the way they're designed is really, really clever. We have a fantastic designer in our team who does this for us. Yeah, right? it's super. So I'm going to take this next one now, and I'm going to rotate it anti-clockwise one now. And then we can stamp that, and it will give you all of that. And it basically stamps into the gaps and gives you that beautiful design. So you get That's that. That's amazing. Isn't it? You are, I can... Do you know, you can tell when Bell's re Ben's really impressed because you get it's like, oh, I'm not really speaking, I'm just taking it all in voice. Let me just show you that up close to the camera because to me, being able to create a multicolour, multi-layered background like that, fantastic. Come and then on. if you want it at the next level, Ben, yeah. I would use that as a frame. Yes. So then die cut the middle out or something and that's how you get this sort of card here where you've got that gorgeous shaker card with the centrepiece. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? Do, do you know what, when we were going through this show and I was kind of like highlighting in my own little mind things that I was uh, looking forward to, I've got to be honest with you, these weren't m massively high up the list, but now I've seen how they work, mind is blown about... <laughs> but again, it's so easy to do, isn't it, to create that effect? Just stamp and twist, stamp and twist, stamp and twist, stamp and twist. To be honest, I mean, look at this, you could do all four in completely different, um, you could do them all in the same colour if you want and just do a monotone. Yeah. But look at that with the different shades kind of all coming together. I just think these are so, so clever. Now I'll show you the designs again, even though there is no real choice to be made, okay? Let me get my boards back in here. Now I've got them in the right order, okay? Okay. So your spring meadow includes this one here, which is your meadow wreath, which is what I've just been using. And then it also includes this one, which is officially called Rustic Botanicals. I think this is lovely for your autumnal cards as well. It's just all that gorgeous foliage. 
So it's basically flowers in one or butterflies are the other one. So these are, this one here is called butterfly roses. So these are lovely to colour as well, by the way, the lovely big open roses. Yeah. And again, bring them all together and this is what you're going to be getting. Or you've got in this one, the gorgeous butterfly wishes, right? So your butterfly wishes is the one that we've been using there. Look at it, it's just so, when you look at it down there, look how different it looks having the butterflies, the two different types there. And honestly, I am, I was blown away. I, I mean, I knew the concept. I was in the product development meeting when we concepted this, we came up with the idea. Yeah. yeah. But to get it from, an idea is one thing, actually executing that and making it come to life. The designer who worked on this, I'm so grateful to have her on our team. She's done an absolutely outstanding job with these. And uh, I think you should be giving them away then. I agree with you. I must just read some of the comments coming through here because I think as much as my uh, mind has been blown here, Loads of you are just loving this collection. Um, Mary Ahara on Facebook. Hi, Mary says, I just love the rotating stamps. I'm so, so getting those. Um, Annette Fenstermaker on Facebook saying, I hate making decisions. Guess I'll just get both sets. Yeah, that's probably the way forward. Then you don't have to make the decision, do you? So that's a, that's a good idea. Uh, Afton Rowles on um, YouTube says, I, uh, I like having the center empty so you can put in the sentiment. And again, you can use the sentiments to come with or pop in uh, your own as well. Uh, Lenore Warren on YouTube saying, rotating stamps are lovely, think they're a must, aren't they? As I said, so many great products on this um, preview show. These, I'll, I'll be honest with you, weren't high up on my list of what I was looking forward to, but now I've seen how they work. I'm thinking to myself, yes, an absolute must. Uh, Teresa on Facebook saying these demos are awesome. It helps to see how you use the product. Yes, that is why we are here. And I tell you what, why we are also here is to give you the opportunity uh, to grab these. And I can tell you that winning the rotating stamps for her comment on Facebook, which was, how clever are these? I wish I had half that creativeness. Well, Katie, now you have Katie Easley on Facebook. Congratulations to you. Uh, the rotating stamps are coming your way. Have fun with those. Honestly, um, I truly believe you'll create some amazing projects. Um, to claim your prize, prizes at crafterscompanion.com. Send us uh, that email your details and we'll get that prize out to you. Right, uh, lots to uh, get going on to as we go from the uh, rotating stamps to I think we're going to be looking at some pop-out card kits, Sarah. Yeah. This, now, every time we do an HSN show, we try and bring you one of these card kits. You guys love them. Oh, have we stuck these down? Yeah. Let, let me just show you, right? With this one, we've gone very, very three-dimensional, okay? So you know how we've just done our pop-out numbers today, Ben? Yes. On Crafters TV? And they were awesome. These are pop-outs, but in a card kit. So either they pop out in the centre like this, or they're going to pop out standy up like this into the middle. So if you're looking for a three-dimensional card, this is the kit to go for. Now, even though these are double-sized cards in terms of you get two pieces of card within each one, we've still done a kit which is going to make 24 cards. So look how ginormous this card kit is. You get the everything to do the 24 cards. So you're getting 24 cards worth in here. Awesome. Plus you also get all of the envelopes to get you started. So, and it's on super thick, really great quality cardstock, okay? So you get the cards, you also get the envelopes, and then they come with all of your instructions in here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch you step by step. I'm gonna follow you through all of these steps. So step one, pop out all of your die cut pieces. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the one that's in there. Can you see everything is already glued? So if you've already always wanted to try cards like this, Ben, but yeah. you think, oh, it's a little bit complicated. I don't know, don't quite know where to start or whatever. Look, this is all ready to go. And then can you see all of these are yeah. die cut as well? Uh -huh. So that then all we're going to do is we're going to fold these up. So these fold, in fact, I can just fold it in half in the center like this, right? They fold in half in the center, but then these actually pop forward so you, they're all popping forward a little bit and then if we do this i'm trying to do this let's have a little look from your um let's have a little look i'm trying to do it so that the camera can see what we're doing one oh, okay two in there can you see yeah third one comes there in there you so go you just now twist see. Perfect. the other way yes and you can see there we've got those three coming in together so that is then what's going to give me that perfect piece now it's showing me glue area glue area 
It is literally as simple as a touch glue area to glue area. Oh, it literally says it on the card. Yeah, it there literally you go. says glue it area. on the card. Yeah. So it's completely up to you. I like to use the tacky glue. So you can use the tacky glue, which I don't have. So we use the tape pen. It's all right. Do you know what I keep putting? Ben, I get all my gear out, yeah. right? Got all this gear, and it's all over the other side of the studio. <laughs> and then I bring it out for one bit of the demo, and then and then we send it back over the other side of the studio. So I think I've used that. And then I need it for the next bit of the demo. So, um, yeah. So hey, I, you're doing I will a grand be, job, Sarah. I'll be more organised by the time we get to HSN, and I'll have worked out <laughs> all the stuff that I need and want, and I'll have got it ready so that poor Hillary doesn't have to go and keep finding it's, this stuff. It's so fast-paced, show. We've got so many things to bring to you. That's the reason why, you know, Sarah's getting adhesives and tape pens thrown at her. Yeah, it, it's it's biz biz busy. Let me just tell you behind the scenes here, isn't it, Sarah? It's uh, it's absolutely crazy, isn't it? <laughs> and do you know what's lovely? Usually we would. This is the first one that we've done in the new studio yes. where we've got all of this space where we're able to social distance and still have the whole team in. So it's been brilliant to have the whole team in so that everybody's available behind the scenes to make this work, which is why we've been able to do an even bigger show than ever. Absolutely. And look at this. For every one of these, you've got the two sheets that make the pop out. And then what you've got is you've got all of these die cut pieces so you could pop all of these pieces out. Do you know what? This would be brilliant. I'm just thinking homeschool tomorrow yeah I'm actually going to take some of these and our Charlie can make some pop-out cards he could he's going to Gran and Grandas tomorrow so well, they'll enjoy that can as well sit and she can do some pop-out cards with him and they can make some 3d cards like this I think he will love that and he's four-year-old so I think that is this is a very adequate perfect homeschooling yeah. for a four-year-old lots of comments about that uh, Lee absolutely relating to that as well uh, saying she's got a grandson who's at uh, four and he can pop those out isn't it great as well that we've got so many different ranges that we bring to you uh, that you can share with the family that you can share with the kids and the grandkids and lots of people there's a phrase that um, I keep seeing pop up on the uh, the comments and um, pandemic crafting as well loads of people I think turning to us during these strange times to find maybe a new pastime uh, to maybe try a different uh, style of crafting and so there's so many of these kits aren't there that are absolutely perfect for for mindfulness as well oh this this would be brilliant if you are if you are just brand new to all of this, I think it's good. Do you know, this would, these card kits are the way for you to start. Instead of starting at the bottom of the chain in terms of with basic card yeah. making, it enables you to come in a few rungs up and start off with your advanced making to start with. Yeah. And do you know what? I think the more, I think if you're able to do really advanced, fantastic looking cards like this, to me, you're going you're gonna to do more of this because if your card making's like this much better, than regular card making, you're going to be inspired to want to kind of take it to the next level and just do even more of it, aren't you? As opposed, I mean, I look when I started off in the industry, Ben, everything was super simple. Yeah. I mean, I remember it was all it was mulberry paper. We used to wet a little bit of mulberry paper and tear the mulberry paper. That was that was about <laughs> as advanced as I got for the first <laughs> couple of years that I was making cards. Yeah. So but that's the thing, isn't it? Because because well, how long have I been in craft? I suppose the last mm, five or six years. Um, you, you kind of just think like all of this kind of stuff has always been around, but the kind of steps that have been taken, you know, in craft over the last few years, the kind of kits that we can bring to you, and uh, all of these, uh, you know, amazing products that we can bring to you. Uh, it's just amazing to think what we'll be doing in years to come with all of these crafts as well, isn't it? Oh, it, 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 I, I know, I know what we're on developing now, and I can just see we just get better and better every mm. year. Now, that is the central pop-out card kit. Ben, do you want me to show you how to do the other one, even just the inside of it, really quickly, so you get to see both styles? That would be because awesome as well. And could you just answer a question on this? Because Kay Matto has just asked, what size card um, do they make these kits? Five make? by seven. Right, five, five by, by seven. seven. They make all five by seven. Uh, this, this is my favourite one in this kit. How gorgeous are the turquoises and purples together? Love Should that. we do that one? So if mm. I go and have a little look in the kit, right? So if I just have a little look through, here it is, right? So you get the topper set to go with it. You then also get the next one. And then we're going to get the third one in the kit. Uh, can I just say, of all the card kits we've ever designed, yeah. I think this is the most exceptional product design that we've done. Wow, the, okay. the florals that you get. So there's the one that I've just done. I mean, look at this. So to make one card, you're getting all three of these sheets. So can you see? 
you get that gorgeous background card. So again, you're just going to pop that out yeah. and you've got all these beautiful flowers and then you've got all the space ready for the gluing area. And it's all printed onto exceptional high quality cardstock. So you're going to get that beautiful quality printing on there, but you can see the lovely sheen on it, but then also you don't get any cracking on the edge. So it's premium cardstock, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to pop the next one out. So this one comes together in a just a completely different way. I love the peonies on here. Honestly, I just love them. So all you're going to do this time, can you see, is we're just going to fold these. Now this is just a tiny little bit more fiddly because this one folds up, all right? So this is going to fold up and then this piece here folds down, all right? Then we're going to start and we're going to fold the next one in. Now, June's asking, how many cards can we make with this kit? Mm -hmm. June, this kit makes 24 of these cards. So 24, do you know when you're doing this, guys, and you're not doing it back to front, upside down for the camera? Yeah, it's always difficult, isn't it, for TV purposes? It's, it's, it's t three times, four <laughs> times as difficult because you have to do it, like you say, upside down, back to front, standing on your head. You'll do this a lot easier because you won't have to show it to thousands of people who are watching you as you do it. There we go. Right. I'm just giving in on doing it back to front, upside down for the camera. And I'm just falling. Can you see how that's starting yeah. to fall into place already? All right. And then as I do these, let's do that last little one. It's just going to pop up there. So can you see, once we've got all of that ready, then all of that, you're going to fold the first piece back. Okay. You're going to fold the second piece back. And then you're going to fold the third piece back so that we get all of those fold backs. And then there is our card. So you can see it's going to stand up. And you can see it's going to go flat to go in that envelope. Yeah. So when I fold all of that down, there's my flat piece in there. And then you pop up there. And then I'm going to fold all them down. That is going to go inside. And you're just going to stick that in like we did the last one. Yeah. And then again, when you add them bits on, can, so can you see this one kind of steps up at three levels? Yeah. So you're going to do the step up at three levels and make that beautiful live life in full bloom love they're it gorgeous some little welly boots rain I know. boots as you guys call them over there what do you call them uh they call rain them boots. rain boots oh really we call them welly boots wellington boots welly yes. boots welly boots wellington boots yeah super cute i Isn't love that it lovely but you can see you get the designs with the rain boots on yeah you're going to get the design that one there that i showed you for my friend then you've got oh look this one here again it's that three layers i think always really impresses me when yeah. you're doing it three layers stacked like a like a cake or you're doing three layers this way so these are all the different designs 24 in total in the kit and you are going to get um basically you're getting what six or eight designs is it let me just tell you exactly how i want it uh 24 cards does it tell you how many different designs Four of each. Four yeah, of each. Six cool. different ones, four of each. I was thinking, I'm sure there's four, but I was counting. I was counting more than six. It's because I'm counting one twice. There's six different designs and you get four of each one. That makes you 20 different, 24 cards in the kit. Amazing. Exceptional, exceptional value for money. And again, this is coming up at 8 a.m. I'll be with Guy. So hopefully you'll be, um, I, generally if I'm in the studio, I'll make him do the cards with me. Oh, cool. Obviously I'm not, so I can't make no. him. But I can always suggest it. Well, that's it. So. Oh, he always suggests it and he can, he can choose whether he wants to or, or not. I, I love learning all these new words, by the way, when we um, hear from our American friends as well. Rain boots. Yeah, welly boots over here. They have actually at Village Fates, I don't know if any, <laughs> if any of our guys have ever done, uh, welly wanging competitions at, uh, at um, Village Fates, where you get the wellies and you have to chuck them as far as you can. It, that's a welly wanging. Yeah, you've got to be careful how you say oh, that. Well, Thank you, Sarah's heard of it. Yeah, it's not just me. No, yeah, I haven't. I was just backing here. you up. We're crazy in the UK. Take your wellies off and chuck them as far as you can to win yourself, I don't know, whatever. Um, let's get back onto the comments. Loads of lovely comments coming in. These kits, right? It's great because loads of people are commenting on um, the fact that Bernie, for example, on YouTube saying, love these kits, good to use when you need a card in a hurry and don't have those creative juices flowing. So yeah, great for you know, all of those experienced crafters who need a quick card or if the, uh, the crafty mojo has gone. Uh, Julie Moore on Facebook saying, this would be great to get my mum starting to make cards. So again, starting out nice and quick, easy cards that look absolutely professional. Uh, Heidi Craft Picnic on YouTube saying the bright spring colours would cheer up, cheer up anyone. Uh, and Christina Alfonso on YouTube saying, I love these pop out cards. They look like you spent hours making a beautiful card, but you know it was really easy and fast. Yeah, absolutely. Don't, aren't those the best cards? The ones that take you a matter of moments to do, and then it looks like you've you know poured blood, sweat, and tears uh, over them. 
Uh, Zena on Facebook is saying my second CC product was a card kit. Uh, and uh, Kiana on Facebook is saying not just for the beginners. Yeah, I absolutely love these kits. Uh, get on every time one comes out. There's so many comments. Linda on YouTube, more great must-haves. You're killing me, but what a way to go. Yee-haw. Uh, and Chris, oh, that was a good year, wasn't it? And Christine on YouTube just saying these would be great for that important birthday anniversary uh, that you forgot and you can pull this kit out and make a card uh, that is better uh, than a Hallmark, still homemade and easy. Yeah, brilliant for those days where you go, oh, it was whose birthday? Oops. Make one very quickly, no problem at all. Right, let's give that away because as you know on these HSM preview shows, we give away the goodies. Um, the winner of this particular kit uh, commented on YouTube saying, these kits are awesome. I love every kit I've purchased so far. Well, congratulations, Denise Stark, because you have just won uh, that pop-out car kit. So many congratulations, Denise. Make sure you get in touch with us via the uh, email below, prizes at crafterscompanion.com, and our guys will organize the uh, delivery of that. Now, we've got around about an hour and a half to go. We're gonna recap on our amazing machine. If you uh, missed that, the Gemini Pro is here. But also, a little bit later on, we have got the launch of Sarah's signature collection. All I can tell you right now is it looks like this. I'm not, it, it, it's worth more than my job to go over there, because I know what you're saying. You say, go on, Ben, go over there, lift up the curtain, have a look. It's, it, I can't, I can't. You are just gonna have to stick around. It, it's so top secret, right? I've not even been able to have a look behind the sheet over there. So we'll all have to wait. I'm in it for the long haul. You gotta wait too, because I tell you what, the wait will be worth it. Stick around, that's coming up in just a bit. Right now though, more goodies to show you. We are gonna be looking at the large album spine, uh, which is coming your way at 11 o'clock on Tuesday. Tell us more, Sarah. Well, it's supposedly coming your way at ah. 11 o'clock. Well, let me just tell you, this is another one of those ones. I don't think they've ordered enough. When you see this, you are going to go bananas for it. And <laughs> I envisage selling probably most of these, if not all of these, on pre-order. So this might be the only chance you get to see it. It might actually never make it to air. So, you know how we've done the album spine? We do that gorgeous little precious memories and we do it at the little 4 by 6 size. What about doing it... <laughs> 10 by 10. What about if you want to do the whole album spine? Let me just show you. We've got the larger size in the album. We've got two larger sizes, by the way. We've got the 10 by 10 or the 8 by 8. Look how absolutely ridiculously ginormous that is. That will make you one big 10 by 10 spine. If you buy it on HSN, you'll buy the 10 by 10 spine and we will throw in you are going to get for the same price these set of beautiful edges which give you all these edge pieces for your pages so this is coming in it's kind of like thrown in as a freebie so you get that free pretty much when you buy the 10 by 10 or if you want to go for the 8 by 8 it's going to make you the 8 by 8 spine and again you've got different design it looks so small there doesn't it looks so regular size wait till you see the book that you're going to make with it and then those are your page edges. So if you want to do a 10 by 10, now bear in mind, what you'll have is, you'll probably have the precious memories, your normal four by six spine. Yeah. So you've got all the pieces that already come inside. You've got things like your twist and pop. You've got things like your, um, like your tear, your special tear ones. So you can do your little tear for in there. You've got your photo albums. You've just got these new sizes for the large edges. So everything that you already have, whether it was in the authorship program, whether it was coming with the extras, you've got all of that. All I'm giving you extra is the edges and the most important part, that beautiful spine. So if you want to make these gorgeous larger books, this is the way to do it. All the things that you absolutely don't love, you've got all of those in your larger books. So this one's your 8x8, just to give you an idea of what a, a gorgeous 8x8 could look like for you. Yeah. Sorry, that's the 10x10. 10 10. Okay. That's the massive one. Let me show you the 8x8 in comparison next to it. So there's your 8x8 one. Now, I like an 8x8 size. Now, your 8x8 one is going to fit in the regular Gemini. Your 10x10, 10 10, you're obviously going to need your larger Gemini Pro mm. for that. So that is one of the exclusive items that I've told you we're launching, that you're going to need that larger size to go with. 
So all this stuff that you know and love you're using all the time, you can now use your scrapbook paper and do these gorgeous, lovely page edges. And remember, they're kind of coming in as a bonus, thrown in, thrown in for free, your edges, when you've got all of the extra. And all these pieces, you've already got all of this stuff. All we're doing is giving you the new size for all of the edger pieces, right? So, should we actually get on and make one? Should I show you for Love anyone? to see that, yeah. And let's I know, do it. I know that most of you watching. In fact, let me know if you're watching if you've already got the precious memories of the smaller album size, and tell everybody else how awesome it is. Let's have a little go. I've got here. I've got here a piece. I'm just going to do the 8x8 one, right? And I'm just going to do the 8x8 one, and I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put it through my Gemini Pro. Right, there we go. Do you know what? Um, loads of you loving the uh, the large album spine. Pat on uh, Facebook saying, "Gotta get the large album spine." Uh, Mary <laughs> Pat one thousand saying, "The album spine totally caught my eye. Absolute genius." And Leslie Banks on Facebook says, "OMG, uh, you have me chills and tears came. I absolutely need, need, need the album spines. I have all of your smaller ones and use them all the time. These would be great gifts for friends." Uh, that need larger pictures. Um, Jules Journal saying, wow, just wow. And uh, Linda on YouTube says, a 10 by 10 scrapbook would be a new take on a hobby that I truly loved, uh, but has gone by the by in US craft stores. So thank you, Sarah. Um, so who is it you asked as well, just whilst you're cutting that? Uh, JD just asked on Facebook, do you dream about all of these, like, you know, cards and, and, and products? You know, when you go to sleep at night, you, these ideas kind of like, you know, floating into your head and, is it, is it craft that you're thinking of 24 7 sarah 24 yeah, 7 it. absolutely non-stop wait we hang on is it not the same for you guys watching though do you not just find you like you wake up in the night and you've kind of like, oh i know what i can do with that die set that i've just bought or whatever that's exactly what that's exactly what i do but for me a lot of the time is the new product ideas yeah now let's have a look to speed things along ben right can you see i'm just folding these over and i'm creasing each one I've actually done, I've just folded up this one here, I've done all of those fold pieces, right? So I've folded them all over. Now, what you've got is, you've got on here, the little crosses, you'll be able to see it on the die a little bit easier. You've got those crosses on here, just like you did on all the other ones, on our regular album spine. So all you're doing is you're gonna put this down, right? You're gonna put plenty of layers of your tape, just like we did with the small one, and then we're gonna stick them together then. So any questions coming through, you just let me know and I can take anything live while I'm doing the sticking, Ben. Yeah, as always, um, any questions that you've got, you can send this through. We've got loads of lovely comments coming. Um, of course, the more times you comment, the more chances you've got um, of winning that we've um, all the goodies that we've got on the show. Uh, Cindy Lawrence on Facebook is saying, I have the smaller pressure memory set. Cannot wait to get the bigger one. Uh, Cheryl Cap on Facebook just saying I have the precious memories auto ship and love the idea uh, that those products can be used with these dies yeah plenty of love for this collection as well it's nice to see too that um, lots of you are kind of waiting for the specific items coming up uh, on the preview uh, show and of course well if it's still around uh, as Sarah was saying uh, earlier on 11 o'clock you'll be able to see this um, on HSN on Tuesday. I mean, that's a bit busy old day, isn't it, on HSN? I mean, busy old day for you, Sarah, as well, <laughs> popping up here, there and everywhere. Uh, here, there and everywhere. Me and the team, we're just going to be here 24-7, round the clock. <laughs> we are literally... Up for, so for us, the show starts at 3 o'clock in the morning and it runs right through till 6 o'clock the next morning. Because essentially, what, so bear in mind, we're on a different time zone to you. Yeah. So the midnight launch for you is actually five o'clock in the morning for us. So we'll go home, go to bed for a couple of hours, and then come in here, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed for three o'clock in the morning, ready to be uh, start doing the kind of tech check checks and all the um, and all of that that goes with the uh, the HSN team. And Are then you then ready to go live at the five. whole time then, Sarah? Is what, sorry? Are you then literally in the whole time? Yep. We are here. We are bright eyed bushy tears. We have lots of chocolate to get us through. And uh, yeah, trust me, it's um, 
It's an awesome, it, it's an awesome day for us, but it, we're just running on adrenaline the whole time. Uh, the good thing as well about these uh, these new studios is you've got like a, a pull-out bed in the green room, so I get that. Might, I, bet, I bet that might get some uh, use over the course um, of uh, the shows on Tuesday. We had a question just come in from Karen, yep. who says, can you expand the spine to make more pages? Yeah, absolutely. So if you wanted to do another page, all I would do is I would essentially make one book and then make the next book and connect the next book on and then glue the back cover to the front of the next one and then this becomes just like a page and then what I like to do Ben with mine if I show you to make them look uber professional yeah. is then stick another piece of cardstock over the edge so can you see on this one here you can see there's the spine with all the pages in there and I'll see if we can get in nice and close on that spine bit so you can see there we've got the spine with all the pages in but then we put that little holder on the back and I'll show you exactly the same with the other one, with the 8x8. Again, this is the gorgeous 8x8 one with the spine on the edge. So you yep. can see there's the bit inside with all the pages. And then we've got that little bit just rubs over the edge. I mean, to be honest, I, I quite like, I think it looks quite good with these. So you can kind of see and you can see how the whole thing works. But then if you do want to, you do want to put that cover on, it's completely up to you which way you want to go. And the thing is, yes, it's 8x8, but what about if you wanted to do a little smaller book like this it could be eight inches long by as wide as you want or it could be 10 inches long by 12 inches wide or eight inches long by 12 inches wide this is a book that one of our designers have made again with all your accessories in from your precious memory set that you've got all you need to buy extra is the new album spine look at that there with the embossed panel on there how absolutely gorgeous is that with all of the um with all of the edge on now i will tell you this here the eight by eight one yeah is big enough that you could use this in your regular Gemini machine. The 10 by 10, you're going to need the Gemini Pro. Okay. The 8 by 8 will work in your regular Gemini machine. And bear in mind, in the same way that once you have the Junior, you can put your Junior plates into the Gemini and just twist them 90 degrees. Yep. It's the same here. You can take your, I don't know if I've still got them. Look, I've still got some, I've still got the odd one here, right? Here's my metal one. So it won't go in this way because you need to engage all of the all of the uh, sensors. But if you put your plates in sideways, your plates are exactly 12 inches wide. So a full set of plates are going to go in sideways. As I demonstrated earlier on in the show, if you go back and watch it, and you can see we can cut a full 12 inches wide, but only nine inches long in half the size. So in the same way that what I always say now, Ben, is it's my workhorse machine. I've always got the Gemini out, but I've got my junior plates to hand yes. so that I can cut really quickly with the junior plates. It's the same here. If you find you use the larger um, 12 inch, well, if you're usually using the nine inch platform and you find you use the Gemini more, keep your pro out. That becomes your profe We've called it the Gemini Pro because it's really for people who are doing this professionally. So yep. it's either for people who are doing it as a small business or for the crafters that are die cutting every day. This is your professional machine. It allows you to do more cuts in one pass. It allows you to batch make and do loads, whether it's wedding invites or you're just doing a lot of card making. It's brilliant for accurate positioning if you want to cut a large piece and just cut a die into the card in a certain place, like box lids and things yeah. like that. Um, there's so many different uses for it, but it's called the Gemini Pro because it is targeted at the people. And there's so many of you have the whole family of Geminis and will be wanting this to complete your family of Geminis. So the first time we've done a 12 inch wide electronic machine, first time anyone in the world has done a 12 inch wide electronic machine because the technology has been so complex for us to do, but we've nailed it. You may be calling it the uh, Gemini Pro, Sarah, but already our, uh, our viewers coming up with their own names. I've seen the, uh, the Mac Daddy uh, Gemini, uh, the Bigfoot as well I've seen. I love the way that you're coming up uh, with your own names. Yeah, the Granddaddy. Um, they're absolutely brilliant. I love all of those names. You, to be honest with you, we're calling it the Gemini Pro. You can call it what you want, to be honest. Um, lovely comments coming in about the um the large spine pamela mancini on facebook saying this is just incredible i've never seen anything like it an absolute must have uh, and sherry adams on youtube just saying i love how you guys listen to your customers uh, i know a lot of people including me ask for these bigger spines well there you go um, th that is the brilliant thing about doing uh, this kind of tv with us you know at um crafters companion the fact that you know we can take on board all of the suggestions which you uh, bring to us the fact that you can comment and we can read your comments live the fact that you can 
ask us questions and we can get them um, answered uh, live on air as well. That is what we are here for. Um, let's get ourselves a winner because uh, we are, as I say, giving away so many prizes right throughout the course of the show. Um, we will uh, get the winner for the large spine in just a few moments time. Uh, but let me just remind you, of course, if you have just joined us, uh, if you wanna find out what is coming up, where and when, the best thing to do is uh, download the, uh, the booklet. It's there with all of the information for you, uh, telling you with ev when everything is coming up. And also, of course, uh, you've got the ability to be able to just keep clicking back in uh, to see when things um, appear. Uh, here we go. This is the booklet um, for the uh, for the uh, the show, and of course, you're going to see lots of things in there that we've not got onto yet. Um, as I say, have a good flick through. Um, hang fire, as I say, we'll be announcing the winner of our um, large spine in just a few moments' time. Um, so there we go. Have a look at that booklet um, as well, because as I say, there is everything that you need and more um, on there. The winner, where is our winner? The winner, there's so many, uh, so, so much information coming through here. Um, we'll come back to that in just a second. Oh, here we go. Uh, from Facebook, the Alban Spine winner is, here it is. Now I'm Karen, you'll have to forgive me if I pronounce your, uh, your surname wrong. Is it Swigart I'm going for? Karen, Karen Swigart on Facebook. We'll go with that. Karen, congratulations. Uh, you have won uh, that. So listen to claim your prize. Uh, prizes at crafterscompanion.com. Uh, send us an email and we will um, get that out to you. Wow. Uh, busy, busy, busy show. Lots still to come. Still going to reveal uh, Sarah's uh, new signature collection. That's coming up. And don't keep asking, but I'm not allowed to go and look. Uh, and more to come on the Gemini Pro as well. Next up, though, we're going to have a uh, quick look at the uh, illustrators, Sarah, yes? Yes. Now, I'm not doing a full presentation on these because okay. we've had several Colour Me Happies. So, our Colour Me Happy show, for those of you that don't know, we do every Friday and we do two ha a two hour in depth look at one of our colouring mediums. So, you can go back and look back at a lot of the Colour Me Happy shows where we've done loads of advanced techniques with the illustrator pens right so go on, go and search on if you go onto the website crafterscompanion.co.uk go to the craft.com for you guys oh yeah then you're going to go to the um the crafters tv hub section once you're in there you'll be able to go back and watch the previous shows go to the archive and in there just search for color me happy and then it'll tell you all you're looking for the color me happies with the illustrators what i will tell you is we have an exceptional deal on some brilliant starter kits so what we've done is we've put together new hand-picked collections of four colors in each illustrator set and what we've done for you is is done two sets of the colors so this one's got your aquatic and your fireys in so we're going to have you um and do you know what go and have a little look on write that item number down there seven four five eight nine three or go and have a look in the booklet and it'll show you which are the two sets in each collection because you get two sets and they come with a matching stamp as well okay so two sets of pens along with the matching set of stamps and if i show you the pens in this set okay these are your aquatics so you get a couple of the blue turquoises and a couple of the true blues and then in the fireys you're getting a little bit of a shade from the corals you're getting five and nine you're also getting a golden yellow and one of our burned oranges in there yeah so that is your that is set three as we're calling it but go and have a look in the booklet get that booklet downloading you see then we've got the botanicals which are paired off with the verdant okay so the botanicals and the verdant and you are getting those along with the gorgeous hummingbird stamp in there as well and again these are the ones so these are your botanicals which has got one of your lovely bright yellows we've tried to give you colors that work really well together they've, they've been put together by fantastic artists that we have working with our team and there's your verdant ones and then we've got the collection which has your essentials and the vintage 
So essentials and vintage come in together and they come along with the gorgeous dragonfly stamp on there too. So those two sets, again, two sets of four of your illustrator pens along with the dragonflies. This one's officially called set four, by the way, okay. and I'll show you the colours in there. Those are your vintage shades in here. I love the vintage colours that we do in the collection. And bear in mind, if you have any of our... Um, Oh, if you have any of our classic pens and you want to supplement some of the classics or the tri-blend or the tri-blend brush with some of the illustrators, it's all exactly the same colours, they'll all blend together. It's the same ink, you're just paying for a different set of delivery medium. These are our incredibly high quality, really high quality Japanese brush nibs. They're like... They, they are the top end of, of when it comes to the brushes. They're the highest quality brush nib that we do. So um, in the last set, which is, actually I put them in the wrong order, set two, you've got the naturals and your delicates. So your naturals are going to be brilliant to supplement a lot of your skin tones in there. And then also you're getting the, um, the delicates. So this is brilliant if you're wanting to do this kind of skin tone set. They are coming in with the gorgeous florals like this as well. And just to show you, Ben, um, I just wanted to kind of try and show some of the samples. The things that you're going to be able to do with your illustrator pens, do all the flicking techniques. You're going to be able to blend your different colours in. And, and we've put these together for people who are just wanting to kind of start out with the illustrators. Maybe, maybe you've been watching them, but you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars yeah. getting a, you know, a complete collection. You just want to do a little dip your toe in the water a little taster have a go with the brush nib have a go at the blending we've drawn you some gorgeous uh, gorgeous big stamps that are open areas made for blending so you're going to be able to practice all those illustrator techniques on these stamps that we've got to honestly they are gorgeous gorgeous designs you're going to love working with them but the most important thing is i mean the stamps are coming in for free and you're also getting a great discount on the um, the actual pens themselves so that is everything that's the illustrator pens yeah so um again i want to know what everyone's been saying about these i'm going to get this table wheeled out and get ready for my next demo ben brilliant stuff uh, there's loads of lovely comments coming in actually and uh, lots of lovely comments uh, of people appreciating our team behind the scenes here you obviously can't see that the work they're putting in but honestly on a show like this uh they really are working so hard so thank you gene who says i really appreciate everyone behind the scenes uh four holidays on youtube says i just spent the last 10 minutes explaining to my hubby what the uh, memory books are and how much better it would be to have the pro to make them I'm loving your work. Yes, absolutely. Explain away. Uh, Jennifer um, Cardenas Wilson on Facebook saying, Sarah and the Crafters Companion team has outdone themselves so much for not buy buying any items this time around. Jennifer, we've heard that so many times already this year, as I've said, so many crafters who've made like New Year's resolutions not to spend as much or to kind of curb their spending. Never going to happen, especially when you have a show uh, like this. It's going to be awesome, isn't it, on Tuesday? Uh, Sharon saying, I don't know how you are all still talking. I would have run out of spit by now. Now. Oh, no, don't, don't worry. You, you know us. We can talk and talk and talk. Uh, D. Teal on Facebook says, Spectrum Noir products make colouring so easy. Uh, and Linda on YouTube is saying, I can't believe, <laughs> I can't believe that you read my yeehaw comment out loud. I felt like an instant celebrity. You guys are so much fun. Linda, I can't believe that the yeehaw came out as well. I'll do it again. Yeehaw! And also, we've had a message um, from somebody who I know very well. Um, our Joe's messaged. Um, oh! Yeah, Joe's messaged to say, hey guys, wow, look at all of these awesome new products. Ben, I'm jealous you've got your hands on that pro before me. However, I'm watching with wine, which isn't allowed in the studio, so swings and roundabouts, ha ha. Yeah, nice one, mate, nice one. Um, who says wine's not allowed in the studio? Well, I was just about to say, Joe, you don't know I, what I, I've got tucked I down the side not, of the sofa here. I would absolutely not have made up a ridiculous rule like that, Ben. Not in my studio. We don't have <laughs> nonsense like that happening. Absolutely uh, not. Well, well, there you go. Joe says, see you all on Saturday. Lots of love. So there you go, Joe. When you come in on Saturday, uh, just bring in a couple of bottles. It'd be absolutely fine. Uh, you heard it from the boss. Uh, but yes, we are very excited about this show. Uh, remember, if you haven't already, uh, get that booklet. Have a good look through because that is your roadmap, your key uh, to seeing all of the the deals and getting in on them and what is going to be a brilliant day on HSN 
on Tuesday. Lots more to bring to you. We've still got an, over an hour to go, uh, so let's get cracking. We're going to look at the um, Crafters Companion Floral Animal Dyes Collection next, Sarah. Yeah, now you know it's good when we are three hours into a show and I am still only showing you previews of items featuring in the 11 a.m. show. Yes. So we still haven't got 24 hours, sorry, we still haven't got 12 hours into the um, into the show day with the previews and we are three hours in. Now, there are two, this one here, these are gorgeous. They're just gorgeous, okay? Have a little look at these days. So, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide which one to show you first. I can't decide which oh, one to do. Oh, decisions, decisions. I'm gonna have to do the butterfly. I'm gonna have to do the butterfly. Look, I'm so keen, I'm like leaning over the table desperate to show you them, right? So, the butterfly, now they, these are paired together, comes with the bunny. So basically what you've got is you've got half butterfly, half of this absolutely gorgeous floral, right? Now that one comes with the gorgeous hair, right? Oh, hair yes. or butterfly or butterfly bunny, however bunny. you want to see it. But look at him. So again, you've got half of it is a plain bunny. Half of it is this gorgeous floral design that comes together. So that is your butterfly that comes with the hair. Then in the other collection, you've got the go you've got the stag, and you've also got the wolf in here. Now the wolf is absolutely special. Do you know it wow. reminds me? It's very twilight esque, was, isn't it? I was just about to say that. Yeah, twilight. Very, very twilight esque. Wow. So that comes along with this one here, which is if I just put this one down so you can see it, you've then got that gorgeous stag. And do you know what? There's only four designs in this collection. I think the stag's going to give you something a little bit more masculine in there as well. Let's have a little look at one of the other ones done in more masculine colours. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful designs, but really different. We've never, ever done anything with the wolves on before. And I think the wolf, do you know, it would make a gorgeous tattoo, that wouldn't it, Ben? Absolutely. Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> You've got the, it's just so designer isn't it it's just really designer on that so um yes i just i love absolutely love the design okay so those are the four designs that we've got in the set just to show you a couple more of the samples just to give you a few more ideas i mean look at this one here k card you know all i would do a k card now you've watched enough of my ultimate shows you've hopefully all got my ultimate usb with the ideas what about a k card with your butterfly coming through the front and actually what i love about the butterfly is bear in mind the butterfly then is going to lift up. <laughs> so the butterfly lifts up there and also you've got some little butterfly wings in there too. Yeah. Now, do you know what I would love? Because each one of them comes as a two part. So you've got the cut in and then let's just show you them on the overhead. You've got the cut in and you've got the cut out coming in separately. Yeah. So what you could do is you could use this, like if you had a nice scrapbook page and you had this in the corner of your scrapbook page and it was a cut in so that then you could lift the butterfly wings and of course you could do a 12 by 12 scrapbook page now because you would put it through in your gemini pro and you've got the larger size base to work from so it just shows you the dyes are gorgeous now should we have a little go and should we should we cut one out oh yes please absolutely that's what right. we're here for uh, sorry by the way the comments that are coming in on this everyone is loving 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 this um absolutely love 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 says susan on youtube and did i say i love the stag and wolf uh, and carol guy on facebook is saying the animals look like they're peeking out of the foliage beautiful the combination of flowers and animals who knew that it would work so well it's it's brilliant. I've never seen anything like it before, honestly. I think oh, it's the team have done an absolutely Haven't exceptional they? job. I wonder if Hillary's about just to get me the um, ink pad. Oh, do you know what? I can always show you what it looks like with a little bit of ink through. I uh, yeah. Oh, Hillary, she's been she's been running around after me for a whole uh, for a whole couple of hours now. <laughs> <laughs> three <laughs> three hours. Sorry, the times you you were an hour behind. I don't, yeah, true. Right, three. So, yeah, and it's what? So what? It's it's ten o'clock at night for us now here. Yeah. And bear in mind, um, so I was filming at seven o'clock this morning. So it's been a long day. We've still got what? another hour to go. Right. Uh, just reminded me of what you said earlier, um, and you said to me about what you were doing this morning, and you didn't say it like that, hey, did you? Ben. I said, I said, I've been shoot. He came in. I said, oh, I was shooting at seven o'clock this morning. He said, what were you shooting? I didn't know you did clear pigeon shooting. Now, if I we didn't work know. in television for a living, 
that would be forgivable uh, if we didn't work. What on earth would I be shooting? It was just even if I wasn't the shooting man, what would I be shooting at seven o'clock in the morning in the snow? It was just the way that you said it. I like I just had this image of like a Sarah, you know, like clay pigeon shooting out like a Paul. <laughs> So I was shooting at seven o'clock this morning, yeah. but not clear pigeons. No, no, no. I was shooting with a camera and, Videos, and some of footage. <laughs> oh, Ben, dear, ben. oh dear. What are you like? I know. Right, right, there's my butterfly. So that's the gorgeous butterfly. Now, if you wanted to take it to the next stage, all you would do is leave that in, do a little bit of inking through the middle, and you can see, I've got the one here, can you see, so that is just, that's it just in the white. Oh yeah. That is it in the white with a little bit of pink through it picks up on those little bits. And can you see these little bits here all um, just lift up a little bit. The little butterfly wings. I th I, do you know I'm a little bit obsessed with butterfly wings that lift up? Oh yeah. I just, I just think they're a little bit different, a little bit unique, okay? Now here we go. To put the whole card together, I've just got, in fact, you know, it's probably a good time to chit chat as well, because can you see what I've done? I've got loads of it here, so I've okay. got the base of the card, got the front here, and I've just put some acetate in the middle. And all I'm going to do is a little bit of matting and layering, get this whole thing put together. Um, do you know what? Um, just seeing, th there's been so many comments, honestly, thousands and thousands of comments that we've had across Facebook and YouTube. Uh, and I'm just sort of seeing a snapshot of these. Uh, lots of chats. Uh, Joe mentioned about that he's uh, watching uh, with wine. Lots of chat about um, crafting with wine as well, which is quite funny. Uh, our McElvena on uh, YouTube says, wine makes me more creative. <laughs> sends me the other way, sends me doolally. Uh, Katie on Facebook just saying, Joe with wine, that might be more laughs than we can manage. Well, you heard it here I first. I think you're right. That might be a bit more than we can all cope with there. You heard it here first. First though, folks, Sarah saying wine is acceptable in the studio. Um, back to this collection though, uh, Suzanne on YouTube saying absolutely love uh, the stag and wolf. Um, Starlet HW on YouTube saying, wow, everything shown today has been magnificent. Uh, and Inspired Dreams on YouTube saying, I'm so excited for the floral embossing folders and stencils. Uh, are the auto ships designed exclusive for HS? N. And we've got exclusives to HSM. We've got loads of exclusives, haven't we, Sarah? All the auto ships are exclusive, correct? She's uh, is that, are me. you asking me a question? Yes. Yeah, I'm concentrating. Which ones were you asking me if they're exclusive? Which auto ships? Uh, the auto ships. Uh, which, which one? So what we do is some of them are exclusive. Yeah. Some of them we do. Um, some of them we launch in the UK as well. Okay. So what we do is within the authorship programs, quite often what you find is um, we'll maybe do a six-part authorship. So two of them designs might get launched in the UK, yeah. but then the other four might be completely exclusive to HSN. HSN, you guys like a lot of product at HSN. So what I quite often find is, if you know, if you if you want the product and I want to make sure that you've got it, HSN always asks us for more of them. So quite often, a lot of the way that you get them, oh, I'm just checking if I've got some scissors here as well. Uh, yes, I have got some scissors. Wonderful. Before I start positioning them down. Now the Gemini Pro Authorship, I can tell you that one is exclusive amazing so if you're wanting the gemini pro authorship yes that's exclusively available at hsn there you go um if you have just joined us again obviously get that booklet because uh, that is your your roadmap your kind of uh, bible if you like to everything that is going to be uh, coming up it's going to be a super exciting day make sure you're uh, joining the guys on hsn tuesday this coming tuesday the 19th of january so many goodies uh, that you're going to be seeing and of course once you've got that booklet uh, you've got the heads up on everything that is coming up you can kind of um, sort of check your favorites see when they're coming up uh, and even as you check over the weekend as on the lead up uh, to tuesday you might just be able to get in early on some of those deals as well because i know from the comments that have been coming through um the things are going to be flying out. Things are going to be absolutely flying off the shelves. Uh, it's going to be super, super busy. Uh, Sue just saying on YouTube, love all of the car demos. Uh, Sara makes it look easy. Sara does make it look easy, but the great thing about all of the products that we have here uh, at Crafters Companion is that this isn't taking anything away from Sara. We like to make sure that everything that we bring to you is easy for you to do as well. 
because uh, it would be a bit pointless, wouldn't it? If, if it was easy to do here and you got it home and it was impossible, you'll find, and I'm sure with all of the collections that you bought from us previously, uh, it's so easy to use and so easy for you to get crafting uh, as well. And that is the point with these collections. Um, lots of love for this. Loving these butterflies, Sarah. That looks fantastic. Uh, the, the, uh, you'll not be surprised to hear that the butterfly is my favourite in this collection. You know I love a good butterfly, Ben. Yeah. To me, this butterfly is just a little bit special and a little bit different again. And I love that one there with the black and the white, just having that really big showcase piece. I just thought it was something else at another level again. I mean, how got... How absolutely gorgeous is that card? And it's all about just that beautiful butterfly. So remember, what you've got is, if I'll show you all of them before, this is your last chance. If you want to win this one, this is your last chance to get comments in. Ben's going to pick a winner in about a minute, right? So with this one, you've got the butterfly, and the butterfly is coming in the kit with the hair, right? So you, we'll call that one woodland, right? Uh -huh. so you've got the, uh, the woodland on the screen there is your butterfly in your hair. And then your other set is also, oh, I'll show, show you another hair. Look at that one there. How gorgeous is that card there? It's, it's like a, a, one of our diamond, it's like an easel card diamond yeah. with, a, with your hair on the front where, again, coloured in just with some of your sparkle pens and then your gorgeous florals on the side. Love it. Love that. So that's your hair. And then you've also got the deer, so the stag, as we call it. And your stag is, there's another stag coming in there. Wow. And that one comes in with your wolf. And I think there's been a lot of love for the wolf on here. That one's called Wild. There you go. So that's, that, that's your two options. But they are, you'll see when they go on H10, they are very inexpensive. Mm. So I you get on there, you'll be uh, flabbergasted. Your flabber will be well and truly gasted <laughs> when you see the price. I want to say that that's a bit of an English word as well, isn't it? Flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Yeah, I don't know. You You'll be amazed. Uh, but listen, the whole point is, uh, as I say, with the comments that are coming in, these will be flying off the shelves. Loads of you loving the, uh, the wolf from that floral collection as well. Uh, Tammy Navarro on YouTube just saying, I'm spending all of my time and money on Crafter's Companion, my new favourite habit. It's not a bad habit to have, though, is it, Tammy, to be fair? Uh, Heidi Hess on Facebook saying, I have all CC shows pre-recorded for Tuesday. Sometimes I like to see them for a second time. Uh, and Sue Greenall on YouTube says, I don't think I've ever seen such a beautiful card and die set. I'm with you, Sue, actually. Do you know what? I, as, as much as I'm here at Crafters Companion, a lot of the items that I'm seeing tonight are really jaw-dropping. That phrase has been used more than once this evening. The rotating stamps, I thought, were absolutely amazing. And then that collection there as well, those beautiful animal florals, never seen anything quite like it. So there's certainly lots to look forward to um, on Tuesday uh, with the craft day eight and if you love the floral animal dies tuesday at 11 a.m uh with shannon fox had to be shannon didn't it with a, with a surname like that for the animal dies absolutely uh had to be shannon uh let's give it away though because that's what i'm here to do read your comments and give stuff away i'm the giveaway guy this is great isn't it i'm loving this let's give it away give it away give it away now uh, the winner of the Edible Florals collection for her comment on YouTube of, whoa, these cut out beautifully, loving the bunny, is Laurie, again, I hope I say your surname right, Laurie, Laurie Mazeo. Uh, Laurie, many congratulations to you. That collection is yours. How do I claim my prize, Ben? I hear you cry. Uh, all you've got to do is uh, get in touch with us on our email, which is prizes at crafterscompanion.com. Com. Uh, Laurie, just send us your details. Our guys will be in touch and we will um, get all of those goodies on their way to you. Wow, thoroughly enjoying this show. Just flicking back, looking back at some of the comments here. Uh, Beth on YouTube saying, my flabber is always gasted with your products. So thank you. Yes, much flabbergasting going on today um, and more flabber to be gasted as we move on to this next collection. We're going to be looking at your sub boxes, Sarah. Yes, now I know there are thousands of you who have been waiting for this, okay? So those of you who are regular viewers of our Crafters TV shows, you will know that every month we launch a new one of our amazing craft kits okay now we have tens of thousands of people who've subscribed to this over the last three years i 
honestly, it is the biggest subscription program I have ever, ever heard of in our industry. And literally thousands of you cannot wait every month for the next one to drop through the door, right? Now, we launched them. HSN is the only people in the world who offer a full subscription on this product. We bring the boxes in stock here in the UK, but we literally, as soon as we get them in stock, then we release that one for sale. Generally sells out within a few days, and then that's it. We never, ever make them boxes again. However, every time we do that, there are people talking about how do I get in the program? How do I subscribe? Yeah. And you can't subscribe with us, Crafters Companion. You have to subscribe if you're in the US through HSN. They are the only people who can actually physically do the processing and the logistics of the subscription service. So if you are someone who's been waiting to get in the subscription service, now's your chance. The 11 o'clock show in the morning, and if there's enough left, they'll be on in a 7 p.m. show as well. We're giving you the chance to enroll in our subscription program. And what you can do is you can get in the subscription program and you get a three for two. So basically, we've taken three of our most popular ever boxes. So a nice generic everyday cards, which is brilliant. You've got some basic die cuts in there, some gorgeous papers to get you started. Then we've got our amazing modern edgeables. Now, I remember when this one sold out in the UK. I mean, talk about crazy busy. It's, it's the most incredible kit. I'll show you through it in just a second. And then we've also got the pop-out cards, the, the box kit cards like that. You guys went crazy. I mean, crazy for these when we did them. Now, here's the thing, right? You basically get all three of these for the price of two. Amazing. So the subscription is $24.99 a month. But you are getting $75 worth of boxes. And bear in mind, each box has got about $50 worth of product. So you're getting $150 worth of product. Instead of paying the $75, you get it for $50 on HSN. But most importantly, you then get in the subscription service. Now, what I personally love about HSN's um, 3 um, oh, 3D, what I love about HSN's subscription service, the authorship program, is that every month what you can do is you can log on and say, oh, right, February's coming up. I'll log on. What's the subscription box coming out in February? Oh, oh, it's stencils. I love stencils. Fantastic. Or you go, oh, oh, it's embossing this month. No, oh, I'm not really as into embossing. I'll skip that month. Yeah. And you can just skip it. Or you can pause it or you can delay it a few weeks. What you can't do is get into the subscription service if you're not already in it. And HSN don't offer the boxes individually. They all only right. offer select boxes individually. Don't guarantee they carry all the boxes individually. So if you want to get in the subscription service, you need to be getting in here or at 11 a.m., basically as soon as this product item, write the item code down now, 747639, or better still, download the booklet. And if you download the booklet, what you're going to be able to do is as soon as it goes live, you'll be able to click on the page in the booklet, it'll take you straight through. You must enroll in the authorship. So what you do is you buy the program, it automatically enrolls you in authorship. That's your chance to get in the program. Now, if I just show you, here's the booklet. Go and get it downloaded. If you don't know where to download it, if you look in the comments, so in the comments, pin to the top of the comments, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, you'll see the link to take you straight to the booklet. Do it now or you can do it after we finish the show. Click on the link. It's 123 pages and it walks you through everything that is in the show then, okay? So it's going to show you everything. It's going to have the three for two subscription boxes in there. It's going to get you into there. It's going to get you started on that program. And like I said, you can always cancel it or you can pause a month, but the, we only offer the chance once in a blue moon to get in the subscription box. We basically have to save up enough of, we have to order enough extra boxes ahead of time. And then we get those. So we knew, 20, it's box number 25, yeah. 27, and 24. So these are, well, as soon as we were designing them, we always get a feel for which are <laughs> going to be the most popular boxes. These are the three that we selected to order a couple of thousand of extra units so we can allow a couple of extra thousand people to get into the subscription. Once you're in there, that's it. You're absolutely set. So this is your chance. This is your chance to get in. If that was you, that was your thing. Maybe you've told the, you know, the other half or family members that this is what you wanted for Christmas. This is what you want. You want to be in that subscription. 
January is your chance to get in the subscription. So yes, do not miss out. 11 o'clock in the morning and seven o'clock in the evening uh, in Suzanne Gets Crafty, as long as we have enough stock to get us through to the seven o'clock show. And I think that's the thing to say with a lot of the goodies that we've got, um, you know, coming up on Tuesday. Loads of you commenting about these subscription boxes. They're brilliant. I've seen um, a few of these whilst presenting on um, Crafters TV. Always super, super value for money. Uh, Darlene Desario on YouTube just saying, uh, I'm looking at the catalogue for the first time. Wow, my heart is pumping and my brain is spinning with visions of beautiful projects. That There will be certainly many beautiful projects with the uh, goodies that we've got coming up. Uh, Pamela R on YouTube just saying, oh, I just got into the sub boxes last time. The subscri subscription was available. I love every one that I have received. And that's it. That's what, like Sarah is saying, get in now and then you, you're in then, aren't you? And if you want to pause, or if you want to skip, you've got the ability to do that. Hadassah on YouTube, I love this. And every time it's available, I miss out. So fingers crossed, I get it this time. Hadassah, make sure that you've got the um, the, uh, the catalogue downloaded and then you're there, aren't you? Your booklet, as soon uh, as it goes live, you can grab yours. Betsy Baker on YouTube just saying, these are great boxes. Uh, Hannah Law saying, I have all the sub boxes and buy extras for gifts. They are amazing. They truly are, honestly, they're brilliant. Uh, Mary Pat 1000 on YouTube just saying, oh my, my chance to get this subscription box woohoo absolutely uh, an enchanted craft fairy on youtube just saying yes so great to open a box and everything coordinates it really does it's kind of everything done for you it's almost like you've had your own personal shopper uh, and everything you need has been popped into that one box uh, enchanted craft fairy just goes on to say uh, super time saver more time for crafting uh, and lee rhodes on facebook i think has uh, just realized there's 123 pages in that booklet and has just said Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I'm sat reading the comments. I'm just on some of the ones on YouTube at the moment. Alice is asking, if you're already in the subscription, do I need to subscribe again this month? No, you do not. If you're in the subscription, you're in. You're in until you cancel. Uh, Sheila saying she loves the subscription boxes. Uh, Four Holidays on YouTube says, I get very excited when I get a subs box. One of the only times I get a surprise, a surprise gift to myself. Love that. Uh, Tall Chicky says, just an all-around great deal. Donna would love to get started on the subs boxes. Sue says, they're such awesome boxes. Everything you need right in the box. I mean, honestly... We, bear in mind, we have tens of thousands of you who've subscribed to this programme over the last three years. Three years we've been going with this now and we just get better and better and better. Honestly, it's incredible. Right, must move on, must move on. Now, these are our amazing 3D folders and layering stencils. So a lot of you might have seen these. We did a whole masterclass show on these on Crafters TV last week. Okay, so it was on the 4th of January. I did it personally, Ben. You and I did it together. Oh, I remember it well. Aren't they incredible? I did the gorgeous hummingbird. Yeah, you so did. So I'll show you it, okay? In fact, this is, actually, I'll show you the hummingbird there. He's the hummingbird. So what you get in each one of these, you get the 3D embossing folder, and then as well as the 3D embossing folder, you get two stencils so that when you layer it all up, you're going to get a very tactile 3D feel and you're going to get those layering stencils to go over the top. Now, in the kit, you get four of them. You're going to get the hummingbird, you're going to get the rose, you're going to get the butterfly, and you're also going to get the, um, oh, what do you call it? The dandelion clock heads, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what I will say is, those of you who are in the subscription box programme, this month's subscription box is the 3D folder and stencils. So you see the theme here. So what we do is we'll give you a little taster in the subscription box before something launches so that you know if you've got your subscription box in January, you've been playing with them, you love them, hey presto, in January we have a whole launch with them you can go with. Now the great thing about these is there's the four designs here, but then we also have an authorship program. So have a little look at what we've got in the authorship, okay? So in the first shipment, which is going to come in May, you've got Peony and Poppies. Now, you might recognise the Poppies as one of the designs that we've launched in the UK. The Peony is completely exclusive to HSA. Awesome. Okay? Completely exclusive. Then again, have a little look in July. You'll see the gorgeous lilies. Now, I love them lilies. Again, we launched those ones in the UK, but the wildflowers is completely, completely exclusive to HSN. Now, here's the thing. Have a little look at these ones, Ben. Floral Abundance oh, in October. Wow. Both designs completely exclusive to HSN absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you can see there the way the light's bouncing off those 3D folders. Yeah. 
the light on them 3D folders is off the chart. And then the same next January, you're going to get the Flutterby collection, which is that gorgeous big floral at the bottom, and then also your beautiful floral with the butterflies coming into it. So again, multi-layering, both of those designs completely exclusive to HSN there. So this is the great thing. When we offer auto ships at HSN, we offer the auto ships exclusively. So the, like I said, some of the designs we will launch elsewhere in the world, but a lot of them uh, will be exclusive to HSN. The buyers commission us to design a lot more product just for you guys at HSN. So it's really, really special. So I'll show you a few of the designs that we've got. These are just the designs coming in the first collection, okay? So these are just the four that come originally. So you've got that beautiful big butterfly, the hummingbird, which was absolutely a top favourite. Then you've got the lily one in here coming in there as well. So that's one of the ones in the auto ship that you're going to be seeing. Uh, there's another colour of the butterfly here. The rose, I mean, I love this. Look at that rose. <gasps> ben, just oh, look wow, at that rose. Stunning. I mean, they are. Serious. Then the dandelion heads. I mean, I ju just absolutely. They're so kind of special. They're so different. They're so unique. Now, these are coming up in the three o'clock show. So they saved for the three o'clock show. Do not miss out, especially if you're wanting the auto ship. Do not miss out on getting these in that auto ship program. I mean, look at this. Look at that one there. Look, this. this oh, wow. This totally being, so different. this is had um, 3D paste actually stenciled through. So dragged through the stencil. One of Nikki's that. Nikki, that's absolutely gorgeous. This one here. Uh, some really gorgeous techniques here. So this one's been done and embossed on here. So a little bit of uh, heat embossing over the top. You can do some you can do some really different special effects. So this one has been, it's just, can you see, just stenciled on the bottom without the embossing. The stenciling looks lovely. And then this one he's been embossed and stenciled with a little bit of um sparkle medium so you've got sparkle medium let me just lift that butterfly up that's going to make you stop her there you've got the sparkle medium holding that in place what an absolutely gorgeous card that one is Absolutely. Some beautiful ones, ben. Um, and, and the great thing again about this, like Sarah is saying, you can watch the show back. We did uh, an amazing show uh, back on the 4th with those. So if you want to see those, uh, then you can. Uh, but make sure you tune into HSN uh, Tuesday, the 3 o'clock hour to see those. Uh, Mary is saying, I've never been interested in stencils, but as usual, CC has turned me around. Not only do I love these, but excited to receive. Um, and uh, Irene just saying, this is my favourite release. Loads of lovely comments coming in. Uh, something else else which I want to show you um, also which is coming up on uh, Tuesday uh, in the three o'clock show is the uh, abstract shape stamps now these again um, we had a masterclass on uh, in fact yesterday so if you want to be able to go back and check these out uh, via our uh, YouTube page you can watch the, uh, the videos back but these are absolutely awesome uh, because what you've got is some fantastic uh, fantastic uh, stamps photopolymer so top quality uh, and then within the actual stamp shapes themselves, you've got these beautiful designs. So first up, you've got your gorgeous blossoming floral. And with each of these, you've got some wonderful sentiments um, as well. You make me smile. Thank you so much. And you are wonderful. Um, what I love with these as well, we, um, it was a great show with Jan, actually. And she was showing that how you don't have to just stamp these out as is. You've got the ability to snip into these as well. You know, create your focal points, create your backgrounds with these as well. They are so, so gorgeous. You've then also got within this collection this gorgeous talk about Sarah loving her butterflies. This is your perfect butterfly. And once again, big, big stamps that you've got, but then within them, you've got all the images of these beautiful butterflies as well. And the um, sentiments that you get with these are also gorgeous. Uh, you are always in my thoughts, wishing you happiness, and life isn't perfect, uh, but it does have perfect moments. And once again, just illustrating how you can use these in so many different ways uh, to be able to layer these up, use them as your focal point, and then use elements of those to be able to create your own backgrounds as well. Then also in this collection, um, worth watching the show. Um, it was the first demo, I think, that Jen did with these, uh, this heart. It was absolutely stunning, where it was um, stamped out. And then again, she fussy cut into it and cut out uh, elements of the uh, stamp to be able to create like a 3D layer with these as well. They're so, so super versatile. And I love the fact that you've got the heart. And then within that, you've got florals as well. Have a beautiful day. Uh, you're blooming fabulous. And friendship is a flower that blooms in all seasons. And then my favorite within this collection, which I think 
you will absolutely love is this one here. Uh, it's the Shining Star. Uh, I was saying I need this from my dressing room door. Absolutely I do. Uh, once again, you can see just how beautiful uh, this works when you pop it into your projects. Love the sentiments as well. It is your time to shine. You are amazing. Great sentiments if you're just using these to make cards for people just because at the moment, because you're sending a card because you want to put a smile on somebody's face. Uh, this set is absolutely brilliant for that. So all four of those that you get uh, within that collection and that you can see at three o'clock um, on Tuesday. But as I say, if you want to go back and see the uh, masterclass that we did with this um, on uh, Crafters Companion, it aired yesterday. So check out YouTube. It's definitely worth checking it out for uh, lots of inspiration on that set. Right, something else which you'll want to go back and check out the show uh, on that we did. In fact, was this? I lose track of the days. It was today. It was oh, today. It feels like I've been sat here for two <laughs> days. We did it earlier on. Uh, these pop out numbers that you're about to see with Sarah are amazing. <laughs> get, someone get him the bottle of gin. Someone <laughs> get him the bottle of gin now. In fact, you know what? There's a bottle of Jack Daniels in my office. I think, do we need I'm to off. it open, Ben? <laughs> To get you through. <laughs> I'm gone. We so a few hours ago, Ben and I, Ben stood right here and introduced you all to the pop out. I did, numbers, I remember now. Right? Now, the thing is, if you I'm not gonna do a demonstration now. No. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna remind you if you didn't see the show, you can go back and watch it. However, what a show it was. And I, I know I would say that, but I'm gonna show you the cards that I made so you can go back and watch it, right? What's really clever about these, okay? Where's my cards that I did? Oh, here they are. Right. So this is what I did. So I showed everyone your pop out numbers. Basically, it's a mashing together yep. of when we have the big number dies last year, which everybody loved. And then also when we've done the gorgeous large. Um, so can you see you've got the pop outs where we've got the pop outs where you've got like a design on the inside of the card. Done that with the numbers. So can you see, for example, here, what you've got is might look like an ordinary card, but then you open it up. 37 is my next birthday coming up, by the way. Yes. So you've basically got your 37 kind of ready to go with your pop out in the middle. So I showed you how you could do the pop out numbers popping out there. But then also we went on to learn how to do these we cards did. here. Oh, now he remembers. We did. I do he, remember. Now he's remembering, it's, right? It's all coming back to me now. That show that we did just a few hours ago, I remember it. It was good. It was, it was a fantastic show, it was. wasn't it? So I, I, I love this idea where you can It's a, it's a, a showstopper mantelpiece pleaser. Yeah. Centre part of your mantelpiece. This is what it's going to look like. And you've got that gorgeous kind of, your number's going to pop down. It all folds up to go perfect. So if you want to put the envelope, can you see it folds up perfectly flat to go in the envelope, but then opens out and you get that lovely tenfold card with the number four stepping forward. Then we took it another level again and did a stepper card that had the numbers fold on the stepper. So can you see it's got the, so the front part, you've got the step and then it folds into the stepper. Awesome. So I taught everybody how to do this. We did this live on the show, didn't we, Ben? We did, and Sarah. And this won the award did this win the award for the best? That, that was, was the demo of the show, that one. That yeah, was the demo be, of the show. Should be going up on our walk of fame over Could there. Going to go back on the wall when we finish. And then also I showed you how to do the same technique and do that with just a number one, for example. And can you see it there, how, again, how it steps forward. Now, for any of you who don't know how this works, I am going to, I, mean, I haven't got time for a demo, but I'm going to no. do like a nice quick one, okay? So what I'm going to do is just show you what you do is you start with, for example, if you want to do a one where we pop out at the front, right? I'm going to start, I've got a tenfold card here. And what I've done is I've just folded it at the top and then I've got this, the little pencil line I've put near the bottom. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do this for a 50 second birthday, right? So I've got the five and the two. And when you turn them over, can you see that the five and the two, there's a little notch in the side here, Ben. Yeah. And you line up those little notches just along that line. So when we get all of those along that little piece there, you're going to send that through the machine. When that comes out of your machine, right? So they're going to come out. They're going to come out like this, right? 
Once they've done, you're going to put the score line in the rest of it. Oh, we've got a little bit of a wonky angle going. We've got a wonky donkey angle going wonky there on our donkey. overhead camera. Um, so can you see? And we've got, oh, you can look at it. For, you can look, do you want me to just twist a little bit like this? There. Oh, uh, over it, over it. Yay. Going on there, there we look. are. There it is. Right? So you've got your five and your two on here. Right? It's been a long day, hasn't it? <laughs> and then that gives you the fold up at the top, which gives you the card. If you want to do the card, can you see where it's just stepping forward? So you've got the step forward on there a little bit, okay? And then all you're going to do is you're going to take you, you're going to cut them out again and you're going to line them numbers over the top. And that's how you can do a really spectacular card. And if you go back and watch, I did a whole two hours yes. teaching you how to do all those different cards that I've just shown you, okay? Now, now that you know and understand what it is, oh, I must tell you as well, Ben and I decided live in the show. Yeah, hang on a minute, you decided. Well, I was going to let you have the credit for it as oh, well. Oh, I mean, okay, yes, I decided. Ben and I decided live in the show that what we would do is give you all a chance to get this either from, uh, directly from Crafters Companion or you can order them from HSN, get them delivered in a couple of weeks and we're going to do a live craft along together. I've got about 30 volunteers wanting to come and be a part of the show with us. Okay? More than that. So people are going to come and live volunteer to work with us. We're going to do some even more advanced demos with these. We're going to do a whole masterclass. I did say that we would start and do things like this you know where you want to do like a double layer. So I promised I would teach this live on the show. And then also I promised we would do like this one here where you make a three dimensional box. So we've promised to do a masterclass with two advanced demos like this and a live craft along. And I've even had volunteers volunteering to join us live and craft along with us, right? So we're going to have a live volunteer in the um, coming in via Skype and then we're going to have loads of people crafting along at home sending us their pictures. So I can't wait to do that show. So if you want to be a part of that and you want to come, you know you want to get this and you want to be a part of the show and join in with us, then what you're going to do is you're going to need the item. So this is it, you can see the details on the screen, you get all the numbers, so you're getting uh, 0 to 4, and then you are also getting 5 to 9, can you see they're all going to fold out, you get the whole collection, and then as well as those, what you're also going to get, is you're going to get the uh, words, so you can do like, years young, or um, party, or on your, or uh, anniversary, new home, congratulations, best wishes, celebrate. All the ordinals are in there in different fonts as well. So you get that included with the set of numbers. Now, if you want to go for an extra, we've also done this beautiful stamp set here, right? And if I just pop these down, this extra stamp set, it's basically stamps and dies, really, really useful, okay? So it's giving you all these edger pieces on your cards, and then also it's giving you all these lovely stamps so that you can stamp and then die cut over the top, and then also you've got all of these little accessories as well. So that is an extra one if you want to go for the extra. If you're thinking, well, how do I know what the extra, I don't know what comes in the kits, anything like that, go and download the booklet. So if this is your first rodeo with us here at Crafters <laughs> Combine, this is your first HSN preview show, basically there's kind of two parts to the HSN preview. Half of it is this show, where we've now extended these shows up to four hours to walk you through everything that's coming on the day. And the other half is this amazing booklet that we do. So it's like a 125-page catalogue, but because it's virtual, what you're going to do is you're going to have it on the screen, you can flick through it, loads of videos play in there, you've got all the finished samples, you've got loads of pictures you can see. Then what happens is every time one of these comes live on the show, so once to go live on the HSM website, then it becomes clickable. So you click it. So for example, there's the, he's the gorgeous butterfly guy that I was just showing you. So you can see that it shows you some nice examples, loads more examples on there. But then also there's the subs box. So as soon as those subs boxes are available and you've got little videos of all the different subs boxes, you can click on them. You can watch the little tutorials that we've got directly in there. So you just click play 
and then you'll see me or Craig doing some lovely demonstrations with all of these ones. There's our Craig teaching you a little bit of a life from home, yeah. how to do something with the everyday cards. Um, but you'll see all of those, and then you'll also be able to click through as soon as the product's live, and you'll be able to order any of the products. So there's the Knitwits collection that Craig was showing you, shows you what's in the main bundle, what's in the extras, and loads of different ideas in there as well. When we do auto ships, like we've just said, we're doing auto ships on the gorgeous floral uh, 3D folders and stencils. It shows you all the auto ships that are available. If we've got any of the extras back in stock, we show all of them in there. So that booklet is literally everything that you could possibly want to know. It's got your item numbers, but then better still, they become clickable as soon as they're available. So you can look forward to the show on Tuesday, but you can know exactly what's coming up from Crafters Companion and what to do with it by following the booklet as well as watching this show. Loads of love for the goodies that we've got. Um, the numbers you're loving, the pop-out numbers. I love opening pop-out cards, says Tammy. So much fun. I'm going into overload mode, says Sue on YouTube. Tuesday is going to be awesome. Uh, a must-have for every crafter, says Janice. Patty says, can't wait to see the masterclass for these. Uh, and these would make great graduation cards too, says Cindy. Now, I just want to quickly show you some other goodies that we've got coming up on the, sh um, the show. Coming up, in fact, on Tuesday at... Um, 11 p.m. Uh, these are amazing. Um, 3D shaped um, uh, dies, the wardrobe dies. Now, the, the thing with these, again, once uh, again, you've got uh, two matrices to choose from, uh, and these are absolutely brilliant because you've got the ability with these die collections to be able to create um, these amazing, uh, beautiful, uh, fancy uh, panel aperture dioramas. So again, everything that you need to be able to pop these together. Uh, this first collection comes as a uh, two piece. So you've got your birthday interchangeable fancy panel available for that as well. So the ability to be able to kind of build up uh, the look of these with that collection. Love the fact in there that you've got uh, all of your beautiful balloons, so much detailing on the panels as well. And that's the first matrix that you've got um, within this collection. You could then, if you wanted to, um, choose this collection. So this is uh, the circle aperture diorama. So once again, everything that you need to be able to create um, this gorgeous, gorgeous card, gorgeous project. Again, everything done for you. And then you've got included with that, uh, your butterflies, your interchangeable butterflies. So depending on exactly what you wanted to have in your diorama, you can pop those in and you've got all of the dies available. If you wanted just to add the butterfly in there, as you can see, you've got the ability to do that. If you wanted to add that sort of filigree design in there uh, you can do that too um, we've also going to be showing you on um, Tuesday as well loads of other goodies within this collection like these embossing folders um, these are going to be uh, available for you as well so just to show you the four that you've got uh, which will be available is your gorgeous uh, trellis swirls take a look at that embossed that is absolutely absolutely gorgeous then within this collection you've got your spring forest how good would that look with the uh, beautiful animal florals that we saw a little bit earlier on in the show that would work beautifully wouldn't it um, then again always very handy maybe for your more masculine cards you've got your uh, brick layers and then here look at this love that set in stone um, those are the four embossing folders that you will uh, see as part of this then you'll be able to see um, with this collection or again as additionals if you like um, this little collection here which is your interchangeable love so once again with this if you want more um, interchangeables to go with the actual um, uh, uh, set as it were here you've got these gorgeous little birds so again you can add these love those two little love birds on the branch there you've got uh, more beautiful foliage to go with that as well and some beautiful sentiments that you can cut into the aperture too including with love and then if you love your stags and deers take a look at this one the woodland interchangeable uh, and once again so many different scenes that you can add into uh, your beautiful wardrobe your mirror armoire and one finally just to show you which will also be available are the uh, the card pads so these to work in conjunction with your dies so if you want to be able to go straight in there and cut out these beautiful beautiful designs you've got those right in there so you use those in conjunction with your dies you know if you don't want to just go in with your own kind of cardstock you've got the ability to um, add these into your cart as well 
on uh, Tuesday. That one is your uh, circle aperture diorama. And then we've got one for your fancy panel as well. Uh, just a quick flick through that, because I tell you what, we're almost at the end of the show. We've still got some amazing reveals for you as well. Uh, that one is your fancy. And once again, use that in conjunction with your dies uh, to create some really beautiful projects. That's coming up at 11 p.m. on Tuesday. You'll get to see it in much more detail then. Uh, but, yeah, but right now, um, it is time to do something that I think we've been waiting for a long time for. We need to do a big reveal. I haven't seen this yet. I know uh, the rest of the guys haven't seen this yet either. Uh, but Sarah, is it now time to show us what is behind that curtain? It is indeed, Ben. And before I rip the curtain off, I do just need to tell you, this is the Sarah signature. Hang on, which camera am I looking at? The big tall one. I was looking at that one. We're all good. Poor Adam is telling this to me. He's like, no camera four. And I'm thinking, I don't know which one's camera four. The big tall one. Um, right. I need to tell you about this Sarah Signature Collection, okay? So, we designed this at the start of lockdown last year. When the pandemic hit and so many people were in lockdown, we thought, do you know what? We need a collection which we've called Caring Thoughts. So the Caring Thoughts collection is just for you to be able to make the most beautiful cards to send to people just to let you know that they are in your thoughts. So whether that is friends and loved ones that you haven't seen for a long time, whether it's friends that you may be worried about because they're home and they're on their own and they're locked down and they can't get out, those people. Maybe it's people who've lost loved ones and you want to send them thoughts. Maybe it's people who have... Oh, been in, in hospital and they're out and recovering and you want to send them caring thoughts. There are so many reasons at the moment why you would need to send caring thoughts to friends, families, loved ones. And this is the collection that we have curated especially for you to do that. So, without further ado... Oh, look at that! I was wondering how easy it was going to be to rip. Yes, there we go. Right, this is the caring thoughts collection, okay? Now, this collection here is what is coming in the main bundle. And I love that we can now pan across everything and show you, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through. There's the gorgeous six by six paper pad. We've also got, you know when we've done the, the die cut florals before in the yeah. past? And we've done the floral die cut decoupage and also the actual decoupage itself. So we've got all of that included. We've got sentiments, so you've got just to say, and you're in my thoughts, but then also the most incredible sentiments. So I'll show you all of those sentiments live. Then we've got two amazing um, cut and emboss folders to create your base cards with. Then we've all, so Hilary, your head's in front of the camera. We're going to see it in a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wanted to see the team behind the scenes. <laughs> you, you guys wanted to see behind the scenes, as Ben said. <laughs> um, so you've got two cut and emboss folders in there. And then we've also got two fantastic sets of floral accessories. That is the bundle which is going to be showcasing on HSN with Adam in the 10 o'clock show, right? However, however, I'm going to get back in your shot so you can still see me. <laughs> however, <laughs> we've also done a gorgeous mixed cardstock pad. We've done an incredible paper pad and also a vellum pad, all in 12 by 12. And then we've done some extra brads and ribbons and we've done a ready-made pack of card blanks and envelopes. If you want the extra accessories, they're all available as extras. And you know what I'm going to say? Go and have a look in the booklet for all the details. <laughs> However, you guys know we do a mega bundle and we do that mega bundle and that is exclusive for the HSN website. In terms of you can only get that bundle, it'll not go to air, you can only get that on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through everything, Ben, and then also I'm going to do some demoing, but I will tell you on Monday next week, I'm doing a whole masterclass with this okay so i'll walk you through all the i'll get the boards ready what i want to know is what's everyone saying about it 
Uh, well, I tell you what, I mean, the general consensus here is that everybody is saying, wow, this is worth the wait. Uh, Francine on YouTube saying, I'm going to be stalking HSN to see when all goes live. I'm eyeing up several things. Um, Anne on YouTube saying, I have so many people that this would be perfect for. Oh, the comments are going off the scale here. Uh, Michael on Facebook saying, always love the Sara Signature collections. What a great idea, says Carol Taylor on YouTube. Love these collections. Wow, it was worth the wait, says June Frank. Cindy Redmond says, what a great collection. We need this so much right now. It's perfect. Uh, Linnea on Facebook just saying, OMG, how beautiful the Sarah collection is. Charlotte on YouTube saying, this is a must-have collection. You've only just seen it and already you know that this is a must-have collection. And Christine Mahoney on Facebook, in block capitals. You know when Christine's got excited. I love Sarah signature collections. And did you see the papers? OM gosh, I love so much. There's a bit of a taste of what everyone's saying. Um, so I think they're excited. I'm going to be showing you the papers in just a little while. I'm going to show you what's in the collection that will make it to air, first of all, okay? So this is, we always do like a smaller bundle of what I class to be the essential pieces. Absolutely beautiful, right? Are you ready, okay? So we've got in here cut and emboss folder that's going yep. to give you the most gorgeous frames. You've got the frame with the cut and emboss in the middle. We've then got another cut and emboss folder, which has ju just nice subtle floral pieces and butterflies around there. So you've got those gorgeous. And of course, you know us, the butterfly wings are all going to lift up perfect. It's hard to do it back to front, upside down. But all those butterfly wings lift up, as you can see. Now, if I just show you, these are the sort of things that we've got in the sentiments, okay? So we've got things like surrounding you with love wishing you brighter days with caring thoughts may good cheer and comfort surround you wherever i am whatever i do i am truly happy when i am Aww. with you you are always in my thoughts i'm here for you today and always on your special day uh, yeah on your special day may the warmest wishes all come your way surrounding you with love get well soon sorry for your loss with sympathy we've got all sorts in there all about been always in my thoughts and then this one here is called with a grateful heart may this day be the beginning of a beautiful year filled with wonderful moments how great how apt would that have been to send at the turn of the year i know i, I just think it's perfect then mm. we've also got things like especially for you the best thing to hold on to is each other you are so very special to me sending these wishes just for you to hope that all your dreams come true thinking of you thankful with a grateful heart i miss you sending you warm hugs all the sentiments that are sometimes i, I don't know about you but i really struggle when i come to write a, a card like this to know mm. just what to say we've worked all that out we've got everything just what to say right then we've got in the dice we've got you're in my thoughts and just for you so um just to say, sorry, just to say, and you're in my thoughts. And then we've got two additional sets of dies, which just kind of round out the collection. Your beautiful floral pieces, and then also your gorgeous wireframe butterflies in there as well. So some flowers and some butterflies, just to kind of round it out. Now, then we start getting to the gorgeous designer pieces. So can you remember, Ben, last year, we did some collections of gorgeous dies that matched our paper pads, okay? Yes. So, these are them here, right? The, 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 well, these are brand new designs in the set, okay? So what we've done here is, you've got the collection here with all of the layers of the decoupage, and then all of the layers of the decoupage have their own die cut. So this is the set, and there is two of them in there, okay? So you've got, oh yeah, I'll put it around this way. So there's all of the die cuts. You're gonna die, die cut all of these pieces here, and then can you see you've got all of this piece in here? So we've got two of these, right? We've got that one there, which is your um, floral decoupage. So that is the, um, oh, hang on, they both say the same thing. Floral decoupage with six by six decoupage, topper pad. There's two, there's two different designs anyway. So you've got the two different designs in that collection. Also, in this, if I keep going, you've got the six by six paper pad. If I flick you through the six by six paper pad, okay, there we go. You've got the six by six papers, and then you've also got that's the six by six papers in there just so that you can see them. And then I'm going to come round, can I, can I lean over these here, okay? If you go, that is everything that's in the main collection. If you want to go for the extras, we've got the extra brads. We've then also got the extra ribbons Ooh, that are going that. to match perfectly in conjunction with it. Yeah. We've done extra card blanks, right? So can you see these ones here? And if I just show you the set, this is a huge pack 
of card blanks wow. in all those same matching colours, okay? So all those different colours are all going to match perfectly. A 50-piece set, right? A 50-piece set of cards and envelopes all in that set to get you started. Then, if I start here, first of all, with the 12 by 12. So your gorgeous 12 by 12s, and I'll move these out the way so that I can flick you through all of them in here, right, Ben? So you've got designs at the back, which are your die cut topper sheets. So awesome. you're going to be able to flick through and have a look at all of the die cut toppers. And then these are the papers that you've got in there. Now, these are going to make beautiful scrapbooks. They're going to make beautiful base papers for your card making in there, your matting and layering. You've got tons and tons of gorgeous designs, all matching in that same kind of theme. So there's your 12 by 12 pad. Then we've also done the 12 by 12 in the vellum. So you've got the vellum pad in here as well, some plain vellums at the back. And can you see for each one, so for example, with this one, do you know what I'm gonna just pull these out? It might be easier to show you this, right? So can you see we get a patterned vellum? Oh wow. And then you get the plain vellum in the same colour. So that is, that is plain. That is the orange that goes with that beautiful pattern vellum. Then the same here, you get the next design, the gorgeous vellum, which would make a wonderful overlay for your scrapbook pages. And then the plain one, this is showing you a little bit through, because obviously it's, it's going to show you through to the next side. So each one of these, you've got the patterned one and then the plain one underneath. And I quite like the idea of layering up the two vellums on top of each other there, actually. So there's your gorgeous green ones in there. Then you've got your butterfly designs in here with your plain. Then you've got your floral. So those are your vellums. And then last but definitely not least. Oh, so much stuff. It just keeps getting better to see. I know, seriously. So this is your luxury mixed card paddock here. So you've got, it's, again, it's 12 by 12. And then look at all the designs that you've got. You've got the, um, you've Ooh, got the mirror card wow. in here. You've got some of the, um, you've got some of the pearlescent cards. So you've got the mirror, the matte mirror, and then the pearl in the same colour. Then the next one in 12 by 12, you've got the green in the mirror, the matte mirror, and then the pearl double-sided pearl to go with it and then we've done exactly the same in that gorgeous rose gold copper there the mirror the matte mirror and the pearl and then lastly in here you've got the mirror the matte mirror and the pearl with the gorgeous lilac as well so it really is the most the, the, i mean this, this this card pad here is probably one of the nicest collections of card colors i think we've ever ever done in our history here at crafters companion you get that whole 12 by 12 pad if you go for the complete bumper collection the mega kit write down the note seven four five nine five two and um, it says we'll be up in the 10 o'clock hour i can tell you categorically there is no way that will be up in the 10 o'clock hour and if you want to see a full two hour masterclass, you must tune in for the one o'clock UK time, so that's the eight o'clock, is that right? One, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. Yeah, eight o'clock in the morning Eastern time um, on Monday morning, and you can see your whole two hour masterclass that I'm doing. Me and our Craig's joining in a little bit for some of that masterclass. We'll be doing that on Monday, and it will be a show not to be missed. We've got loads of cards. I'm going to go and get ready and do a demonstration with this now, Ben, but I want to know what everybody's saying about it as well. Uh, and actually, last chance to get your comments in if you want to win that extra pro that we're giving away. Yeah, I mean, seriously, we're not sure to comment, Sarah. That is one thing that we're not short of. I mean, it's just gone off the chart here. Uh, Mary saying this is a much needed collection at this time. Loving the colours, says Denise Mills on YouTube. Uh, the idea behind this is heartwarming. It really is, isn't it? Heartwarming uh, and a really cool time to release this. Uh, Jen Mitchell on Facebook just saying, oh, so pretty. And it meshes so well with some of the other collections. Kathy, oh my gosh, another amazing collection. So excited. Really need this collection, says Katrina Maddox on YouTube. Can't wait for it to air. Uh, Suzanne on YouTube saying, oh, the cards I could make for the hospitals, retirement homes, just to brighten up people's days. Love that idea again. Yeah, absolutely. If you just, it's nice, isn't it? Because, you know, with card making, uh, I think, you know, sometimes we can get stuck in a bit of a rut. Of, it's just thing, oh, it's just for birthdays, just for anniversaries, just for, you know, so special occasions. How nice to be able to make a card with a collection like this, just because you want to be able to send caring thoughts. Um, Bonnie's saying, wow, I love all your Sarah signature stamps and dies. This new set is such a thoughtful set and really needed at this time. Thank you, Sarah and your team for coming up with such a great idea. Uh, Michael saying, don't know how I'm gonna choose what to buy and what not to buy. That is the only bad thing about this, isn't it? There's so much choice. Uh, unless you've got a never ending budget, you will have to make a decision. Uh, Linda, Sarah, I love this bundle. The sentiments are just perfect during this time. Rose on Facebook, Crafters Companion sentiments are always amazingly beautiful. I mean, I could carry on all night. Uh, uh, Shelley, 86M on YouTube says, such lovely sentiments. Tammy, 
Uh, Sarah, this series is just absolutely beautiful. Well done. Uh, Stephanie Theodos on YouTube. I just love this Sarah Signature Caring Thoughts Bundle. I think this is my number one. Gotta have it. Uh, Sam on Facebook. I love the rose decoupage. I need those beautiful decoupage designs, says Terry. I love the decoupage collection, says Sarah's Creations on YouTube. They make card making so easy. Uh, Dawn saying, OMG, it just keeps getting better. Oh, I love this word. Na Nancy Aubrey on YouTube. Wowzers. I love those papers. I want to use them as wallpaper. Uh, Joyce Hardiman on Facebook saying, love these papers, especially the vellums. And gorgeous vellum pad and paper is awesome, says Robin. Right, there's so many comments coming in. More chances to comment, but you need to comment now if you want to be winning one of our final two uh, draws before the end of the show. We've got about 10 minutes, I reckon, uh, before we um, end. So let us get in uh, another little demo. Um, and you could be winning this. We're giving this collection away as well, aren't we? We are, aren't we? Yes, we are. As well as another of the Gemini Pro. So all that to come over the course of the next 10 minutes. And of course, uh, more to come with this collection as well. What I will say just before we go across to Sarah is don't forget, I know that loads of you have done it already, get the booklet. Make sure you download it. That is your kind of roadmap, your Bible to everything that is coming up on HSN on Tuesday. It's going to be an unbelievable day. Uh, the uh, Caring Thoughts collection coming up at, at 10 o'clock uh, with Sarah and Adam Freeman. So make sure you pop that one into your diary. Um, it's going to be amazing, isn't it? Basically, if you can, watch the whole day on HSN. Watch the whole day because there will be something for you uh, to tune in for right throughout the day. And as well with that booklet, get in early because you know things are going to absolutely fly off the shelves. Right, that's enough chit chat from me. Two more draws to do. Get those last chance comments in. Uh, and whilst you do that, let's have a look at this Caring Thoughts mega bundle. Safe to say, Sarah, people are loving it. Yeah, do you know, it's just so of the moment it's yes. so what we all need now whether you're making cards for you to give and send to people or you're making cards to sell or to donate to people to be able to send i just i just think a shop bought card doesn't cut it nah, you're when right. it comes to sending something like that that's when you should be making something and i think these are we've just curated is the word the most incredible collection of everything you could possibly need in there all the sentiments all of the the floral just everything's perfect right i'm going to get on and make a nice simple card i'm saying nice and simple because i've actually taken the you know the 50 pack of cards and envelopes i'm just going to start with one of the ready done cards cards and then we've got the envelope ready to work with it now these are the cut and emboss folders ben they are gorgeous gorgeous designs now cut and emboss folders work just the same way as regular embossing folders so i'm going to take this and put it over the front of the actual card design and it's going to die cut all of that piece at the same time as well as doing all of the embossing now for those of you who missed me explaining this at the start if you want to use your gemini um you want to use your gemini pro with your regular gemini plates all you do is you put your embossing folder between your two regular plates yeah you offer this i'll just turn it around a little bit so i can get in you offer this into the pro straight off so you're using your plate sideways in the same way that you would if you were doing your um you know you were doing your junior plate in the large gemini it's the same to do your large your, your normal gemini plates then in your gemini pro now that has done my cutting out there perfectly and then watch what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a little bit of ink onto here and i'm just going to highlight a little bit of the embossing bed so simple to do they, they, honestly then then between the two um cut and emboss folders yeah the designs are just gorgeous and they're so incredibly simple to do because quite often you might want to do a quick card or maybe you're wanting to batch make and make a load of cards for someone for example and be able to send like a, a batch of cards that you see to a hospital or something i'm yeah. dying to know what all of our customers have been saying they're going to be doing with this collection uh, well, I mean, I mean, everyone's just basically cooing over the, the, uh, the collection. Lots of people just saying, you know, what a great time to release this in this current time. Uh, this collection kit is a treasure, says Penny. Uh, Miss Craft Life on YouTube, I love this expression. <laughs> I love this hot diggity. I don't think I'd do that expression uh, justice. Hot diggity, what an amazingly beautiful 
tender collection. Truly incredible, says James. I can't believe how beautiful it is. Uh, and Bernard is saying, now that I can see the sentiments up close, they are great. And the decoupage sets are beautiful. Well done, Sarah. Uh, would love to have them. Uh, love all of the new products, says Michael on YouTube. Um, there's lots of thanks coming in for you, Sarah, for this uh, last four hours and for coming up with all of these new uh, wonderful goodies. Um, Afton on YouTube was saying, what an amazing presentation of all the wonderful items um, coming to HSN. I've loved these four hours of excitement. It must be brilliant for you as well, Sarah, to finally be able to release all of these new goodies and to be able to kind of see things that you've sort of, you know, uh, sort of things coming to fruition for you with all the work that you and the team have been putting in over the last few uh, months. It, it, it has been, and I'll be really honest as well, Ben, I feel like it's been ages since we've done an HSN show. Yeah. And, you know, usually we're doing them, we're doing them every month. However, the last show was the beginning of November. And here we are in the middle of, um, in the middle of January Already, now. So yeah. it's been like two and a half months since we've done an HSN show. So I don't know about you guys, but I am absolutely ready for a big HSN show. And I promise... We will not be letting you down. I've just realised I've done this and not even told you what I'm doing. Can you see each of these dies has a number on? So that's the number seven. So all I have to do is line up the number seven with where it says seven. And you can see how the rest of the die. Because you'd be looking at that and thinking, oh, does it go that way? How, how does it go together? Line up the number with the number on top of there. And you'll see it all goes together perfectly. So what I'm going to do is once I've got them in place, yeah. I'm going to hold them down with a little bit of tape there. So you're going to absolutely love it. Ben, when this comes out and you realise how easy it is, you're going to be like to, blown um, away. To quote my producer... Goof proof. I like Goof that. proof. It, is, it absolutely it? is. Not going to make any mistakes with this. That, that is what it's all about. Um, yeah. We're still like so super busy. Do you know what? For my first HSN um, preview show, I have absolutely loved this. And Sarah did say, you wait, you'll, be, you'll sleep well tonight after the four hours. We've still got thousands of people watching on Facebook and YouTube. You have stuck with us all the way through do you know what i, I kind of thought oh yeah get a couple of hours in people will you know begin to tire they'll need to oh, go do something else. You stuck no. with, everyone's stuck with us all the way through sarah oh yes you you haven't met our hardcore hsn fans let me just <laughs> tell you they will absolutely ben we could have kept going through the night and these guys back me up here folks you would have been here with us through the night wouldn't you it's only because it's 11 o'clock me and ben are absolutely shattered absolutely you're, uh, don't you don't you dare say stay on for another two hours do you know what we used to do a pre day We used to do half an hour and then an hour. I used to do the different products and then I started doing them all together. It was two hours. Then it went to three hours. Now it's at four hours. Just to try and get everything in and show you it all. Now watch this. So when I lift this off, right, can you see it'll do all that die cutting, but actually it die cuts it and then it gives you all the little bits of detail on there. Now I'm very conscious, Ben, that I've, we've only got a couple of minutes left. So what I'll do is I'll start and do a little bit of shaping on these and start and show you. Can you see? So if you shape it like that, look at this, they're going to be ready to go on top of here. It's done all of that little bit of die cutting, okay? And then what you can do is you can be starting to announce who the winner of this collection is oh, while I'm wow. still doing my uh, okay. while I'm still doing my, my layering up here, Ben. Well, let me just read a final few comments here. There's loads of thanks coming in. I think I want to say a big thank you to all of you for uh, watching. And I'm so excited on your behalf uh, for what is coming up on HSN on Tuesday. Uh, Mary was saying up at 2 a.m. for Craig's wake up show and stuck uh, right through with us. Uh, that reminds me, actually, I'm, I'm on that tomorrow morning at <laughs> 9 o'clock. Oh, man. It's a good job I love it here, isn't it, really? Uh, Danielle's are saying, thank you, Sarah, and the amazing team for this awesome preview. Uh, the Gemini Pro. And I'm just going to tell you, I can't stick my floral decoupage together because my glue gel's dried in the thing. Oh, oh someone's left the top off. Oh, I'm going to bring that? blame Craig for that. Let's, yeah. I always blame Craig when something goes wrong. Listen, you're going to use your 3D glue gel and you're going to lay that up on top of there and that on there and that on there and that on there and it's going to look gorgeous and when you finish it Ben it's going to look like this and you're going to stick it on your card love that I think you get the, I think everyone's a bit relieved as well seeing as I was now running very very late and you, you need to do the important bit Ben you need to announce some winners I will announce some winners definitely uh, okay so let's do this then so thank you for all your comments winning the Sarah Signature Caring Thoughts collection is for her comment on Facebook uh, the comment was I love your decoupage flower sets well done Bonnie Conway Smith 
Uh, you have just bagged yourself that amazing collection uh, with all of our winners that we're announcing now. Prizes at crafterscompanion.com is the email address. So Bonnie, that is yours. And finally, uh, we weren't going to give away two, but thanks to the little chat I had earlier on, about four hours ago, uh, we're giving away a second Gemini Pro. So congratulations to the winner of this for the comment on Facebook of this has been so exciting. I'm new to the Gemini family and couldn't be more excited. Well, Terry Sly Purple on Facebook, congratulations. The Gemini Pro is yours. How amazing. So Terry and Bonnie uh, are two winners there. Uh, prizes at crafterscompanion.com. And there is the Gemini Pro, beautifully modelled by Sarah. Sarah's getting delirious now. <laughs> I've been here, this is six hours. I've been chatting to you guys here on Crafters TV today. And, and, and beds in sight. So uh, yeah, getting, getting a little bit delirious at the moment. Uh, honestly, it's what an absolutely fantastic show it's been. Congratulations to our two winners of the Gemini Pro. In fact, congratulations to all the winners I've had. And thank you for the thousands and thousands and thousands of comments we've had all the way through the show. The big thing is, Craft Day on HSN, it's going to be our biggest ever craft day. I cannot wait. I've definitely realised from tonight we do not have enough of the Gemini Pros. <laughs> so uh, make sure you are tuning in there. There's only half as many as what we had of our Geminis this time last year when we did a Gemini Today special. And that one sold out with half the quantity. And it wasn't a brand new world launch of a brand new machine. Honestly, it has been a pleasure having your company for the last four hours. I cannot wait for the shows on Tuesday now. It's going to be a jam-packed mega day, especially the launch um, for, with Suzanne at midnight. That's going to be an awesome show, right through to wrapping up with Adam at 10 o'clock at night. So can I say thank you so much to my sidekick. Uh, you've passed your apprenticeship. This, <laughs> is, was, this was his first HSN. How are you feeling at the end of the four hours, Ben? Let's do another two. No, let's not say that. <laughs> uh, I've had. I've had a brilliant four hours. I've loved it. It's been great to be involved in all the excitement. Great to read all of your comments as well. And um, what Sarah said about this show, it's truly lived up to all of my expectations and then some. So yeah, as Sarah said, a big thank you to you guys for getting in touch. Well done to all of our winners and look forward to Tuesday on HSN because it is going to be un believable um i will be back with you on uh, crafters tv uh, of course tomorrow morning craig's wake up call at uh, nine so i'm going to be heading to my bed yeah nine o'clock uk time tomorrow morning when are you back sarah uh, I'm not shooting tomorrow. You'll be pleased to know. <laughs> I'm not shooting tomorrow. I'll be shooting the Caring Thoughts two-hour masterclass on Monday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern, guys. I hope to see you guys there. You just know our Craig's going to be up early previewing it in his wake-up call as well, Tinker Boy. So you'll get all the behind-the-scenes gossip with him at uh, uh, really early if you get do get up and work on Crafters TV time to see Craig in the wake-up call on Monday. But otherwise, I'll be with you for way um no i won't be with you for wake up call i will be with you for the master class <laughs> at um at uh, one o'clock uk time yeah. 8 a.m eastern time Good. Wish I hadn't asked now. Uh, Sarah, <laughs> thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you to you guys for watching as well. HSN Tuesday, make sure you're watching. It's going to be amazing. And I will catch you uh, on Crafters TV UK time tomorrow morning, nine o'clock for Craig's Wake Up Call. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.